This is the Jess song.
जो ये मजा है इसके इतने सारे रंग सीखे खेल आजमाए जज्बे से इंडिया के संग
masses than just song. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to the day six of the Chess Olympiad 2022. This is your host Sagar Shah welcoming you to this live stream. My partner in crime, Samai Rana, will be joining me shortly. But what a day of chess we have in store for you guys. Today, Team India B plays on the top board. The young Tigers of India will face the Armenian Lions on the top board. We then have <coughs> India's experienced A team, which will take on uh, 
on second board uzbekistan the youngsters from uzbekistan that's another amazing game coming your way and the women section will see india versus georgia so bahut maza aane wala hai we are going to have a lot of chess let's get it rolling first from the game of gukesh let's have gukesh is game he's playing on the top board for the indian team against armenia and he's facing gabriel sergisian here so let's have a look at this game gukesh takes on gabriel sergisian and there you have on the screen gukesh not making his first move yet i think the and there you have it he plays d4 on the board presses the clock let's just zoom in there to just get our get, get ourselves acquainted with what's happening in the venue and if we can zoom in on gukesh's camera that would be great director sir can you uh, zoom in on once so that people can see the zoomed in view okay well this is the board right now and gukesh has opened with d4 the opponent has responded with d5 and sergisian has played d5 and gukesh is now thinking for his move once again i sometimes wonder what do these players think when it's their move in the opening they are well prepared what are they thinking about but i think every player has its own way of doing things a uh, very very warm welcome to everyone <laughs> no zoom zoom nahi ho raha uh, ho jayega dosto ho jayega uh c4 played on the board by gukesh are maza aa raha hai he's played it to c4 let's see what does sergisian do now sergisian is a very experienced armenian player clearly he was under the shadow of levon aronian for all these years he has been his second but now with aronian switching federations and going to the us sergisian takes board number 1 and after c4 has been played sergisian is yet to arrive let's go to nihal sarin's game on the second board he is playing against rant melkumian and nihal sarin takes on melkumian here can we have nihal on the screen Tani director sir can you hear me maybe he can't hear me ah there we have nihal sarin on the screen c4 e6 played knight to c3 d5 d4 c5 nihal goes for a very well known opening guys can you know can you tell me what's the name of this opening what is the name of this opening that we have on the board right now yes tarash is the name beloglavi soup you are right tarash is the opening that has been played by nihal indrajit forever rithik anand many of you have got it right so c5 he took and now he took back ed5 knight to f3 knight f6 bishop g5 oh that is interesting because generally they yeah generally black goes knight c6 here so then bishop g5 doesn't make much sense because you can always play f6 but here because nihal played knight f6 melkumian said i don't need to go into positional lines with g3 let me go bishop g5 and pin this knight so again rant melkumian very very strong positional player another a great player from armenia and he is facing nihal sarin the young talented indian 
Okay, let's go to board number three. Oh, Nihal already played his move. Bishop e6 has been played. Nihal well prepared. You know, all these youngsters, of course, very well prepared. Just to show you that you are not losing a pawn. Because after takes, takes, let's say queen takes, takes and knight d5, this is not going to work out. Because I can just take on d5, queen d5. And there are many ways to win. But I think the easiest is bishop b4 check picking up the b2 pawn or just castling and it's too weak in the center for white so oh my god but he's taken on f6 he's taken on f6 wow what's happening guys very very concrete and i think nihal will of course take with the queen i'm sure he'll do that yes he takes with the queen can we zoom in on this board can we zoom in on this camera of nihal sarin and go to the other view just uh, the full screen video view yes that's the one and can we have the chess board over there yes perfect wow thank you so much for this e4 played on the board guys look at that rant melkumian has played this opening so quickly and is super focused with 129 minutes on his clock nihal has one hour 32 minutes and he is thinking for his move like what is my preparation here because see, you don't give up your bishop just like that, right? You should get something. And that something is the move e4 here. It's very concrete. And Nihal calmly takes on e4 with his pawn. And there we have coming in all the way from the room number. Okay, room number? 531. 531. <sighs> weighing 531 pounds. <laughs> Sagar by today is one of the biggest days of the Olympiad. Yes, it's because the Because tonight day. is the Bermuda party. <laughs> can we can we get the commentators uh, and also in the screen we have Samai back here. By the way, I found out why it's called the Bermuda party. Why? It is because people come there alone, uh -huh. but then they just disappear with someone over there. Oh, that's why it's like the Bermuda Triangle. Then you people can't find themselves again. They yes. change. They change forever. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So let's see what's on the board, Sagar. Yeah. Today right. the women's team is playing Georgia. Yes. Who has been the Olympic champion for a while now? Yeah, they have been like wonderful team. Georgian women players have dominated chess since many years. Do you know that uh, Nona Gaprindashvili, she was the world champion from, I, if I'm not wrong, from 1965 to 1983, like wow. 15, 16 years. Then Maya Chibudanidze beat her, who was also from Georgia okay. and held the title for 16 years. So, but the Till 30 years, it was with Georgia. So, we can say it's one of the strongest teams that today we are fighting, right? Absolutely. I think if today we are able to score, that would be amazing. But I started off with our young guns who are playing on the top board against Armenia. Nihal Sarin playing against Rant Melkumian. Prag did the impossible yesterday, right? He, he lost. smiled in the photo. When? Your photo only. He, he, was in he smiled, huh? He was smiling in that, you know? But but uh, today Prague has taken a break. He's okay. not playing. He's like uh, yesterday I lost, so let me just be little uh, take some rest. And by the way, Samai, the speed at which these moves are being played is amazing. With Ranth Melkumian coming well prepared and Nihal Sarin matching his speed 133 on the clock for Nihal in this very complicated middle game sort of opening position. Mm -hmm. But Nihal is well prepared. So that's very good news. Um, and look at him. He's just, Rant Melkumian is like sitting like this. He wants to make sure that white is properly utilized because every white game is very critical. Already he has some kind of an advantage. Why? Well, the main thing is that Black's King is a little bit exposed here and there could be ideas at some point with the King in the center that D5 came or some discovered check from the queen here. But right now, Nihal's last move blocked everything with bishop e7. Are we just losing the pawn on c5, Sagar? Yes, you can take here. That is a good uh, point. But I think what Nihal would do is then castle and just say to himself that later on, I will win that pawn. But after bishop takes c6, you even have another weakness also, Sagar. Right, right. But you have... The bishop pair advantage. The bishop pair ko bhulna mat samay. And once the bishop sits on d5, the rook comes on e8, the other rook on b8. You know, there are it's a free-flowing position. Mm -hmm. So right now, 
Melkumian is thinking for his move. I think he's out of his prep after Nihal has played Bishop E7 or he's just recollecting his lines. Can we go and check the beast who's playing on board number three against Ter Sahakyan Samuel? Let's go to the Adiban's board on board number three against Ter Sahakyan. And Adiban has played. Oh, where are both the players? Vanished. <laughs> the players are gone. I think that the game is over. But I think both of them might have gone to the restroom or just, you know, they are walking around. D4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4. Samir, do you see the number of Queen's Gambit declined and Nimzo Indians that we are seeing? Yeah, I mean, they're the most standard openings, right? The most safe and the most well-studied openings. So maybe that is why they're playing in the Olympiad. Right. As they want to play for the country. They don't want to take any risks. E3, castle. You've not seen even one King's Gambit, man. No. I'm sure in uh, Hall 2, many are playing. As in? Like in the other hall, the second, there's a second hall. Is it like the weak teams? Yes. Are you calling the Kings game at a weak opening side? <laughs> yes, it can't be played at the top level, right? Otherwise, they would have played. I think it's just very complicated, so they will take time to understand it fully. <laughs> Maybe they already saw you playing and they were like... <laughs> I met Jamil Jan outside. Oh, you met him? He might be joining us for a bit today. Oh, wow. Is he not playing? Not today. Oh, that's wonderful. Knight g2, rook e8, bishop d2, and bishop f8 played. So, actually, uh, they have... Firstly, it was very wise to give Pragnananda the rest because he lost yesterday. But also, they are backing Adiban because he got a white yesterday on board 4 and today a white on board 3. So, Adiban, they say that, you know, player with the white pieces must try to push. And with Adiban getting a white today as well, he has to push against Ter Sahakyan Samuel. Now, Samuel, Ter Sahakyan, there we have Adiban back on the board after Bishop F8 played and Ter Sahakyan also joins in. Uh, Ter Sahakyan is a very experienced player. He has come to India before, won a tournament in Goa and we know him as a very, very solid theoretician in the opening. So, Adiban has to find ways to get an advantage. As you can see, Black seems to have already got a very nice opening position. Castle Kardia, Rook Center, mein, Bishop Wapas, you know, nice. Shall we go and look at the last board? Raunak Sadhwani versus Robert Hohani Siel. Wow. Where is the queen? Queen. Something. Ah, they have, ah, there is a problem here. I must go and inform them because right now it's the Berlin. Knight e, bishop b5, knight e4, b4. So, uh, Sama, you know this opening, yes? What is this called? This was played by Kramnik against Kasparov in their world championship Berlin. match. Yes, the Berlin. And actually, this, this is the position that is on the board. Is this going to a draw? Yeah, maybe. Not draw. It's like a very solid opening. And generally, it is proven that black can hold. But White, being Robert Hohanesian, will have some ideas. He will try to press, push. And if Raunak holds tight, who knows, maybe he can even take over the initiative or at least draw the game. Has this ever happened in chess that they play knight g3, knight g1, knight g3, knight g1 draw? I'm sure. It I'm has? sure it has happened. What Why? a shame. Yeah, it, but I... <laughs> Adiban played King's Gambit with Wesley so once. Yes, I remember he had played it in Tata Steel. Uh, but that happens very rarely. And by the way, Samay, I'll go and fix it. Till then, why don't you go over the games of the women's board. Uh, first with Humpy against okay. Nana Zagnitze. If we can have the camera of Humpy and Nana Zagnitze. There, there they are on the screen. And I'll be back in a second after oh, yeah. fixing. All right. Maybe you can zoom in to the player cams so that they, you don't have to see my face. <laughs> Please clean the camera lens. It's, I think, clean only. Yeah? It's just a bad camera, man. So, I think, uh, I wish we had at least one good chess player here, but we don't. I pray to God, that no good chess player will come to me. What do you know? If you're up there, listen to me, please. Oh, hey, wow, bro, there is a God. How are you? 
good tumhe hawa finally i was doing very worse until you came <laughs> so can you please take us through the game bhai yeah which game are we looking at we are looking at the women's board now humpies game haan ji can i just take a look from the beginning yes it's so we can look from here so humpies why c5 c5 kya hai to it's not considered to be the best move thoda dubious so can considered... we say we are winning already <laughs> नहीं उनको कॉम्प्लिकेट गेम करना है आई थिंक क्योंकि बाकी के बोर्ड्स सो बेनोनी हो गया बेनोनी एक सेकंड यहां पे क्या हुआ इतना कैसे जीत रहे थे हम वो ओपनिंग इंजन को बहुत ही इंजन चीफ द वेरी बिग एडवांटेज फॉर वाइट बट इट्स कंसीडर्ड टू बी वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बट व्हाई डिड नाना जागनीज से प्ले सच अ बेनोनी अगेंस्ट हम्पी बिकॉज़ आई फील दैट शी माइट थिंक दैट ऑन द अदर बोर्ड्स uh india team might be uh, stronger stronger so she has to so she has to complicate deliver the from the front kyunki abhi tak humpy has been shaky yeah and no one has challenged humpy like uh, oh so far so and nana is of course a very strong player as yeah. well you know uh i should have a very important question how do you get to the bermuda party <laughs> <laughs> i am i really don't know but uh, from what i know it's uh, it, it it's apparently 2500 rupees for men and free yeah. for women right uh, or if you have a girl with you, like no no no, yeah. no there's nothing like that no, no i no. have a girl with me <laughs> i have no you have to pay still right <laughs> <laughs> and we need to raise our voice for this inequality you <laughs> this know in life crazy, no? I mean, this is just <laughs> very bad man why do they just why do we but have to somebody are you going to go <laughs> of course i'm going to go but you know if the match goes on till 10 pm then good luck to you <laughs> भाई यही दोस्ती <laughs> भाई यू नो बमुना प्रायोरिटीज वी कैन बी हियर फॉर 10 डेज बमुना पार्टी ओनली हैपेंस वंस बट साढ़े ग्यारह बजे इट्स गोइंग टू फिनिश व्हाट या नहीं नहीं जस्ट फिनिश वेरी अर्ली मोर एएम तक रहता है भाई यूजुअली पर इधर 11 एएम पीएम तक वी विल फिनिश मेरा राउंड अप भी तो साढ़े ग्यारह को खत्म होता है यहाँ पर आपका है ना यहाँ पे प्यार आपका प्यार तो जैसे भाई मतलब उधर 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 भी कर सकते हैं बस आई होप द द मैच द गेम सॉरी वट है So bishop f4. A uh, usually one another idea for uh, white is to play knight d2, knight c4, and a4. Wow. Um, and uh, the so basically we play a4 so that whenever black plays a6, we respond with a5. And with the knight on c4, he can never push b5. You see, we have control. <coughs> so that's one. Well, that's one idea. But uh, Humpy decided to go with bishop f4, and. Uh, A6, A, again A4, bishop g7, h3. Because um, if we play e4 कभी तो ये bishop g4 पे आके ये मार देगा. And then he will try to get control of this e5 square. So इसलिए h3 एक move खेल दिया कि भाई bishop अभी it will always be having problems. So castles e3, knight e8, bishop e2, knight d7, castles. And I think opening से we can be very happy. uh because white has uh, achieved a small advantage typical humpy style of play although we, one thing that has to be said is nan zadnik za nana seems to be uh, kind of uh, in her home ground as she still has uh, almost 1 or 30 minutes right but but i think overall yeah. Uh, yeah. this is a standard standard opening, opening. and humpy you can see she's not even on his on her chair she's roaming around which means that she is happy castle ho gaya hai nice so i think humpy has got a decent opening position surely awesome so sure, should we go to harika's game okay yep. let's go let's go to the second board harika playing with the black pieces actually harika is getting a lot Why of we can, black can we castle ha huh? can we castle idhar aa jao matlab aisa jana aapko dur ho raha hai na wo nahi theek hai na wahan se ha you can just control it easily so d4 d5 C4, E6, Knight C3, Knight F6. We have the Queen's Gambit declined. Bishop G5, Bishop E7, Queen C2. Hmm. 
अर्ली क्वीन सी थ्री पहले ई थ्री खेलते हैं जनरली देन ई थ्री एक अनदर ऑप्शन फॉर ब्लैक बिकम्स बिशप एफ फाइव रियली आई थॉट दिस इज ओपनिंग एरर नो और इट्स नाउ सम न्यू थियरी सी सिक्स थ्री सी सिक्स यू गिव अप बी सेवन दैट्स ट्रू बी सिक्स या मेबी Maybe she wants to prevent something else, yeah, with Queen C two. Maybe she wants Long Castle. Or or it's just transposing it. E three, H six. Yeah, it's just transposition. Maybe actually, so. maybe just she played something. B D three. Yeah, this is a very standard position. Now Knight E two, Knight F three, H three. When I was young, Harshit, I was told that black shouldn't play h6 too soon because then later on white can long castle and then go g4, g5. Yeah, that is a but good point. But in the eighteen hundreds, I used, I think that's how they used to play, right? Who? Like when you were young. Yeah. I think that kind of theory had not developed so much. Exactly. So I'm just trying to understand that so, is Batsya really going to go long castle now? Long castle, me the king is very weak, no, Harshit boy. I think. If, White goes long castle. We should be very happy because we get a position where black can play for three results, and uh, this is usually considered to be a very good sign in team events where you can play for three results. Mm -hmm. Or usually white can try करता है कि they only play for a small advantage. Equal भी रहा तो भी चलेगा पर risk नहीं लेना ज़्यादा white sides में क्योंकि long castle किया white अगर white ने तो फिर black can go b5, a5, knight a6 and quickly develop an attack on the uh, queen side. So, but Georgian women players are very uh, aggressive. Yeah, they might they might just go like how uh, uh, Zagnitze went for the Benoni. Maybe even Batsya Shwili might go for a long castle. Talking about aggression, can we check out Vaishali ji's game? Because it turns out she's already much better. Oh my God! Oh, but this is the anti Berlin ka rookie one line. Yeah. Usme better. How it's equal, no? E four, E five. I was looking at that bar. Oh, something going wrong with that bar, huh? So this is just main line. This is all. Wait, generally this is considered to be very equalish, no? Very equalish, yeah. Just for fun, I would like to point out that here bishop b3 is a very interesting move. Oh. And uh, I'll just close the engine hmm. so that we get the real uh, feeling for this position. I saw Lagrai keep rook we sacrifice. So you can actually play this in blitz, am I right? Because yeah. it's so good. But the rook is gone, even, right? No, even some twenty six hundred players have lost in classical in fifteen moves. So let's say you will take. Subse obvious. Obviously. Because one just to point out, rook e eight kela, so we can play bishop f four. And now if you take, funnily enough, the knight is trapped. On the oh, center of the board. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, this cannot happen. So bishop d3, bishop e5, d5, knight e8. So let's say we play knight c3. Okay. Abhi, if you play d5, then what can white do? White can turn on engine, I think now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can we give a sack or something? We can, ah, we can go knight takes d5. Exactly. So we can just pick up a pawn. And if you, of course, take, then check. Then there's a check. Check. So yeah. So usually what uh, they also b5 is possible, but usually what they do is b6. So now you go queen h5, mate attack. Okay, and you go g6. g6. Has to be played. We have f5 kela, so uh, it looks very dangerous because bishop g5, queen d7, bishop c. I mean, I can just show. Yeah? If you go bishop f5, bishop g5, queen d7 only move. Check. King, pawn push. And next e seven and finito. Yeah, this is go go again. G six. Now queen h six. Okay. So now we are trying to. So, सबसे obvious move क्या है अभी black के लिए? Knight g seven. Okay. So let's say knight g seven is one move, but that for example might run into knight d five. और अभी ये check आ रहा है. Okay. Okay. और So one sec, maybe. But knight d5, you have d into e5. So you are surviving here. So let's see. So I think I can go bishop g5 yeah. just. Bishop uh, g5, bishop f6. Queen e8, for example. Bishop f6, and you will get mated very soon. Yeah, I think this is very basic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bishop f6, queen f6, mate. Yeah. 
So let's say you think, I mean, you take a pawn, yeah, pawn marra, you you feel like, okay, let's take it. And now bishop g5. Okay. Queen goes to somewhere else, d7. Okay. Just to show, f6 khela to? f6 khela to, bishop takes? Or, or what else, anything? Abhi f6 he played, so watch what diagonal bishop he makes. Bishop c4 exactly. check. Very good. And now if he moves the king? Then I think uh, we can also go... If, the move, if he moves the king... Oh! Queen takes the rook. Exactly. That's checkmate. Very nice. And if he goes rook f7? If he goes rook f7, then we can go... Uh, then simple we... just. Yeah. Bishop takes. Yeah, exactly. Just take king takes or queen and two and... Yeah. It should be better, much completely better. Thanks uh, for this master class. And back. if queen b7, this is a very nice. So knight e4. Okay. Queen e6. And now I want you to find the movie. Uh, I mean, if Sagar by you see it, don't say it. Because mm, you, I, you, you see it, see Sagar it. Yeah. Ah. It's a very cute idea. Is it? Queen takes. No. Queen takes x7 is not working on this. So I'll give you a small hint. You have to take control of this square. Queen h4? No, if I go knight takes, check, take, take, push near that. Well. <sighs> Ashit bhai, I tell you, tell me. If you see it, you will be proud of it. You will be very happy if you find it. Okay. Oh, knight c5. No, knight takes, check, check, take, push near that. Knight needs here. So you need some other piece. Queen ko distraction karna hai. Hai toh, fir... Oh, bishop c4. Wow. Yeah. Is that the move? Yeah, bishop, bishop c4. Amazing. But queen f5? So now if you go queen f5, now again, I would like you to oh. find the move. There's another move here. I, are we, yeah, so basically now he left this square. So he, usne, when you leave this square, you make some weakness. Like you leave some square, control of some square. What square is it? The d5 and the... And this f f6 square. No, no, no. The control hai, no? Oh, the e7 square. Exactly. So you go bishop, bishop e7. e7. And now you threaten checkmate. Uh, and how do you defend that? No way. There is one way. Which you will see. Which you actually mentioned. Knight g7. Beautiful. And now, finally, we get control of the f6 square. Knight f6 Knight check. F6 wow. Game over. Wow. So this is amazing. Wow. Nice this was a nice, uh, like nice, very good practical try in blitz and rapid. And I have won against many strong GMs playing this. Yeah. But the only problem is it's a very it's, small line. It's a small line. And also when opponent has so much time to think, it's very easy to, you know, come up with a way which can easily uh, equalize this. Pandra move line, lambi line this <laughs> It's a small line. <laughs> Harshit bhai, you are a genius. Small line matlab ye jada log khelte nahi hai. Achha, so ye trap agar aapko pata hai to... Maybe, yeah, you can... Or you have not told me if you take the uh, rook directly? I played the... I played bishop. Achha, bhai, bhai, bhai bataya, bhai bataya. <laughs> Achha, sorry, sorry. 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 Yo, Harshit bought as a man at Chisisikara Tamu, the Bachpan Kedidia, like a dosal pele, jump by some echo bought the Antisikata. I think I'm with a hashtag. Hashtag, Tino Nehasa takes up. That is the issue. Pele, first two seconds, you know, then Harshit. Then you change, keep changing the way. Jesse Master Lagana, Ruta to a joke, Smadana. So this this position is like normal, yeah? yeah. Very normal. Very normal. This actually happens every day to me. Madam, what about Vaishali's bar? Why is it showing so much better? There is no reason. Uh, I think this engine is not understanding that engine. Can we can we just fix that bar if possible? Hello. Yeah. Just get some water. Sure. Yeah. Either happen. Ah, but you can also get yeah, if you want. Just get it. 
उसको डर है आपके पानी पीने से नहीं नहीं उसको कुछ और भी करना रहेगा ना पानी के बाहर जा रहा है क्या पता किधर फोन वोट करना रहेगा हो हो सकता है मैं भी ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड जुगाड़ रहा है so let's go quickly to tanya sachdev who has been the india's very very uh, important board player, important board who's been playing amazingly and has helped win two matches back to back ruy lopez played against are tanya ko ye opening mein attack karne ko maza aata hai ah she goes but what she goes bishop e7 no no that is in italian when the bishop is here but against the ruy lopez she generally goes b5 and bishop c5 archangels it's called she plays that but today she plays very calmly maybe it's a prep of course of course it is prep bishop b3 <coughs> castles and now she's ready to play the marshal so opponent plays anti marshal ki a4 khel do ab threat is to take take and the rook is hanging so what are the two ways in which black can continue here this b4 b4 yeah. uh, the three actually b4 You can even remove that the bishop from there. Bishop b7. Bishop b7 and rook b8. Three moves. Let's see what Tanya chose. Tanya chose bishop b7. D3, d6. Sagar, so, why is d6 a move here? Because uh, that bishop is anyway not going on c8, right? You usually play d6 to open that bishop up. Well, the main idea is that you want to go knight a5 ah. and push c5. So you lose control of the e5 pawn. So you want to defend this pawn. So that's what she did. Then c3. then she went here then she went c5 so all this is very standard stuff and has been seen in many games so nothing new under the sun in tanya's game but she both players are taking their time you can see there can we zoom in on this board uh, on this video frame of tanya and jawakha shwili uh, sorry salome melia salome melia uh, and i think this is a very critical board samay i think in this match a lot will depend on this one because uh, it's a it's a very maneuvering game that they have played they 12 move ho gaye no pieces traded them slow and steady and i think tanya once again uh, i don't know how many games she can continuously deliver but if she does once again that will be huge you know her parents are here since uh, two games and she's been winning both mm. so today she has told her mom that if i win today you have to stay here for more also अच्छा या आई फील चेस प्लेयर्स आर लिटिल सुपरस्टिशियस लिटिल ने अ लॉट समटाइम्स दे डोंट इवन चेंज देयर शर्ट्स दे डोंट इवन चेंज देयर पेंस या समथिंग दैट वे तो आई एम आल्सो सुपरस्टिशियस यस यू आर लेजी देयर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन सुपरस्टिशियस दे डोंट इवन टेक बाथ आल्सो मेनी टाइम्स यस यस सम आई हैज मेनी गुड क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ चेस प्लेयर आल्सो समटाइम्स दे ईट द सेम थिंग अगेन एंड अगेन Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, I just wanted to tell you, Harishit has told you guys. He said he's going for water, but he went for a coffee. Oh. oh. And I don't know if it is coffee with. Oh. Uh, nice. Okay, Amrita, I'm making sure we don't laugh. <laughs> okay, now on to the board of the Indian team, which is Hari Krishna, Vidit, uh, Arjun, and Shashi Kiran. Let me tell you a bit about this match. because it's india a team the one number one team of india versus uzbekistan and uzbekistan is such a powerful team samay because they have on the top board nadir bek abdu satarov who is the world rapid champion on board number 2 they have yakuboyev nadir bek who's 20 years old already three time world champion and of uzbekistan fabiano karwana no that is nadir bek only abdu satarov second board is yakubo boyev nadir bek third board is javokir sindarov javokir sindarov is only 15 years old 16 years old he is 2006 born if i am not mistaken so he is like gukesh and shashi kiran is playing samshidin wakido also a very youngster so all below 20 and they are facing this experienced team of india so in a way if you see uzbekistan team is a little similar to india b team yeah and this is a big test for india a team so Ki it bhai, is almost like india a versus b today exactly will our hari vidit and all be able to do well against the youngsters so nadir bek opens with e4 hari is like iske sath to ekdam solid khelna hai e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 italian on the board bishop c5 b3 
knight f6 and bishop g5 already fighting chess on the board matlab pehle hi pin kar diya very annoying pin saga that's why i always play h6 before i play bishop c5 but generally it is said that if you haven't castled you shouldn't worry because you can play h6 and g5 because your king is not castled yet so this pin is not a great idea so let's see if hari played h6 he played bishop h4 and now he doesn't go g5 instantly he first plays d6 castles uh, wait for him to castle and then he plays a5 okay. first a5 he says that maybe i want to make some space for my bishop stop c3 b4 expansion c3 and now bishop a7 a4 and g5 on the board wow so now that hari krishna has played both his pawns like even the g pawn and the a pawn ahead which side will he castle on he answers your question in a bit 97 queen b3 and castles on the board sagar but haven't you taught me that that g5 pawn is like a hook and now with h4 that hook will open and the king will become very weak so yes but his king is also there so if the king was on the other side yes but because the white king is here you can play h4 but after something like knight g6 or even g4 i don't think black has anything to worry about here got it but you know some the evaluation shifted between when hari played 97 it showed that white is better somehow this is more like he had to go knight d2 and maybe d4 plans here but unhone khela queen b3 which is actually he wanted to force hari krishna to castle and hari said bhai meko to castle karna hi hai and he castle and suddenly it's advantage to hari krishna but that move queen b3 also prevents hari krishna from developing the c8 bishop because the b7 pawn will be hanging but i think samay ye knight yahan jayega now once this knight is looking here can you get the other knight also to that square knight h5 absolutely knight h5 ye maybe king g7 f5 kholo or suddenly apna hi attack so i have a feeling that hari krishna might start putting a lot of pressure is hari krishna an attacking player or does he play positionally very positional very good at end games but jab mauka milta hai to these players can play well in any form mujhe bahut i'm actually very excited for hari krishna's position here kyunki plan bahut hi simple hai okay let's go to vidit's game vidit today has white pieces and i think he will be looking really to you know go for a win today d4 knight of 6 c4 g6 thandi lag raha hai nahi nahi g7 e4 b6 knight f3 short castles bishop e2 knight a6 what's the name of this opening it's i think a wrong opening because the knight is on the a6 but fir bhi just before knight a6 kings indian kings indian defense and bahut bahut saalon tak people were trying knight here knight here then someone came and said knight is also okay here yeah kyu kyunki wo bishop jo hai wo develop ho jata hai and later on that knight moves and comes to c5 how after pushing e5 we discuss remember bhai kya hi memory वो हर्षित वाला ट्रैप याद है दिखा सकते हैं? या सी फोर राइट नो हर्षित भाई प्लीज ज्वाइन द एंटायर वेरिएशन आई डोंट थिंक एनीथिंग ऑन सी अरे यार बिशप आया ना सी फोर पे यू नो आई वाज सीइंग दिस वीडियो ऑफ वेरी टेजियम डू यू फॉलो द चैनल यस ही वाज टेलिंग व्हाई चेस प्लेयर्स आर व्हाट मेक्स देम डिफरेंट व्हाट मेक्स चेस एक्सपर्ट्स डिफरेंट and they did a test very interestingly if you if i show you this position for 5 seconds and then ask you to recreate it you will be able to do it better than him he'll be able to do it better than me but if i give you a position that's not legal in chess if i put the pieces anywhere randomly and i give you 5 seconds to memorize it and 5 seconds then we three will perform in the same way yeah it makes Nice it's crazy, point, no? Yeah. No, it's uh, pattern recognition. Yeah, it's because chess players remember patterns. They don't have a great memory; just they are good at pattern recognition. It's also called chunking. Chunking, yeah, yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Basically, I can chunk this part of the board very quickly in my head, saying that it's a fiancée to position. I can chunk this part, saying that it's center, nicely developed. So chess players chunk things, and I think it happens in many different uh, spheres of life. 
and it's a memory technique actually in numbers it's very similar right for example you can very easily remember four times five and then four times six but then if i give you eight random numbers to recall it's going to get much harder so i think it's somewhat similar hmm. four times six is how much <laughs> it's for whom i mean i know 24 right wow all right sagar what happened in this game what is that fine. what you have to pay for bermuda party <laughs> 25 plus 100 yeah. <laughs> so uh, harshit you know with it very well mm-hmm. and uh, what are your thoughts about his form here overall also today he's gone one rank below he's now india number 4 gukesh has moved up to india number 3 do you think these things affect him i don't think they affect in the short term Uh, in the sense that I don't think he will be thinking about it in this tournament. But in the long run, tournament khatam hone ke baad, if it's the still the same ki Gukesh is number three, so mm. he will definitely think, "Yar, aisa to nahi matlab." I am. I have to re-establish myself. Right. So wow. love triangle lega apne yar ye. Amrita got it for him. He gave it to me. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> What I felt bad was you gave me, and he was looking like yeah. this. <laughs> advantage you're not married i understand <laughs> i understand that i have a lot of other disadvantages which is compensated by this advantage but but today i have an advantage because i can go to bermuda party with you oh It's, yeah like yeah. 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 you have a disadvantage acha dialogue mar chini meri chai mein dali sagar sir balancing both things but okay sagar harshit bhai what do you think about this opening game I I was just looking at it uh, from the uh, live view and I saw that uh, Yakubov was playing extremely quickly. Yeah. And but one thing I will say is that maybe he it, he also wants to go to the Bombay party <laughs> <laughs> on time. <laughs> I think today every all the games will be over at 6 o'clock. Bhai ye kon kon se area mein hum hai ki has nahi pate khul ke. Yeah, I don't know like that. फिर मारेंगे बट हर्षित इज सो काइंड यू आर नॉट सो काइंड यू जस्ट टू किट मैंने दिया तो मैं भाई पर तो आप बोल सकते हैं ना अमृत आपके लिए लाई है अच्छा अच्छा अगली बार बोलता हूं दिस थिंग नो वन डॉट मी अप सो रुके डी1 नाइट डी7 एंड विदित प्लेड नाइट सी2 हियर सरप्राइजिंग या कि विदित गेव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ब्लैक कि भाई मार लो पर मे बी विदित जस्ट वांटेड दिस टू हैपन so that there are imbalances that bishop harshit bhai is very strong right the fiancee or bishop so i think I it's really fair i like this position i mean i think it's a good position but what i don't like is that his opponent has not even spent half a minute that is a little I, concerning next move idam jaldi khel diya yeah that is not good yeah because when your opponent plays so fast can you zoom in on the camera and just have a look like with it made his last move and look at this he is again trying to blitz out his next move no no he is not blitzing out But yeah, that is intimidating, no? When your opponent has one hour thirty-seven minutes, look at with it for rugby four, and with it, there's a khada over here, you know, like, and Yakub Boyan has a piece in his chair. He's sitting back on his. These are all psychological <laughs> games going on. I feel. Yeah, look at with it. He's standing up there. He's telling Yakub Boyan, "Rugby four, boy. I have not done anything new. I have not done any preparation. Very interesting. Because he wants to double down the D file and put pressure on D six. That's his plan." Yeah, Vidit is very experienced. You won't get intimidated by such uh, mm, such mm. psychological tricks. And, and look at him, no? He is like uh, swaying yeah, slowly. Yeah, he's. Usko maza aa raha hai shayad se. Up soch, up soch. So I think Yakuboyev now. I mean, the position is interesting. I wonder what the rook is doing on the d4 square though. Double. But, but it's not so logical, right? Yeah. To put it on d4, like you, he would think that d2 or d3 is. Right. No, not d3 but d2. maybe d2 is more logical but queen bhi usko d2 pe lana hai i think oh future. he wants to triple ha ah. battery lagana matlab suppose if i go like rook d8 then okay. you go like rook d1 and then you put your knight let's say on c5 
then Vidit wants to play queen d2 and use these three pieces and yeah. this pawn is gone. Okay, here's a trivia for chat guys. What happens if the rook, if there are two rooks and a queen in a battery, what is that structure called? Mm. Can you no, tell me? This, this one or? No, no, not this one. If the queen was instead of the rook here. Either rook tha or queen to So let's say rook d2. Yeah. Rook d7. And queen d1. This one. What yes. is it called? What is this called, Chad? Do you know? That's right. Wow. Yeah. Who is this person? Swapnil Agrawal. Wow. Kya baat hai, Swapnil? Are bot logo ko aage. Wow. It's called the Alakine's gun. Yeah. <laughs> so rook d4 kela gaya. and uh, what what how to defend this now Harshit? actually yeah as you were mentioning and like you put the knight on c5 but i understand that if you put the knight here rook a d1 rook a d8 and the point is that after queen d2 c. black has c5 or agar Let's say you have you take everything. So yeah, I'll just exchange everything all all the way. And all right. I thought that knight c4 is the point, but it seems that even here rook d7 is there. But but how about not taking on e7? Yeah. And immediately taking on c4. Mm -hmm. wow. Because rook d8 there is intermezzo, yeah. Very nice. But here are you still not playing for like uh, stream material? Because you get two rooks for a queen, right? You don't you actually. Get, you, uh, get you get rook and rook. knight. You see knight c4, rook d8. Knight takes. Knight d2. Rook and you have to check. take on e8 and I'll take it back. And then rook takes knight. So, ek rook to mar gaya. Ah, you don't have to rook. Okay. And now, it's... Uh, I mean, if your bishop g5, pe hota tha, same position, then bishop f6, then it's fun. Then you have to rook d8. Aga. So, so uh, I think rook d4, knight e5 makes a lot more sense. Yeah, knight e5 in oh, was rook d8 No, no, that's not happening. Rook d4 pair. Harshad bhai, do you have a YouTube channel or anything? Twitch? I Instagram. don't know. You don't? I, okay. I only use like Instagram and stuff. Instagram pay? Yeah. Is it Harshit Raja? It's Harshit underscore 3401. Hmm. And are you active? On Instagram? Yes. Guys, do follow him, guys. He's the 69th Grand Master of India. And also he studies in the US. Yeah. And he became a GM when he was studying. And he's still studying. What are you studying, uh, Harshit? Uh, I'm in the University of Missouri. And I'm studying uh, economics and uh, finance. Wow. So GM bhi hai. He's studying economics and finance. How do you manage your time like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your wife. <laughs> How do you but like, how do you do it? You are a GM, you are a university, you are a university. From the beginning, I thought that, uh, I mean, okay, I will just answer seriously. I know, seriously, you are a lot serious, but Harshit has to laugh, which was logical because 10 minutes with you and nothing is serious. <laughs> I just thought, how much money is the university? <laughs> No, the university offered me a full scholarship and everything. Wow. And uh, no, it's uh, my university chess team is extremely strong. Sub grandmasters the SF team mein. Or a to world top fifty maybe a uh, Gregory Oparin karke player hai our team mein. So it's very nice. And I just thought ki academics or chess dono pe to, I mean I should be able I should do both. Ki just chess is of course there, but I always thought ki you know it's nice to also be to have some other. Uh, some way to make money also. No, and I would I think chess is having a lot lot of capital coming in, but it's just it's a nice way to keep you well rounded, I feel I feel. Well rounded bola. Well rounded but love saga. Okay, let's go to the game of Erigasi Arjun, Arjun versus uh, Sindarov. Sindarov, very talented youngster, and uh, right now, e4, c6, e4, d5, knight c3. Yeah. 
and after 94 night of 6 if you see the clock here he already had spent around 10 minutes which was very surprising actually i was watching the game live um and actually he spent time on second move second move itself mm-hmm. which is which says I, that he was very surprised with this uh, opening oh with arjun c6 because arjun usually i think plays the sicilian sicilian or e4 e5 yeah. or french mm. but he never plays uh, karo khan or maybe very rarely so very smart decision by arjun yeah these things are very important and i'm sure that someone from his team shrinath or someone must be helping and uh, and that's a kudos to that person who even if i know i wouldn't say of course but hmm. yeah kuch to pata hai aapko aisa lag raha hai queen e7 king e7 bishop d3 knight a6 what is this move why are you giving up double pawns bishop pair <laughs> ye <laughs> अर्जुन को बिशप पैर पसंद है अब लास्ट गेम भी अगर देखोगे तो हिज पॉन स्ट्रक्चर वाज बैड सिमिलरली बट ही हैड टू बिशप्स एंड एक बार ये बिशप यहां पे आ गया और रुक बी8 को ये ओपन फाइल मिल गया सो इफ यू टेक यू यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल विद वाइट देयर आर सम थिंग्स दैट आई एम लर्निंग यू नो आई यूज्ड टू ऑलवेज फियर रूइनिंग माय पॉन स्ट्रक्चर बट टर्न्स आउट इट्स ओके एक्चुअली even i would i would also fear yeah? yeah like actually i would say that this is only moves like knight a6 have only become very popular after the ai engine aapko mujhe pata nahi if you are aware of it's called leela leela yeah, yeah. yeah so this leela suggested all these ideas and people started using it and understanding these nuances which also were new for players like me <clears throat> so it's it's amazing that arjun is playing like I mean, this imagine uh, harshit like for me personally after this this i just hate the structure i would like to get rid of this pawn but even let's say if i get rid of it some way like c5 i don't and think open up this yeah i still have two very exactly. bad pawns so i think that in this position you usually don't want to exchange this pawn you are, you should try to push a5 a4 and even if he takes this pawn it's very good so let's say i'll just make some moves like let's say i play a5 you play bishop e3 i play a4 which is usually the plan so white black pushes a5 a4 then plays rook b8 and plays bishop a6 and tries to generate counter play so i think this is a very nice way to play this position i don't think cinderov will take he played a3 and uh, now he is thinking and now he has a choice that uh, should he keep this on the bait hmm. ki kabhi bhi tujhe marna hai ya nahi or he can just come back ki my point is done mujhe ghoda improve karna tha and now it can go to d5 or e6 or you know right. actually g6 f5 is also possible usually in these structures but now that our king is here we have to be careful about it yeah i had a feeling that this one is going to be like equalish equal enough for game but it's good that it's good for arjun because sindaro is very tactical it's a very nice point that you made actually because i played with him and he likes to play very aggressive openings or he queens nikal dene ke baad you know as a mm. you, uh, you take the poison out of the snake exactly. so it's a very nice uh, i think very very important opening idea from black when when in 2015 i went to abu dhabi open when sindaro was just 10 years old his rating was 1900 or something like that and he was already beating gms and i got to play him in the blitz tournament and i was shivering <laughs> because i knew ki bhai ye kabhi to tactics karega kuch and in the end i got a better position but i still do and he beat me because you know that thing was itna fast khel raha tha itna energy ke sath these youngsters and i think if you guys have been feeling the energy of gukesh pragnananda nihal then you would understand that sindaro is very similar so b5 was played in the game by the wow. way b5 by wow. arjun why, why is it wow for you harshit because it's so anti logical mm. uh, illogical i would say I'm sorry but because you know he wants to go b4 maybe or what but if you go b4 then you you like it feels a little I, i just don't know why he did it. like let's say i go c3 yeah let no i would why would i go because if you go b4 i'm happy actually i go a4 yeah okay i think so like let's say knight e2 if you go b4 i would be very happy and i think you okay now it's not working tactically as well because he is pawn lagging mm. so you have to prepare for it but then but why maybe, why did he go b5 is really a big question actually so yeah 
because the thing is about b5 is that you can play b5 whenever you want right ki knight bhi pehle khela sakte fir bhi b5 khel sakte to pehle hi kyu khela is kind of yeah what do you think samay bhai maybe is preventing a4 or c4 later on when his knight will come to d5 there is c4 right c4 yeah that's an interesting point a4 i don't think he maybe he just a3 khela hai so maybe c4 you wanted to because the knight that's the only logical square for the knight right the knight is going to come from here to here and you don't want to be hit like this oh. yeah that's a good point yeah very good point actually uh, just one thing i would say about c4 is that it comes uh, it comes with a lot of responsibility in the sense that after rook d8 this pawn will be a little uh, vulnerable kyunki piche koi support ko idhar bhi nahi hai aur idhar bhi nahi hai अब ये C पॉन है जब तक C3 खेल सकते हैं पर C4 फोर बट या आई थिंक दैट इट मेक्स सम सेंस ऑल्सो मे बी सेकेंड आइडिया रहेगा कि बिशप यहाँ से निकाल के कभी तो C5 फाइव पुश करना है मे बी वेल गुड गुड पॉइंट स्टॉप C4 फोर एंड बाई द वे वेरी क्विकली प्लेड बाई सिंदारो नाउ नाइटी टू दिस गेम इज हिटिंग अप लेट्स क्विकली गो टू शशि किरण वर्सेज शमशीदीन वॉकी दो शशि किरण विथ वाइट आई थिंक शशि किरण Uh, has great chances because he also has a hundred elo point advantage here. And Sashi, of course, as we know, is one of best team players right. from India. He gives up a pawn, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the point is, uh, if you take, then White goes rookie one. Or abhi knight piche lo. Agar kiki d5 kela to to kuch it doesn't make sense, right? Like also c4, c5 I can yeah, quickly c5. attack. Or your king is not developed. So rook knight piche and now d4 basically. and uh, so the point is ki if you go something like g6 it's how should do you teach chess i do not you should fatak se engine band kar deta hai question puchne ke liye he's like abhi question aa raha hai samay ready sagar bhai puch raha hu main what uh, yes uh, harsh is waiting for the question so it's not a question but i like just i feel ki it's it's sometimes easier to understand the position when we not use the engine because if i just put on the engine you know that this is not good for white mm-hmm. uh, this is not good for black but agar mere band kar gaya not bole bhai yaar black to pawn up hai yaar ye to matlab prakar gupta is asking is it mandatory for higher rated players to play board one can team mix it up i think yes prakar we can it's on the captain they give the board order in the morning and you can uh, you have fixed five people you can do it in any order right no actually there is the one caveat to that you can only play one board higher So, uh, for example, the fifth board can only play on the fourth, and fourth can only play on the third, and so on. Oh, I I wonder why that is, but because it they don't want so much randomness. But maybe in the future, I don't think they have seen COB, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but there was this one competition called MCL. Yeah, and there they were like, in a team, mein, there are there's a male GM, there's a female GM, there's a junior, uh, there's a IM, there's a woman IM. Is it going to be made up? and anyone can face anyone from the opposing team so the woman im can face the male gm that was random and that made it interesting and exciting i played as an untitled player when that happened in 2016 and yeah. i had a lot of fun i think that kind of format should be brought again in the in the indian uh, tournament because itna maza aata hai not only for the players but just think spectators were also so happy ki uh, like for example someone like divya is playing someone like anand or yeah, yeah. it's very difficult to see these kind of mixed right. matchups maybe which... in csl2 we can think of something like this we did like one board swapping for men and women board but yeah total yeah. randomness so that preparation won't be a factor yeah. or jo bhi hai the real chess the real uh, power will come out yeah imagine mm-hmm. like kolero hum be playing biswagalyan you know why not yeah anything <laughs> can happen in that csl that is the <laughs> looks like a tough matchup <laughs> <laughs> ये जो आपने लास्ट मैचअप बोला उससे ये आइडिया थोड़ा एकदम खराब लग रहा है मैं आई मस्ट आई रियली लाइक दिस पैनल हाउ वी हैव अ वेरी स्ट्रांग प्लेयर क्लब लेवल प्लेयर एंड अ बेसिक प्लेयर इट मेक्स यू नो बट क्लब लेवल और बेसिक में क्या फर्क है मैं क्लब लेवल पे जाके क्लब में खेलता है इट्स लाइक 1800 एंड बिगिनर इज लाइक यू नो he watches all angel lines and then he commentates no, i have to basically uh, make arrows and all yeah, that yeah. is my i'm not even basic of course just making arrows yes making moves so castle ho gaya a6 h3 queen c7 aur ab biscuit aaj to no biscuit dene koi 
have to be healthy tonight <laughs> tonight <laughs> gonna be a good good time and by the way uh shan has played an opening which is not like huge thing but just a normal position you very complicated actually these kind of positions do you think he is planning for e5 break if he gets the opportunity uh, i actually don't think so to be honest because e5 khela to you kal jaise if you remember vaishali's game we were talking ki wo bishop on b7 was kind of stuck and uh, so right now bishop b7 let's say bishop b7 and e5 ko bishop f3 aa raha hai so no, not bishop yeah bishop f3 you are right but oh. let's say ki humne just maar diya maar diya maar diya takes takes and now let's see bishop b6 and now this bishop is much better than mm. this bishop right because this bishop looks nowhere whereas this bishop looks at the uh, king side and it's also you can visibly see that it's uh, on a much longer diagonal right so, okay so complicated position everyone saying go to hari game quickly mm-hmm. let's go to hari's game because he is looking like he's winning oh, oh! wow With- रुकी Or he has to knight d two d four knight d two knight f one knight e three two eight. Here it's a very dynamic position actually uh, because h five h four कभी भी तुरंत actually Vidit also plays this with black mm-hmm. so maybe the Indian team discussed it कि आज क्या खेलना है वगैरह queen b three cast and by the way Abdul Sattar is on five out of five yeah like Bukesh like Bukesh extremely talented player twenty six eighty eight is almost twenty seven hundred now and with him knight d two d four I touch five amazing move. So this we we thought yeah. D into e five. If I kill it, so I'll just quickly say that g four comes. And now this knight d four could d into e five. This piece dies. I think that's it, right? This is not d four. Knight h five. Oh, he took. Oh, he, he took. Actually, actually, one question is, can he? No, this is very complicated. Actually, 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 By the way, G4 खेला हरी ने या नहीं? No, But I actually have feeling ना. देखो अब तो सत्तर usually never gets up from his chair. Hmm. And now he might have realized, oh my God, what have I done? Hmm. And to not show any kind of emotions and to you know calm himself down or not show anything, he has gotten up from his chair. I think I think uh, Harshit he has done something wrong since almost three moves ago. Yeah. I mean this is not even like this position. He landed into on this move. So what happened was it's like it's this, a landslide. It's a landslide, and it's like uh, like how I don't know if you, अब कभी हम movie देखने जाते हैं and we don't like the movie पंद्रह बीस मिनट में starting में फिर भी हम सोचते देख ही लेते हैं so we we are already in a bad situation but we make it from bad to worse but even though we should get out uh, so like it happened it yeah it happened to me while watching Gehra Yaar <laughs> it was a movie. he will take on g3 and take on e5 because i think g4 leads to some complications no i Or mean not? if you think about it the knight cannot go here mm. the knight cannot go here because either again knight just d into e5 and the point is he, this knight is just going right it's just okay so down. g4 what does he do like can g4, he go knight e1 knight e1 but even to make this move you have to be ashamed yeah like knight <laughs> by bacha rak piece bacha rak mein kya shame no what like 
no i mean it's take on g3 i take g3 i take on okay. fine let's let's explain to our viewers why this position is such a huge advantage because let's say i can save Material this night. equal yeah yeah, yeah. so I, i can just save this night like this so what what is happening some let's let's yes. ask some yes. do you understand because see the knights are bhi kar diya usne Okay, see the knights are trapped. Okay, the knights don't have a good square. No, actually, I like how you are thinking. Yeah, isn't it? And then the pawn on f two is pinned. Yeah. So later on, let's say the queen comes and somehow takes this pawn, mm. then you can't take it back. Plus, the attack is coming from h four, h five, and after takes, we can even go g three. And wow. now, bye, 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 bye. All bow down to the supreme leader, dosto. <laughs> So I think uh, that is one major reason, uh, Sagar Bhai. Also, this bishop and queen are in a battery, but there is no use like of that battery, right? Mm. It's like doing printing engineering and the masters. <laughs> like you are well prepared over here, you know everything, but what use is it? Take on G three. Oh, he took it. He took it. By the way, he didn't play G four, but this is absolutely right, guys. Perfect. H five, H four is coming in, and the queen joins in, and he. A king G seven rook H eight be aage, so matlab king will be dis completely over here. But as as we discussed, Hari Krishna goes for I think the most uh, logical yeah. and simple choice because G four is in hand. And yeah, anytime. No, but minus two guys. If you think about it, even Jobawa is looking at them. Yeah, yeah. Jobawa, 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 yeah.
क्योंकि नाइट भी एफ वन से इतरी आता एंड वाइट ब्लैक किंग इंस्टेड ऑफ वाइट वुड बिन वीक सो दैट्स वन पॉइंट एंड सो Hari is better with the black pieces. Arjun also we saw that was doing good with the black pieces. So let's look at our white board maybe. Yeah, let's look at with its game. By the way, uh, on our left of the screen, guys, you can see the bars that have been made by Nordwin, who has been our partner in this broadcast, and they have made it such easy for you to follow it. Ki black, dekho Hari Krish, uh, Indian team is in blue color. the opposing team uzbekistan is in yellow so uh, harshid you can just get a glimpse of the entire match in one view that's amazing actually i was following the match before i uh, the stream before i came to uh, uh, to chennai and it's really nice very easy for people to follow so right now because of hari india seems very good because on all other boards it looks equal yeah but what about vidits rugdi four has made nadir <laughs> back think for 27 minutes now yeah that's amazing actually a very big psychological relief for vidit ki yeah. rook before to bhi pata nahi tha usko so abhi exactly. aaya at least there is a game is that pawn is not hanging right so why don't you just push c5 and kick that rook away then so, this gets yeah. weakened maybe here here and here ah. with pawn moves actually i would like to say to samay bhai and also to the chat ki whenever you make a pawn move it's very important to realize ki when you move a pawn it it definitely leaves some squares which were in our control out of control mm-hmm. so b5 for example and d5 ye hum we can see and in notice we get control of b4 and d4 jo so we have to uh, we have to make a decision ki d5 is the important or d4 and surely hamara knight d5 pe aa gaya to bahut zyada danger ho jayega so ek i think it's it's a nice you know kind of uh, Like it's something you can keep in the back of your mind that uh, pawn push कर pawn push क्योंकि knight के साथ you can come here and go back with pawn you can only push once and then what if you play knight c7 versus black and then uh, no no knight c7 mm-hmm. like if you if you play knight c7 then can you push this because now late so so now can you push this I mean now when the knight comes can't we just exchange the knight mm. that's a good question. But I think it will be long term weak, yeah. Like for example, let's say knight c7. For example, here and just pawn mar bhi nahi raha rega. Suppose we go back. Fir bhi ye weak, ye weak, and you have no. This will always remain passive. Mm-hmm. It's our typical thing. Ki ye knight kab aayega? You have to wait. Ye knight has to keep on defending. Or, jo bishop ka hamara color hai. वो कलर के आप पॉन अगर कभी पुश करोगे ना आई एम स्टॉकिंग इन वेरी बेसिक सेंस विदाउट लाइक लाइक नॉट कंसीडरिंग द मूव टू मूव टैक्टिक्स बट वो कलर में आप पॉन करोगे तो फिर लॉन्ग टर्म में अगर सब पीसेस एक्सचेंज हो जाएंगी एंड लेट्स लेट्स जस्ट थिंक कि अगर ये बिशप को एडवांटेज होगा ना क्योंकि यू कैन अटैक दिस पॉन वेर एज इन दिस पोजिशन तो ये ओनली हैज टू थिंक अबाउट दिस पॉन एंड आफ्टर यू पुश दिस वन टू लाइक देन यू It's it's on the same color as the same bishop. color as the bishop. That's a nice insight. Yeah. Pawn push is a big commitment in life. Some way, <laughs> you're committing to something like you know. <laughs> so you have to be careful before coming. Right? <laughs> By the way, rookie d1 played. 95 played. Rookie d1. D6 is weak. And now, <clears throat> okay. Let's go to the first board games of our Indian players. Right now, it looks like India is doing very well in this match with Uzbekistan. Let's see how Gukesh is doing against Gabriel's. Oh, Sergisian, boy, what he position is? By the way, what, what, which board did we not take a look at from the A team, or we saw all, all, the, all the boards? We saw all the four boards. So Shashi, we Shashi, saw. okay, yeah, Shashi is the fourth board. Okay, everyone's equal except Hari, who's winning. Hari is winning, and also, yeah. Kalpak Raut says easy explanations by Harshit should be a segment on Chesbe's YouTube channel so layman friendly. You know, guys, uh, Harshit just uh, messaged me a few days ago saying that I'm coming to Chennai and I'll be here. I want to just enjoy the Olympiad. Can I do something with you guys? And you know, I can take interviews and so on. And uh, he he just came here. I was like, okay, he'll do some very nice deep interviews with the players. He did one yesterday with uh, Ter Sahakian Samuel. 
but uh, the commentary has been amazing harshit yeah, people are you. enjoying so much thank you one year ago today exactly harshit raja became 69 gm loving yeah. your addition to comment ah. pata hai wow i didn't know actually are wow wow are bhai harshit third third august third august yeah wow that's a manasri amazing it's a very nice uh, very टेक्निकल पोजिशन and dragozin if you know with it from our team plays many top players carlson ne bhi khel sab I mean, it's considered to be one of the most solid moves so this is just a waiting move actually which is played so this engine is of course just uh, very basic considered to the engines these top players have been using so the point is we are just waiting to see what white wants to do castle for example kia so again you can make a waiting move like a6 mm-hmm. so it's just waiting to see what white wants to do and then he wants to push a5 but of course e5 is also i mean completely natural and obvious yeah that's a but it gives a gukesh ki ab e5 ho gaya hai mm mm-hmm. to mara mara, mara. bishop e5 okay oh, he, again, again one more i would say ki ek knight e5 bishop e5 and if i'm not wrong f4 i had analyzed with some with at some point in my life that bishop c3 bishop into c3 and the point mm-hmm. is queen e7 like i think there was also some game that you give some sacrifice like this or something like this pawn de do pawn de do yeah and bishop pair and king h1 aaya to fir attack is very again the importance of two bishops if you just they so when i look at this position without the engine i know that i want to play with white aapko bhi samay bhai so feeling to aata rahega ki yaar ye bishop yahan pe ye bishop yahan pe ye queen yahan pe Like at my level, I always uh, consider pawn structure to be more important. Like in this position, I would just give bishop takes f6 and ruin black's pawn structure on the king side, and maybe hope for a rook f3 and rook g3. Yeah. But now I realize that bishop pair is even superior than the pawn, pawn structure. Sometimes, yeah, very important. Or if you just see rook f3 are a rook a1 are a, rook a1 even are a, ye position matlab kya hi maza aega white se khelne yeah. ke liye. So that is another f4 is another idea. But of course, that uh, these guys of course have analyzed this and. there must be some very uh, nuanceical reason which equal which equal, which which makes it equal for black so he went bishop e2 back yeah yahan par after takes bishop e2 and when he took now gukesh was like ki bhai pawn se maroge bishop se bishop se maar sakta hu par pawn se maarunga the g file open long castle karenge <laughs> and you know ye to this is the young blood yeah. talking because i think the more experienced guy might take with the bishop perhaps but okay this is i yeah. think a very logical very, idea yeah. a6 yeah a6 very good move yeah because he wants to go b5 now. and also stop knight b5 actually mm-hmm. because uh, if if white ever gets this bishop for this knight mm-hmm. bishop pair bishop pair of course bishop pair and this bishop will be very very strong so as i a6 very strong and of course preparing b5 as happened in the game yeah. like uh, isn't black's attack coming quicker than white's attack that's the question and that's what will decide the nature of this game because how are you stopping uh, c5 is also coming c5, and uh, yeah but i think white will attack with pieces just say rook yaha b4 knight e4 so now he is launching it with pieces while black is playing with pawns let's say a5 yeah a5 abhi thoda ye hai kisi you are giving the bishop so तुमको ये बिशप तुमने व्हेन एवर तुमने मौका दिया आई विल जस्ट टेक इट विदाउट थिंकिंग बिकॉज़ वापस ये बिशप पैर जो चीज है ये बहुत ही सी फाइल खुल रही है रुक बैठेगा वहां पे या वेरी गुड पॉइंट एक्चुअली तो मुझे ये मूव एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट लगता है कि एक बार ये बिशप यहां से आने से रोक दिया मैंने ओके बिशप ई6 अब तो बहुत खुला थ्रेड है रुक आने का बिशप ई6 जस्ट मैंने एक मूव किंग यहां पे रख दिया लेट्स ट्राई टू प्ले रुक सी रुक सी एट Rook C8. So let's see now. मेरे को बहुत डर लग रहा है इस वाइट इसमें. But queen, queen D3. Then bishop, bishop C4. So I'll just take a minute to see. maybe queen A4. But then B D7. Queen B3 and then queen E3. Yes, sir. है ना? 
many ideas like very interesting ideas to play okay i don't know if it works par dekhte hai ek queen d3 khela humne bishop c4 queen d3 queen c4 rook g7 theek hai hum queen d4 pe jayenge theek hai chalta hai ke pata nahi let's see okay you take bang bang theek hai mara you mara king takes check king h8 king h8 boom oh oh this is okay man and if you think i'm pretty sure it will be winning yeah, yeah. wow this is winning so so at back dono ko sambhal ke karna padega na everything is rook g5 file hai yeah, so cool hai ye perfect and variation hai to demonstrate the power hi kya hi analysis that uh, this bishop c4 queen d4 is very strong because uh, if you take this actually it can be a small puzzle mm. that uh, yeah it's very nice like rook g7 here is incredible takes king h8 agar khela to fir i think bishop g5 can be devastating so take yeah this this is a aisa ho gaya to bukesh to he is eyeing usko matlab usse aankh ekdam aise hum kaise mango dekh ke aankh ho jate hai aise ho i think bukesh ne yahi sab dekh ke aise khela hai and but uh, you know gabriel sargisian is one of the most solid gms in That's the world true, actually yeah pehli <laughs> pehli <laughs> nazar mein jadoo kar diya engine on karke fe4 played but you know what my bishop here is feeling ki bhai can i get this square you know i really love this square with my rook but this pawn is not allowing it hmm what oh but i have a i have this is a threat now let's a threat that's true so queen to nikalna hi padega so so let's say he goes queen e7 how is it a threat isn't the bishop defending it no but then yeah, rook queen. is there no here ah okay now after so, queen e7 ha queen e7 ke baad nahi but now i think for sure he will be eyeing for f4 f4 e5 hai yeah, na let's go like let's do this ye to matlab if this comes then, okay, then why it's is over. better yeah. so how do we stop it f6 f6 only move and now how should white continue like i think i'm pretty sure bukesh has seen something very similar oh we have a samay bhai are aap bata hi main this is mein nahi jata ha theek hai we have the man here the one and only Guys, guess any guesses. Just, just say, uh, just say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, guys. Did you hear this? This voice is, of course, you know it very well. So let's see if the chat guesses you from a hello. Did you get any books, sir? <laughs> <laughs> this is another hint. <laughs> oh, people are not able to guess. Let me see. They are saying Adipa. Oh yes, one guy guessed it. Satyam Jha. <laughs> well done, Satyam Jha. Mr. Sarvanan is here in the house, guys. One of the best commentators in India and the world. Hello, Sarvanan. How are you? This is too unexpected. I was actually <laughs> just asked to come and see the commentary booth. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy. I'm not I just complaining. want to add here. I was just taking a video of the spectators, and then suddenly I see Sarva. <laughs> so he does this, I, and I'm so happy to see him because yeah, uh, two days ago on the stall, someone was buying the best books, and I was like, "How come you are choosing all the best books within a minute?" He said. I saw Sarvanan's video. <laughs> <laughs> Point to note: I'm not getting any commission. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? How's the day going? India is doing really well. Yeah. Because of Hari Krishna. Almost. Did you actually see Hari Krishna's uh, opponent, Abhijit Taro? Yeah. Um, first of all, the Queen B3 thing. Do you like? Did you make sense of it? It looked yeah, like very odd. White, white yeah. wasted two three tempos. I felt, yeah, of yeah, the yeah, opening. Yeah, absolutely. And A four was it really necessary? I don't know. Uh, I'm not complaining, of course, from Indian point of view, basically. Um, also, with Abdul Sattaro, who usually is very well prepared, it was very strange to yeah, see exactly. this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I think um, Hari right now. Yeah, is clearly better. Yeah, that's what I felt too. While yeah. other three boards are holding fort very well, so I think India is clearly a favorite. So we looked at these games just before you arrived. Yeah. So can we look at our uh, B team together? At one point, just yeah. go back one moment in this game. Mm. Go back to 
after d5 yeah instead of knight g3 i felt g4 was even stronger yes yeah yes. oh you saw that okay sure sorry okay yeah. absolutely i mean yeah. harshit was also mentioning this and yeah, i think g4, the engine knight, also agrees yeah make the wish knight go to e1 now take knight g3 and knight e5 and i felt it was clearly better yeah yeah even yeah. even just pawn takes looks great and with h5 h4 coming up it okay. looked very powerful but then it might leave the knight on g6 a little standard i felt yeah but this is just very strong like ah, okay i'm going to this way but, yeah okay so this was one really i mean this is a great game uh, meanwhile gukesh you know i have a reason for telling this probably it's not a good thing to tell it in open mm-hmm. i'm not but, but honestly very say... I, i'm going to say it <laughs> come on i'm 50 years old <laughs> i am not really happy with this comparison of you know india a india b thing i think it's very unhealthy mm-hmm. it's my personal opinion it's my personal opinion mm-hmm. it's a strong opinion i want india a to do well mm-hmm. they are all my friends mm-hmm. everyone in india a india b i consider them to be friends all of them i can have a chai in the evening with but this comparison of india a india b i think you know it's partly being created by the non chess media one second thing is very unhealthy we had a selection criteria based on which the team was selected we had india a and india b and they both are doing well both are i'll be very happy if they reach the podium okay the more experienced team finishes first or the younger team finishes first so what they both are india a right so i'm actually happy to see india a's portions today yeah. yeah of course i'm looking for india b to win as well yeah. yeah i think i think the comparison overall the feeling is it's really great that we can actually compare two teams right now like a is From almost India. as equal as b yeah is i don't think any country can boast of that to, as on today right yeah yeah terrific yeah. maybe russia but no also i mean after, i mean they have like four players i mean they just stand out right grischuk for example nepomnesh they just stand out from the rest i feel ah uh, that's because they they are in the world top 10, top 10. and then there is no right. remaining yeah. backup to yeah with the younger uh, team yeah so but even this that way, yeah. point of view is correct that mm-hmm. indian team is so well knitted that anyone can be in a and anyone can be in b right now you know in that sense all okay. of them yeah but i feel you know so i am really excited to have a class hmm. true you know, true see, for are. example youth is one side experience is one side i'll tell you for example adiban told that day he came to the media center and we asked him what do you think is difference between you and the other four in the team in opening preparation specifically in openings he said they are not afraid of anyone any opening any game that's that's very refreshing for me the next day rv ramesh came he is actually the coach captain of this young team so we asked him how do you find coaching the youngsters he had a completely different view point he said the the experienced players they know that you cannot take openings for granted so they want to be thoroughly prepared whereas the youngsters sometimes you have to force them there is a hole here there is a hole here there is a hole here take care of everything i just asked him do you want to give names he said no of course not <laughs> all of them <laughs> <laughs> but see the view point the people who are in the ring side you know it's actually a lot of dynamics you know right. at every level you cannot say that youth is better experience is better see in spite of all these players being uh, i'm sorry are we talking too much no, about no, general it's great, it's great. see for example i like gukesh a lot i like pragnan nanda a lot because their coaches are my close friends so i know what went into constructing a gukesh or constructing a pragnananda but at the same time i am a much bigger fan of hari and vidit because you know the depth they bring to the table uh, vidit gujarati gave a lecture about 2 months ago i think in a pct platform proches training platform the topic of the lecture is complicated decisions mind boggling the way the guy described how he takes decisions is mind boggling so you know you should never rather you should you should praise both and you should expect them both to do well the right. youth as well as experience yeah. this is what i very strongly feel yeah yeah very interesting insights and i think it's very true harshit in every field that i think with experience uh, you also have got burnt several times so you stop taking <laughs> certain risks i mean even as a journalist i know 
that when I have asked for interviews from certain players at certain moments as a as a youth, I got some great interviews, but then I also got like some backlash. And so now I'm a bit more careful. So I miss out on those opportunities sometimes. So I think that is true in every field. And the fact that uh, Hari Krishna and Vidit are still doing so well. I mean, uh, what do you mean still doing well? <laughs> they are doing well. <laughs> uh, there is this joke about uh, all the players in chess. He is a great player who has a great future behind him. <laughs> okay, Let's so by yeah. the way, uh, Gukesh's opponent, <laughs> Sergei Sian, has just played Queen E7. And as uh, Harshit had mentioned, some amazing lines. There is an attack coming here. But I think for now, Black has it covered. Mm -hmm. ah, it's... I still feel that Gukesh might have seen something similar. If you look at just the clock timings, it's uh, to think for about over an almost an hour for the first 15 moves, out of which the first 10 moves were preparation. Yeah. Suggest... And Sargisyan is, doesn't manage his time so well. I mean, he gets regularly under time pressure f4 on the board threatening e5 i think f6 is going to come in sarah you you feel like white's getting the upper hand here mm, yes and no it looks threatening but at the same time what's the future of this attack just double down the g file it. perhaps yeah i understand let's say let's keep the bishop on uh, let's say b7 no, no, I'm sorry. E5 shot comes. I'm sorry, sorry. E5 is coming. Uh, what should we do here? It's not obvious, right? Also, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. E... yeah, it seems like, I mean, these are the kinds of positions that Gukesh really enjoys. Like, there are many possibilities, sacrifices in the air. Yeah, for example, I would just quickly point out that bishop e6, which one might look normal, mm -hmm. probably runs into this, this, this. And f5, yeah. And and bishop c4. And b3. Yeah. Mm, like bishop also, trap. Yeah, also, yeah, I mean, here also, if you cannot take, of course, because there is like <coughs> bishop c4. So let me go stuff. king h8 in the first moment, yeah? For rook g3, for your doubling. King h8? Yeah. So my point we'll is, so let's rook. say I would just yeah. make the natural. Move. Yeah, let's say, let's say rook f7 now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, this looks a little scary. Yeah, G forcing g6, g6 and then sacking. Yeah, really perhaps it. sacking or maybe making some move like e5 move and or queen something coming like in. This. <coughs> no, it definitely looks scary for black. Yeah. Especially when you don't know. So I feel that if this was prepared and you know King H8 is the best, you can play it confidently. But when you don't know, and even if King H8 is the best move, you will be nervous. Guys, unbelievable decision by Sargisian. He's played A5 instead of F6. A5 on the board by Gabriel Sargisian. Allowing E5. Allowing E5. Can we zoom in on this camera? Yes. Gukesh comes on the board. Let's go in. He and should be very happy seeing this. Look at this. He is he is like, okay. <laughs> okay, what? E5? You're giving me this move? What's wrong with you? What, what wow, is his plan? Is, oh, is, is he going to sack his bishop or what? No, he'll play bishop c5, of course. No, but like just intuitively allowing e5 felt so odd. Yeah? Now just bd3 and you have like, or maybe what? Queen e4, bd3. So many, it's like juicy position here for white. <laughs> I mean, you can do so many things. What a way to describe a position. <laughs> Actually, even something like rook g5 with the backdoor idea of playing e6 at mm -hmm. some point. Absolutely. And at, at, I'm, I mean, Pro hoping that at h6, h6 yeah. might be a weakness. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm con like thinking. Because after you go at 6 g6 again becomes uh, a little uh, of little bit of a weakness but the question is why the guy, guy allowed e5 itself which is very surprising yeah yeah actually i think he would be worried about all these variations we were talking with rook g3 yeah hmm. rook g1 and but but uh we know it's uh, like it's like going uh, out of the frying pan and into the fire now 
Yeah, but you're, like you just if you get... think about it, like instead of a five f six, mm-hmm. I myself did not see such a clear way of for black to defend against this actually. Uh, right, right. Let's say King H eight. Yeah, when King H eight Rook G one, I should have gone Rook G eight. Rook G eight. Yeah, but yeah, this G8. makes sense. It doesn't look Rook all F seven didn't make sense. See, I was more worried about the bishops. Some, uh, not yeah. yeah. For example, E five F five Queen H seven. Exactly, but yeah. there is this bishop there. Yeah. So like for example. Bishop C4 maybe first. Bishop. Yeah, this was the point of my going king H. So Bishop C4 now go. Bishop E6. Yeah, have, that's yeah. my point. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe. Uh... Hmm. But even this but looks this scary. Looks like this is slow. Yeah, like black is not really. So I have a one move maybe, uh, which I should utilize properly. This is a typical portion which they say you know white is on the better side of equality. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Gukesh is like. Of course, I'm going yeah, to five go immediately. Immediately, yeah, yeah. five <laughs> five is an automatic. <laughs> I really don't know how he allowed. No, it's big pressure because thirty four minutes versus sixty eight minutes. And man, if Gukesh wins today, he's six out of six. He's also <laughs> moving up the rating ladder like anything. Two seven one four. He might gain another four five, low, four, four five, five low five. points. He's higher rated. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sargisa is two six nine eight. eight. Yeah. Oh. He might go two six two zero. Yeah. Two seven two zero. Sorry. Two seven two zero. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> we can. Yesterday in the press center, you know, the local media is very excited because uh, three of the B team players are Tamilians, right? Ah. Uh-huh. So in the local media, a guy asked, he actually asked this question. Carlson is coming and watching your game every day. What do you think about it? Okay, sure, sir. Really? <laughs> what did he say? Really? He just, you know, he's like, okay. One of those non-answers. <laughs> yeah. What do you expect to do when you play Carlson? Apopatila. I'll see later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Gukesh is one of those guys who hardly likes breaking his rhythm during the tournament in any way. Did you see his picture from yesterday? The team picture. Yeah. That was taken. Okay. You could see that rest of the players were giving a smile because you know the photographer is taking a picture. But Gukesh was like no smile mm-hmm. because he didn't approve of this. You know, making poor people game. stand and all of that. But he said, okay, if the team is doing, I'll do it. But I won't smile because I want to be in my zone. Yeah, and it I makes think... sense yeah, that if you have a certain kind of routine before the game, like if you have a certain, then why not to follow it? If it works, it works. Yeah. I'm sure even the top players like Gary might have had some routine. Like he's, he's of course, uh, Saranan sir must know better. But like he used to like to walk before the game right. or something like this. So this is interesting. <clears throat> Vishy Anand, you know, he said most of his career he never had lunch. Wow. A very heavy breakfast and then a soup before the game because typically the top tournament they start at uh, three three p.m. in the afternoon, which is very common, just like here. So never a lunch. Mm, a heavy exactly. breakfast and a soup. Yeah. Okay. So, by the way, uh, Gukesh better. Let's mm. quickly look at Nihal's game. Nihal here uh, is playing against Melkumian, and we had seen this very sharp opening in the Tarash with yeah. E4 being played here. And Melkumian I... had a beautiful game yesterday against McShane. The yeah. decisive game which enabled Led them to, to beat uh, England. Beautiful game yesterday. But Nihal came very well prepared. Yeah, uh, overall. Pawn sack, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and he sacked the pawn. <laughs> he played his bishop to d5, mm. rook e1, f5 came in, and then take. Little take. surprising that uh, Malcolmian went for this because uh, Nihal is usually considered to be very very good in end games, mm. and uh, I I would think that. In this kind of positions, there is a, of course another line. Uh, which instead of e4, I mean because this e4 is very forcing. Mm. So if you want to get uh, an interesting position, you can of course start with e3 here. Right. C4, <coughs> and it's a very complex position, mm. which I, which, which we, you would one would think is what White would want uh, with the white pieces. But of course, it's but difficult. I, you know, this is, is one of the tragedies of uh, computer chess. You did this twenty years ago. Any coach would say, "You queen, give the queen. two bishops, and then you open up the center. Come on, why do you do that?" And today, it's like it's it's fine. It's one of the main variations. <laughs> yeah. 
also it's very difficult to know whether nihal would play the tarash or not right because he has such a wide repertoire he has actually been playing he's uh, playing tarash right? i have seen some games of his that online is definitely i mean nihal more... plays everything online no but it's definitely <laughs> something which melkomian would have a look Right, because even I know that he has played uh, this. So come on, Harshit, you are one of you. You are one of the most well-read players out there when it comes. You know, you know all the latest trends and stuff. Yeah. So you mean what do you mean? You mean to say he's the minority <laughs> or the majority? <laughs> I mean, when Harshit says he knows Nihal plays this, yeah. it I'm means that uh, yeah. not many might know about it. So but today, it's amazing, yeah, that with Black he can like if he can hold so easily. It's, I mean, of course, Melkomian is a very strong player as well. So. But do you think this is now like there's no juice left here for White, or because he can win a pawn? Yeah. So what I want to say is like even if he wins this pawn, like even if White gets the best kind of scenario, which would never happen. Like I'm saying, this would never happen. We can of course probably go rook c8, takes takes. You will go rooks like if you rook c1, and I just wait because the point is you can actually never move the knight. You can uh-huh. not bring your king to d3 because f2 falls. So there is no way for uh, white to actually unpin this. Right. Knight e2 would lead to taking on c2 and taking on b2. And uh, there is yeah. simply and no it's way. very nicely pointed out, yeah, that white can't make That's progress. Yeah. If you do here, you lose this pawn. But uh, you can't I win. have a question. Was it necessary for Nihal to go into this? Can you go forward, backwards? Mm-hmm. Can you go behind the line? Yeah, here, yeah, before before F5, let's say, before F5. Yeah, here, did Nihal really have to force things here? Mm. I was a little surprised by F5 here, you know. Mm-hmm. Because after all, all the trumps are as with, they with are. with black, yeah? So you exactly. mean like Rook F8? Uh, uh, Rook F8 and D6, I'm not so sure. Mm. But no, no, and D6, B D6, I can take, I'm sorry. Black, yeah. I thought Rook A B8. For example, the variation which was pointed out by Hershel. You know, all that. Now I have a hole on the long diagonal, right? So I thought black actually, might have like got a little... Black, yeah. You can now that I'm it, telling yeah. you, you like black. <laughs> I actually like black, you know. What the Yermolinsky says, spit and polish. Lizards. Go slow, go slow. Mm. What's the hurry? Why play F5? I actually didn't like F5. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Nihal's decision, although a little bit very direct, F5... I mean. One way he might be thinking about it is that in a team event, I'm black, that he might have looked at the other boards and thought that, okay, it's, it's very difficult to make this decision, I feel, because in one way, you he maybe knows that I can make a draw. Yeah, with black, yeah, I mean, draw is good enough. Maybe in open, I'm sure he would have, play, like if it was an open event, I'm sure yeah. he would have not made right. this do. This was another interesting thing. When Gokesh came to the press center, they asked him, is there competition between you as well in the same thing? <laughs> he said, very interesting. He said, we are very close friends off the board and very fierce rivals on the board. So even here, we all want to do well individually also, but at the same time, we help each other with our preparations also. It's a really nice, nice place to yeah. be. Yeah. This is the best that can happen for Indian chess right now. The healthy competition that's happening between these youngsters. Going to the next board between Adiban and Ter Sahakyan Samuel. Adiban, uh, of course, is in great form after his win yesterday. Because, you know, he he really helped Team India yesterday to win that match. Uh, Today, again, white pieces. Lot of responsibility on his shoulders. But it looks like his position is interesting. I mean, it's just out of the opening yet. Just a regular hanging pawns position. You know this, right? In all Queen Gambit declined, sorry, or any Queen's Gambit positions, the positions with the hanging pawns give the best opportunity for black to play for a win. Mm. So players with black pieces who are aiming for a, for a win, especially in Soviet times, this hanging pawns are a very common feature to have in all of their retires. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, you can always push this pawn, this pawn. There are many possibilities. They are always lurking in the air. More than that is a threat that I will, I may push this pawn, I may push this pawn. <laughs> that's, that's even worse than the actual push. Absolutely. Threat stronger than execution. So, Sorry, you're saying something. Sorry. Yeah, this actually, C4 is of course a very typical idea to uh, gain control. Like C4 is of course possible. But this D4 push mm. uh, after when I think... Be, like this d4 push can really be very deadly 
because it directly opens this bishop and most of the times what black tries to does is like bishop d6 is queen c7 like usual placement and then d4 so like everything is supported another idea if black wants to bring his rook in the game rook a7 and, and it can also be defended to push the pawn to d4 another because if you think that queen c7 runs into some b4 ideas which can, it's actually a good point that queen c7 usually can run into b4 if you take i mean i'm happy to give that pawn also the file is there but in general b4 is a like if you just make Five a pass move, square. Yeah, like if you just make a pass like b4 now uh like of course now it might be running into some problems but to just to point out that sometimes this pawn sacrifice can be very uh very much in the air i think having hanging pawns or facing them is just like iqp mm -hmm. it's like players like carpo would love to play against hanging pawns players who are very dynamic would love to play with hanging pawns there was an observation by grandmaster lev sakis long ago about hanging pawns you know at that point in my dictionary iqps as well as hanging pawns if you have them you are lost mm -hmm. very simplistic view point about life he said boy have you ever played against hanging pawns i said no neither with hanging pawns nor against hanging pawns he goes you know something if you go against hanging pawn you are always worried when your opponent is going to push d4 <laughs> if you are with hanging pawn you are always worried that when you are going to lose them so play it as well so <laughs> sounds like uh, someone saying are you married or <laughs> let's not go there <laughs> We are all happily married, me and Sadha, for the record, yeah. My wife may be watching this. So, so uh, that looks like an interesting position. This one is Bhova Hanisian versus Raunak Sadhwani. Someone called immediately after I said this. Uh, not Amruta. Uh, so here, what do you think, guys? Well, obviously, black, white is slightly better, but the question is whether it came from the Berlin endgame. No, obviously, Sad Sadhwani was playing extremely fast today in the opening. Yeah. He was very well prepared today. Amazing. He's fast. usually very well prepared. Yeah, in today fact, was too good because he was, he was about forty minutes ahead of the clock. Maybe you can take a look yeah, because even I'm curious now hmm. what happened. The Berlin. Also, to point out this, this, many setups are possible, so it's very difficult to choose. Yeah, like of course, one idea is to go bishop e7, king e8, knight h4, uh, to in, when with the inclusion of h5. And now, recently, what oh, no, sorry, king e8 is also possible. That and now, what the engine like very strong engines and also all the top players are finding out is bishop d7, king c8. Mm -hmm. And like to play to put the king on c8 and That's the original to... idea of Kramnik, yeah. Mm -hmm. We should be seven king, king c8, c8 yeah. yeah. So uh, this is what he did. And also after h3, like h5 is usually how is usually the way to answer it. <coughs> or bishop e7, g4, knight h4. Uh knight e7, knight g6 is also so many, many plans actually. So very difficult, very like people think that Berlin endgame, you know, very boring and stuff like this. But when you actually play it with some side. Uh, it's as uh, yeah, Saranan sir was saying, like it's like hanging pawns. Yeah, like once yeah. you try to play with both sides, you understand that it's actually very complex. So at six is uh, like to stop all these knight g5. Like, like many a times, white plays knight g5, and even e6 pawn sacrifice is uh, is very much. Okay, quiz for both of you. The only Indian who has written a book on the Berlin. Mm. He has written a book. Book, yeah. Wow, we have been put for, on the for spot. For which publisher? More clue. Ah. He's in this building right now. Oh, uh, maybe Barua. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that look, that look. Me and Barua are very close friends. <laughs> Barua and opening theory may be a little too much of a stretch. We are very close friends, by the way. Priyadarshan Karnapan. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Of, uh, of course, of course. Gambit Publishers, I think. Yeah. Gambit uh, or no, no, I think quality. Thinkers. Thinkers, huh? yeah. He wrote a book on Berlin, yeah. So, I was thinking some 
it's a recent book. Yeah, and he is a coach of one of the teams yeah, yeah. playing in the Olympia. Yeah. So take, take. White has like great development, but Black has the bishop pair, a five, and still Ronak was on his in his prep. It seems one hour thirty yeah. minutes. King c seven still in the prep. F four still in the prep. Knight d six still in the prep. Still in the pre- oh my god, what but both, yeah. Even you have to say that, because yeah, yeah, for Hovani, yeah, bishop d4, rook e8. Yeah, here rook he f2. took a long thing, yeah. Here yeah. he took 13 minutes, Raunak also took some time, and I think now the game yeah. started. But I think already it seems like black has sort of equalized, yeah. But the thing with these opposite color end games is very, uh, it's very misleading this engine evaluation because mm-hmm. if you th- if you just see logically. These pawns have been kind of uh, diluted with this, uh, like bishop on b4 and pawn on a3. Like this extra pawn doesn't really mean anything. Whereas uh, white, at least on the paper, has this extra, I mean, like kind of an extra pawn. Yeah, But on the other hand, black has both the open files. So if the rook was on e4 and the rook was on d8, I would say that white has a substantial advantage. Uh, but now that black has been able to control both the open files, uh, it it, it looks it good. It looks pretty good for I, like for equality. I say white has a token advantage, mm-hmm. but maybe nothing more. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Rook g3. And yeah, he has to be G6. careful. So slightly. Some rook g6 and d7 stuff. Or d7, d7 rook g7. Uh, this is more scary. Like if you get this pawn, <laughs> mm. the rook, it will be very very scary. But of course, we are d7. So the point is rook c1 check, king h2, rook d8. And, and, and we just uh, have to go to King H2 first. So here, if you take this, this then it would be really good for white because then everything is weak. But instead, you can just play after D7 a check. Oops, not there. Check King H2 and Rook D8 and Black loses. Uh, white loses yeah. this pawn. Uh, can so this match? If we look at the bars on the left, we see that Gukesh is better. And all other games around equal, although Adiban's game, maybe he made some inaccuracy, it seems, on the last move, which is allowing black some tactic, rook f d1, or not really. Maybe not. But it seems somehow the engine suddenly started preferring black. I have no clue why. So, one thing which looks a little bit out of, so when I first saw the queen on f3, I thought that something would have been exchanged. But now I see that all the four pieces are on the board. So... Queen to f3. Not square to go, yeah. Little Maybe bit. he wants to go to h3. So at least if you yeah, go here, yeah. like if you play queen f3, you have to at least like play this. Maybe. Hmm. And try to undermine. But then rook a7 and you, oh, this pawn is losing. Yeah. So I mean, I'm threatening to take actually. Yeah. I have yeah. more attackers at the moment. But, but maybe that is hanging on d2. But then a8 is hanging. No, rook is on a7, but you cannot no, no, never no. attack. I'm saying if you take dc4 instead of rook a7, d2 is ah, yeah, hanging, but, but a8 is hanging. Actually, hang. also your queen is trapped with rook fd1 because my queen controls b2. Right. So rook fd1 traps your queen, yeah. But uh, let's have a look at it. dc4, hmm? queen b7, knight bd7, hmm. and my point is now knight e5, knight d3. And also rook b8 perhaps. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so let's look at it. This yeah. might be the... I mean, like, this was no. Adiban's point why he went queen f3. But I'm, I, I still have a feeling uh, that this pawn can, it's it's of course, it can be a responsive, it can be an advantage or a liability. Mm. Uh, rook, for example, rook fd1 now. No, now rook, then I'll go rook b8, of course. Rook b8. Rook b8. Queen and then I take. Uh, okay, I'm not getting 93. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Okay, sorry, go back. Knight e5, what do you do? Bishop so e1, I, I suppose. That, yeah, just bishop a back. Yeah, now let's say. Queen c8, maybe. Queen c8 or queen b8, I'm thinking. Mm. Queen b8, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Trade, trade b2 is b2. Trade b2 is hanging, rook c2. Yeah, this looks say. great. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Knight a4. Mm. No, I'm, of course, this is tricky. I'm only trying to equalize with black pieces, nothing more. But maybe I let's see if uh, I have something better with uh, with the white pieces here. Hmm. 
You remember one of our uh, lectures we went for. You have butter, you have bread, you want jam. <laughs> so you want even better than this. <laughs> Maybe I can. I'm just, of course, this is extremely ambitious. But can I do this? So your point is. Uh, Ninety five. I will take with the queen. Okay. And you have a bishop coming to c three. That's mm -hmm. your point, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then let me go ninety four directly. So ninety four. Yeah. One. Question is this knight c7 is okay, anything nice. yeah, I, I thought I always have rook b8, so it's yeah. not so as bad. So, is very yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. It's not a disaster. Bishop a5 is something I but can But no, your d2 is hanging. Yeah. yeah, no, but I have knight a, yeah, or rook d1. But yeah, oh, okay, that bishop a5 is interesting maybe. If you take queen d7. As Peter Swidler says, I hate it. I have to calculate now. <laughs> okay, let's just go rook fd1. Yeah. <laughs> let's make it easier for everyone. <laughs> You mean in the game? <laughs> no. Sorry. Right now in analysis. In the analysis. Yeah. Ah, okay. Na analysis. <laughs> no, I like it for white. But no, let... my idea of e4 more than attacking d2. I don't want you to come to c3. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you know, I nullify your whole idea of d5. Now rook b8, rook b8. I have to calculate. So what you guys are saying that in this position, when mm -hmm. rook f d1 was played by Adiban, mm -hmm. bishop c4 is what. We yeah, are analyzing, yeah, and this right. should have been thought of by Adiban, but he did not do it. I feel like if you go queen f, what else could I'm just trying to figure out because he showed it in the game. He played queen h3. Ah, in, he played. So he took took rook f3 very, very and direct, queen h3. Very, very direct like, approach. Hey, baby, baby, I'm going for a mate. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but that's Adiban style. <laughs> I got a bit afraid. Who came in the room? <laughs> Someone asked Gukesh in the press conference. Gukesh and Adiban both were in the stage. So what have you learned the maximum from Adiban? Gukesh says, trash talk. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, but this looks fine. You know, in this Olympiad, what is the most obvious feeling I got after seeing so many games? I really miss playing chess. You know, you step out of the room and you see hundreds of boards and you feel like, wow. That is true. That yeah. is true. I mean, it's, a, it's a real bonanza, an extravaganza to be there at the Olympia. Yeah. By the way, I must tell the viewers that here Sarvanan has played one Olympiad for India. It was in 1998. 1998. That was in Elista. Elista. And he was part of the Indian team. It's very rare. Uh, you know, that a player who is, I mean, in this hall, apart from all those who are playing, who have played for Indian team. So that's amazing uh, that he has done that. And, you know, Chess Olympiad coming to India is a huge thing. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Every day you just step out. You see so many former players, your old friends visiting and all that. It's an amazing feeling, really. So I think so, Harshit, yeah. you are, uh, maybe we also have to quickly look at the women's game because they yeah, are playing on the top board. Yeah. But for now, we can round up this match by saying that Gukesh is slightly better, mm -hmm. for sure, with that e5 business he has. Mm -hmm. And Adiban looks in trouble, although not <coughs> on the surface as such because he has this attack. But I think what the engines are suggesting is that put the knight here and there's no attack. And it just looks like white has misplaced the pieces. That's, I mean, maybe the sort of. But aren't you forgetting the hanging pawns? Hmm. I mean, you mean uh, they are weak. They can <laughs> be weak in the long run. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to our women's board uh, because they are on 10 out of 10. They are leading the tournament. And right now, Humpy is playing against Nana Zagnidze. Very bold opening choice. By, by I Nana. really didn't expect yeah. it today. Yeah. I think Harshit uh, put it very well. He said that Humpy has been a bit shaky in this tournament. And I think Nana took it upon herself that she must play for the win today. That's a very good viewpoint. You're right. Yeah, that's a very good viewpoint. Because yeah. also if you see on our, all other boards, Harika is considered to be very, very solid. With uh, Vaishali is very strong with both colors. There is no problem. And Tanya has been playing well in this event. And Nana is, of course, we all know her as one of the strongest female chess players, not just of this event, but one might even say of like for the past few decades, actually, she's been at the very, very top. So 
and yeah, it it i mean from what it looks it looks like she made a good opening choice yeah i am a big fan of hampi you know yeah, yeah that is a, no Humpy that is a class. class yeah no that yeah. is i mean yeah, yeah we of course yeah that's yeah like yeah so queen b3 played by hampi here yeah i think this is where somewhere i don't know if it is preparation how much time she took for queen b3 six minutes that's a very surprising i don't think this is somewhere prep. she got the she lost the plot somewhere here i felt yeah and b5 came in and suddenly the queen looks misplaced exactly. because of this attack here and you can't even win that pawn it seems like if you take take and take here you know there is this old theory about benoni pre computer era theory whether you are white or black if you are forced to move your queen in benoni that means you are in trouble yeah interesting because you know it's a it's basically a very dynamic structure your queen goes out it gets into trouble rather than reinforcing anything generally in every other attacking opening your queen gets out is doing something whereas in banana it gets harassed mm -hmm. so not surprised to the queen on b3 so harassed. here uh, you can't win the pawn because of some trouble here yeah. i mean it may not be so trivial like knight b5 bd7 ah, problem is we have to calculate again <laughs> this is a trouble also you don't have to calculate because if you get that bishop it's If you get this e two bishop, it's at least good compensation. So she went back. And f five showing like good, very good understanding. Yeah. Because generally in such structures in Benoni, if black has already got f five and b five, I think white is somewhat in trouble. I wouldn't say serious trouble, but I think somewhat. In yeah. I mean, at least black should be very happy with the outcome. I think. I think Nana is playing like uh, Kasparov of that game, uh, Korchnoi Kasparov, which we saw, but oh. somehow white is not playing like Korchnoi. you know white is very passive so ab ab queen c2 and now knight to c7 very flexible position for black b4 i think interesting idea by humpy if we take yeah then white should be a little happy here because i think come back here take this and mm -hmm. fight for the d4 square yeah. basically so here she went c4 which is also an interest generally this structure favors white because you can get i mean it's interesting because you get the d4 square but here white pieces just look a little a little awkward mm -hmm. because you already played knight d2 mm. so if you go back mm. that means you didn't lose one tempo but you lost two and also yeah. rook on d1 looks a little misplaced generally like rook could go from that side so i have a feeling that things have gone wrong here for humpy yeah which started with queen b3 i felt when i saw the move first yeah so this is a difficult board let's go to harika's board here you have to be never be worried with harika <laughs> yeah she is extremely <laughs> well prepared uh, from the opening and she very very rarely loses a game yeah and uh, no it's it, it's just very difficult to beat her and it seems like she is uh, playing to her standards and has she is a pawn down by the way yeah but it seems like uh, she should be able to capture this pawn and even not knight something like knight e5 should give an extremely good compensation can, can we zoom in on harika's cam and just see her because you know on day 1 i felt like harika came in she was a little bit uncomfortable of course she is 8 uh, months pregnant and she was just get feeling the event but now if you look at her she's like all in the tournament and just all the fighting uh, chess is coming out of her yeah because i think her game is so important today there you have she's uh playing against nino by the way nino's tournament has not gone so well till until now you know i remember the previous online olympiad harika many games the way that she converted small advantages and expanded very very minute advantages was very impressive mm. if such a form she gets into she is she is really a very difficult and now i see the point actually mm -hmm. very quickly that if you take mm -hmm. take yeah take take we think we lost a piece but yeah. now we take yeah if you take and i, I just five. move knight of 6 or any any move actually i have no knight of 6 he goes queen b3 so i thought knight, knight c5 exactly yeah, yeah. Knight c5 that's, and that's accurate yeah. yeah knight c5 and oh. the rook cannot be saved yeah. and uh, it's uh, so actually harika can take on d5 yeah she's she's thinking I think but she's she thinking. can she mm -hmm. might just capture it 
she has to of wow. course calculate many lines but this looks pretty uh, but she will she we will also have to unfortunately <laughs> what about ha ah, okay if you take here Let's it's a check, check. <coughs> nice. 93 idea nice so actually 95 that's a great variation here shown by harshil really nice yeah take and then give a check and then put your knight here and the rook is lost oh. because the queen doesn't have the b3 square very nice so harika around equal mm-hmm. here uh, can we go and check vaishali's Ooh. game wow okay we have wow. the engine off here so we can wow. actually try to figure out who's better i think it's isn't it obvious kind of thing uh, it last move was queen e7 i'm surprised just by one thing that vaishali has 20 minutes but what about b5 isn't yeah. it trapping the bishop or is there some trick that we are missing oh okay. by the way vaishali is a exchange down exchange down yeah, yeah, yeah that's what yeah. that's why b5 basically is uh, gets the bishop for us two pieces for a rook no it's b5 works without us losing anything we should we, be we can go to vaishali yeah. scam uh director sab board number 3 vaishali playing here okay let's do it no b5 let's say so b5 cd 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 yeah So okay, if you I want, you can take B A intermediate also. I don't mind both. I was thinking if Black has some other ideas like Queen E, but not yeah. But if you so let's say this. I want to bring out the Rook as fast as possible. That's why so, I took so yeah. First, go Knight C five first. Yeah. So I collect this. I yeah, think it's no. over actually. Yeah. Yeah, Knight B because Knight B five. Yeah. Okay. It's just, just yeah because let's even even if you get this Queen this pawn. Hmm. Man is Vaishali. Yeah, Vaishali. get the rook out of out of the game. Let's go back then. Queen yeah, e seven, b five. Because it, like this might be like completely. Okay, I take c b five. Let's say. Yeah, c b five. C b five, a b five. I think a b five. Okay, now I've got one b three. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe even c b. Yeah. Because uh, it opens this one. Yeah, but why yeah, isolate your d five pawn? Okay, let's say a b. Yeah. So here. Shall I first start with Rook E8? Let's say. Yeah, but the thing is this tempo, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Now Knight D6, stopping Knight D5. Let's say. Oh, Knight D6. But then you cannot move your queen. Yeah, I understand. But uh, you know, I'm but just. But even if first, uh, if you play Knight B5, yeah, let's assume yeah. take take. That's just gone, gone. right? Yeah. Okay, that's also gone. Yeah, yeah. Because A7 is too weak. No, no, yeah, you're right. Knight that means the initial portion is should be winning. should be it should be, it should be completely take, winning. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, wow. it's winning, yeah, it's man! Vaishali yeah, on wow. five. She's played B five here, and by the way, actually we looked at. I'm just curious. How A4. bad was our calculation? <laughs> Let's go to B French. No, I it's think. Okay. Carry on, carry on. You finish your thing. Yeah. A4. No, I was just saying that A four bishop B seven C four. We looked at till this point, and mm-hmm. it was all around sort of evenish, but then bishop F four. Oh, I think this B four, amazing. Oh, and Vaishali found amazing. it. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Vaishali OP guys. Super. Oh, what a move! Because I think <laughs> Leela Jawaka Shili was like. What she I might have not considered this. B four, good move, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm really happy to say that. Actually, Leela Jawaka Shili is a very good team player. You know, team championship. She is a very solid hand for uh, the Georgians. B four is beautiful. B four is. Is a classic move actually. B4 takes takes B5. Queen E7 and B5. And by the way, guys, this has happened. Knight C5 played. Yes. B and takes B6. A6 mm. and Vaishali winning. Yeah, so cool. now imagine, Humpy slightly worse, Harika equal, Vaishali winning. So Let's look at Tanya's, Tanya's game, game yeah. because that's always the crucial game in this <laughs> tournament. Yeah, Tanya's game. Okay, we switched off the engine to just. Try and figure our way out. Who's better here? Let's just flip the board. We'll just quickly see that. Okay, it happened. Mm-hmm. So and so anti, anti martial. martial. Yeah, knight a five. I mean b c seven. D. It's typical what was happening from the world championship. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just very quickly to point out that they have just. Hardly played moves, yeah. Like yeah, only fourteen moves. moves. So the time. Tanya was... has so little time. It's a very classical position, I feel. 
Sachin Naik says, tuned in, looks at Sara in the panel, goes out again to get popcorn for story time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I have this nasty feeling that, you know, I'm being treated to one of those old uncles who always have stories to tell. Yeah? Or maybe the, that interesting uncle who everyone wants to hang out with has Thanks. the best stories. <laughs> <laughs> So CD3 and by the way, right now I think E4 is hanging. The Queen B3 is, I mean, like, is, is oh, she'll oh. play or Knight G3. But okay, let's take. Am I getting but D5? Sorry? Am D5. I getting D5? D5, Bishop F6, D4, Bishop E5. Yeah, I have internet. So. Oh, you mean to say if I take, you want to just push? Of course. So instead of E5, I thought Bishop F6. For which I have D4. For which you have bishop e5, two intermittals, bishop f bishop e5, and I can just move the queen away next, or even take rook e4. So maybe this is not working. No, but can we take, take, yeah, take and take, take, take and a pawn up. Right? Mm. So yeah. take, 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 and knight d3. Or knight f7 yeah. actually might be clutching. Ooh, yep. Knight d7 hanging, hanging and right, right. Okay, so maybe d5. Not so D5, if D5 is not possible, then queen D3 is one of those classic advantages, yeah. And then you take on F6 and then you play knight E3, try to control D5. Okay, I this. think knight C4 should huh? be looked at. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Most logical attacking move. B2 pawn. Can I just take? I mean, yeah, I, I would be very, very happy, but will <laughs> you take with what? B pawn, pawn, queen c2, and maybe I want to take and but maybe it's nothing. Yeah, I think black should yeah, be at least equal. interesting actually. But no, I mean, black, black should be is equal. Knight h5 might be a good move here, yeah. But I think this position overall seems like around about even. I'll just take yeah. this call because I'm too fast calling. Maybe of course you should take this call because she hardly calls. We believe you. Hello. Ah. Okay, so CD3, let's try to make a sense of it. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You want to take bishop 6 first or you want to take queen d3 first? Sure, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. If queen d3, d5 is not working, then you know maybe there is no harm in not taking bishop f6. Sarwan, and your uh, family is waiting at the entrance, I mean, ah, the gate. Okay, sure. Okay. So, in case, I mean, they they wanted to meet you before leaving. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, nice meeting you guys. Yes, Enjoy. Nice yeah. you. Hopefully, see you again sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank Sir, you. It was a pleasure, Sarwan, and having you. And uh, whenever you have time, please feel free to join us. Thank and guys, so please check chess.com for Sarwanan's articles. He's writing articles from this event beautiful ones i read them and uh, you know gets the feel of the event not just chess centric but you can understand what's happening in chennai so what you mean to say is that apart from telling stories i have a job also which i do thank you so much nice of you all the best to you thank you yeah thank you sara so harshit let's let's go a little quicker to all the boards and try to round up yeah, let's do and this. and also try to figure out by the way, she took on f6 in between. Mm, she did, yeah. Took and a b5. So let's start like this. Let's first go to the youngsters because they are playing on the top board. Then our uh, veterans team, not veterans, of course, the <laughs> India <laughs> A team. I mean, as compared to the youngsters, <laughs> not not the veterans in the sense veterans, but the as compared to the youngsters. And then to our uh, women's team. And then also we have to look at B and C, B and C team uh, a little bit. But today has been, uh, guys, very exciting in the sense of the quality of chess analysis has been tremendous. Uh, so first, let's start with Gukesh. Yep. Uh, because he was better. Yes. And, and uh, your idea. Look at this. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. You said, you know, <laughs> just looking here, attacking here. I mean, Gukesh looks once again yeah. better. And looks... Gukesh, if you have in team... So Gukesh, uh, really, really, uh, 
in a in a good position against Sargisian right now. He wants to double the rooks, but Bishop A6 is played. Maybe Sargisian wants this to be taken and then swing his yeah. rook over here to G6. So <clears throat> let's just uh, also Gukesh really zoning in and also time wise both have almost equalized. So can we say Gukesh better? For sure, Gukesh. Uh, we can definitely. Uh, so Say, has a substantial advantage. very good chances yeah. of winning okay malkumian versus nihal sari oh man uh, guys uh, do you have any problems in life <laughs> or are you do you want to know your future please contact harshit because everything he says is happening he said this exact position for nihal it has happened <laughs> yeah as i said it uh, that now will i become a gm <laughs> <laughs> ever <laughs> No, I think I actually do think that uh, you have a very good chance, but of course you have chosen to do something of more importance. And... Right, but guys, he just guessed it, and this so equal, equal, and you just see, kuch bhi nahi hil raha hai. pawn nahi hil raha hai, knight nahi hil raha hai. king to ek do move hilega, but you can't really do anything with it. So this, I think, should be a pretty good draw. Yeah, so equalish. Uh, here very equalish even though he's pawned down adiban here i think this game we cannot yet tell yeah it's very it's, it's very sharp anything can happen bishop can move here and although the engine say slight better for black i think it means very little here because white has one attacking unit two three the knight can jump in to become the fourth the bishop can also join in five it can go either it way. can go either way Definitely. As always with Adiban, yeah. Always <laughs> very sharp. It can go any direction. Yeah. So here seems like maybe black is doing slightly better, but we will say so around. Let then in that case, uh, it's all very important for uh, Ronak to help hold this. Yes, for Ronak, I think it's very important, and I I have a feeling that Ronak will hold this because it's not gone out of control in any way. And yeah, it has not. But uh, one way to uh, no, please go on. So, Amrita's one. So, guys, he has no, to be a little careful because these pawns are, uh, these pa all pawns can be vulnerable and uh, this pawn can be an asset. So, thoda careful Raina Padega Ronak ko, but I'm sure ki Ronak, I mean, like the sharp player. Yeah. So, he will, he will, he will manage his, uh, trumps. But uh, that being said, we have to be, we have to, we have to make sure that uh, this game is does not go out of control so i am i am feeling that board two definite draw on nihal yeah that board one definite advantage advantage yeah but board three and four slight disadvantage for team india I right think. now yeah so match is very interesting mm -hmm. but i think because gukesh has a clear edge it feels like it's going in our favor and, and we have the one and only Samai <laughs> joining us. Samai, what is up? So, Amruta and I, we went outside to talk to the audience who has come there, the spectators. We made a bit nice video asking people who their favorite chess players are. Maybe we can play it in the middle, you know? Sure. Yeah. When Once it's uploaded, yeah, we can send the link to them. Are you uploading yes. in uh, that Nordwin folder? No, I'm uploading in my folder. I'll send it in Nordwin. Ah, okay, sure. Okay. Uh, then, Samai, uh, we're just doing the roundup. So, maybe I'll continue that. Please, please, please. Ah. So let's go to the uh, Indian A team and let's look at their games. Hari Krishna first. Whoa, and Hari Krishna has not let his advantage go by because after we saw till uh, DE, Rook A D1 happened, G4 pushing the knight back. Yeah, as we, we might have thought that H5 was very interesting trying to keep our trumps, but he goes for the direct attack with yeah. G4. Queen, Queen G5, G5, Rook F1. King G7, Rook E2, H5, H4. He went H4. Here the game started becoming interesting. But if still it's always black who is in the driver's seat. Mm. But I think the last move of white uh, is somehow a little bit shaky, but not so sure how it's happening. I think the move that was preferred was this one. But I don't know why, why? because it's take, like... take, knight f4 looks like very natural way to play. But it's just that the rook is now away. I mean, if you look at it, rook h8 looks so dangerous. Absolutely. So, I would, I would. But somehow, you know, Harshit, these two knights, one, holding, covers yeah, here, one covers here, one covers here. So, it is not 
maybe this was the setup that yeah. abdul satarov had to take so right now we can still continue with hari being better better but i'm not so sure that it's as simple as the engine shows it's never as simple as the engine shows but uh, i think we can definitely put uh, hari on the on the on the top here mm. with it let's look at with its game because we saw till rugdi 4 then 95 rugdi 1 attacking d6 pawn he defended it bishop c1 he wants to go from here or bring the knight also yeah. oh and get the knight he played knight c7 rook d2 mm -hmm. knight e6 mm -hmm. knight e3 maybe he could have gone bishop a3 as well but here f6 and this is the position on the board so with it very solid here but i don't think that the position we can give a definite opinion that this is draw this is winning for a side it's still very fresh but do you like white's position no um i think white has the trumps mm, still mm. because black cannot push d5 or anything so it's white who has to defend f4 whenever f he wants to do yeah yeah but it's it can be it can, because it's f4 is a very big move if you ever decide to make it right right so um, so maybe with it has his chances but position is equal mm -hmm. so we can say that first board india is better second board round about equal, equal yeah. and then moving on to arjun who oh, man arjun arigasi versus sindaro five pawns each two minor pieces two rooks looks looks a little bit dangerous for arjun yeah 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 for sure it's dangerous because uh white simply has an extra pawn on the queen side so it's it's surely dangerous and black's extra pawn is doubled is doubled so uh, i i think that he can he's still definitely i mean under control but he has to be careful and accurate that uh white never manages to exchange this bishop for this knight mm. uh, because if that happens then the knight on d4 or c5 will be deadly Ooh. so oh, so right now why black trump is the knight on e6 knight on e6 he shouldn't let it get yeah. exchanged if you exchange these bishops i think it's still it wouldn't change the value so maybe rook c8 and bishop c6 should be the idea yeah could be yeah or even if not exchanging anything like f5 king f6 mm. H five. Try to make sure that our pawns will do something because we are a pawn up on the queen. Even if they are doubled, pawn is a pawn. F five and even sometimes F four to you know take control of the uh, of the e three square and boxing the king is can be an idea in the future. Yeah, I have a feeling that players like Arjun are very good defenders because they are very tactical. Yeah. So even when they get into a bad position, they keep seeing tactics mm -hmm. and try to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. So should be possible, but I definitely think Arjun is under pressure. He's on the back foot. Yeah. He's on the back foot, and then comes Shashi Kiran's game. Again, one of those games like we saw uh, in the previous match as well, where nothing much has developed, sort of. Yeah. And we have everything open. open. And look at Shashi's time. I don't like that. Sixteen minutes yeah. only and, left. And uh, it's usually, of course, uh, Shashi is of course very experienced and knows how to control uh, this time. But the thing is, when the time comes below five minutes, yeah, then no matter who you are, if your name is not Alexander Grishchuk, <laughs> you are going to struggle. Even <laughs> even Grishchuk, I think, gets it wrong fifty percent of the time. Yeah. On but time, yeah. At least he's someone who can make uh, very high quality moves even with less than five minutes on the clock. But for other people, it's very difficult to uh, have their nerves. Absolutely. So right now, this game we can say is equal. Mm -hmm. But uh, surely Shashi Kiran's time management is slightly. Uh, he could get into trouble because of that. Yeah. So this match, if Hari all of a sudden doesn't win. Then India is in serious trouble. That's in, yeah. So I think we are right now banking on Hari Krishna a mm -hmm. lot. Very important, very very important. And the good thing is that one time zero one is a board pe aagya na. Mm. 
तो फिर साइकोलॉजिकली ऑलरेडी वी आर वेरी मच अहेड एग्जैक्टली सो हरी हैज टू सम हाउ मेक श्योर कि वो वन दैट वन पॉइंट कम्स ऑन द स्कोर कार्ड एब्सोल्युटली यस सो राइट दिस मैच आई वुड से स्टिल इन इंडियाज फेवर बिकॉज ऑफ हरीज बोर्ड एंड मैच वन ऑल्सो स्लाइटली इन इंडियाज फेवर बिकॉज ऑफ गुकेश इज गेम then let's go to women's board because we just saw right now but just a quick round up hampi mm-hmm. nana zagmidze still interesting position hampi made some progress, progress it seems sure, yeah. getting her knight here maybe looking at c6 square so good position for hampi yeah but if you look at the variation closely sagar then black is sacrificing this exchange do, do you think she will not take bishop c6 i think bishop just... c6 is out of question usually mm-hmm. because they bahut hi zyada control de rahe hote yeah i mean i would be very surprised if that's her idea correct by the way kya chal raha hai bhai we are actually in a very tense match on both men's board because first of all gukesh jaise humne dekha tha is better but rest of the boards unclear completely while in the other match hari was winning but apart from that nothing is clear so even if one guy wins there it's good right bakki log sab equal hai to hari jeet gaya to fir ekdam control mein i think hari will most yeah. likely win that position you know so here in women's board what's happening that's what we were starting off it seems like hampi has a nice position she was slightly worse at some point but she's fought back sagar so, this knight is a monster on d4 Why has she given it away? Oh, no, for the bishop. She's not played it yet. We okay. were just analyzing if she will play it because if you give it up, then the rook opens up, and so does the bishop. So ah, there is good. D five square. पे जहाँ पे pawn था वहाँ पे हमारा knight भी आ सकता है. So you know. Oh, that's interesting. So let's go now to Harika's game against Bats. Oh, she's not yet she's played. Thinking, yeah. She's not yet played. Harika is thinking since last what. How much time? Twenty-five wow. minutes. Abhi tak soch raha hai wo. We went to all the games, and there she has her hand. Can we change to Harika scan? She is almost going to make her move. It seems. I think she will take. She will take on defense. Let's see. Yeah. Harika scan, and she takes yes, it. Yes, she takes it. She yeah, takes beautiful. it. Beautiful, amazing move. So the time was well spent. Yeah, yeah. And it seems like she will take it. Yeah, 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 she will take Uh, for sure, maybe more. She gets up from her chair after taking that pawn. Uh, Harika is next camera director. Sir, maybe camera number seventeen. This is badiya move. Night into deep. No, eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, this one. This amazing idea, as we discussed. Yes. Samay, I'll put it quickly to show you. Yes. He, it looks like peace marra hai. Yaha pe. But wo discovery hogi sahi pe kuch. Ha, exactly. So, ab bas mujhe batao ki night kaha pe nikalna chahiye. नाइट कहां पे निकालना चाहिए तीन ऑप्शन तीन ऑप्शन है ओके आई थिंक नाइट अगर हम c5 पे निकालें अरे यार वाओ तो बढ़िया हो जाएगा ना ब्यूटीफुल या एंड व्हाई डिड यू चूज दिस बिकॉज़ देन द रुक विल टेक द रुक बिहाइंड बट लाइक व्हाई नॉट f6 ओ व्हाई नॉट f6 मैं तुक्का मारा था भाई <laughs> क्या ही तुक्का मारा है बट आई थिंक इंट्यूशन ओ आई नो व्हाई बिकॉज़ लेटर ऑन दिस नाइट भाई इतना लेटर नहीं लेट के मूव है अब भी हो रहा है पता नहीं भाई क्यों तो बेसिकली नाइट यहाँ पे लिया तो क्वीन बी थ्री आके डिफेंड हो रहा है ओह यस यस ऑफ कोर्स सो नाइट सी फाइव कंट्रोल दिस इंपोर्टेंट स्क्वायर समाइज थॉट इट्स टू डीप तो इसके लिए वो बहुत डीप सोच रहा था बट इट वाज इट्स वेरी इजी था बेसिक मेरा क्या तुक्का लगा लेकिन एमसीक्यू में अच्छे मार करते वो आपने एक बार क्या किया था सब मार करके आए थे आप हाँ <laughs> मैं तो ऐसे मेरे आगे पीछे और दोनों वो नफर लोग बैठे थे उनको मेरे को कुछ नहीं आता था तो एमसीक्यू में चार ऑप्शन होते थे मैं आगे वाले को पूछता था क्या है वो ए बोलता था पीछे वाला डी बोलता था बी लिख लेता तो बी और सी में से एक होता था <laughs> फिर मैं दिमाग लगाता था जो मेरे को आता था वो भी नहीं करता था मैं आनंद <laughs> <laughs> हमेशा नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट है डायरेक्टर साहब 
हेलो हेलो हाँ ओ थैंक यू पल्लव दोषी हो गया बरमुटा पार्टी फंड दे रहे हो निकले जेन के यहाँ पे साढ़े छह हजार रुपए आए अच्छा फंड के लिए फंड के लिए तो वो दोनों का हो गया मेरे लिए आए थे वो पर अब मैं उसे मांगने में मेरे को शर्म आ रहा है सच में क्या मालूम है क्या वहाँ पे उन्होंने बोला और समय अब आ गया वहाँ पे अब मेरे को जेन्यूनली चाहिए वो लेकिन अब मैं कैसे मांगू निकले जी से भाई निकले जी दे देंगे दे देंगे ना ठीक बट उनका एक बेटा भी है और वो शादी शुदा भी है तो आप सोच लो आपको चाहिए क्या अरे ठीक है यार उनके उनके घर पे शायद अच्छा यूज होगा वो पैसे का सो जब रेडी हो जाए वीडियो तब बताना तानिया जी कैसी कर रही तानिया इक्वल इक्वल ओके एंड एक्चुअली विद ब्लैक शी हैज अ वेरी कंफर्टेबल इक्वालिटी क्योंकि समय ये है एक वीकनेस पर ये वीकनेस पे जाना है ये नाइट को पर नाइट जब वन डायगोनल स्क्वायर इट्स अवे फ्रॉम दैट स्क्वायर इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम या सो फॉर 1 2 3 4 मूव्स सो आई थिंक तानिया इज डूइंग वेरी वेल इन दिस पोजीशन एज ऑफ नाउ इट्स रेडी ओके by the way vaishali is winning so yeah, yeah. we will uh, i think just to recap this hampi slightly better harika equal vaishali winning and tanya equal so women's team really again showing ki bhai ek jan to punch karne ke liye ready hai and while we are going to look at other games now we will come back in some time till then we will play a video for you that is prepared by amruta and samay we can maybe go to the washroom until then hmm. hey hey who's your favorite player today uh magnus are indian mein bata re indian mein arjun hai gukesh hai okay. vidit hai what about you brother uh, indian mein vidit vidit is you like his streams yes ah all right all right also awesome. who are you supporting today brother gukesh of course gukesh vidit gujarati vidit gujarati who are you supporting arjun arjun are you guys see yes. that's awesome brother What about you? Who Kala you Ghoda. Kala Ghoda? What is that? <laughs> जिसको समझना है वो समझ गया है okay. Who are you Vidit Gujarati. Vidit Gujarati. Vidit Gujarati. Who's your favorite Anish player? Giri. Anish Giri. Anish Giri. Awesome. Another Indian player. Who's your favorite Indian player Samir playing? Arey 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 arey. Sir, who's your favorite chess player? Uh, Carlson. Carlson. Pragna Nanda. Pragna Nanda. Pragna Nanda. Pragna Nanda. Yes, my. Sir, who's your favorite chess? Pragnanda, awesome, everyone. Sir, who's your favorite chess player? Pragnanda, Vishwanath and Anand. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, Pragnanda. Pragnanda, okay. So many people here supporting Pragnanda. Sir, who's your favorite chess player? Pragnanda. 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 Everyone here likes Pragnanda. Pragnanda. All the best. I think even if you do any crime, they will let you out, brother. Everyone loves you here. All the cops. Cops love Pragnanda. This is amazing, yeah. Like he's. Everybody knows him. Gukesh, what about Gukesh? What do you think? Let's see. Let's ask people. Hello, uh, who's your favorite chess player? Vishwanath Anand. Vishwanath Anand. Vishwanath Anand. Vishwanath Anand. Okay, okay. Vishwanath Anand. Vishwanath Anand. Pragya Nanda. Pragya Nanda. Okay, okay, okay. No, Arey. ये तो वही है ना जो रो रहा था चेस बेसिंग यहाँ पे. Hi. If you could wake up as one chess player, who would you be? The best Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen, okay. Or probably I'll wake up as Sagar Shah once one day. Asli Sagar Shah se mile. Asli Sagar Shah se mile. Oh, Sagar Shah. What's your favorite chess player, guys? Anish Giri. Anish Giri. Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen, favorite chess player. And only one name, Vishwanath. Vishwanath Aran. Anish Giri. Anish Giri. Samay Rana. Samay Rana. Who's your favorite basketball player? No one. No one. But chess player? Samay Rana. <laughs> Tanya Sachdev. Tanya Sachdev. Okay. Yeah. You? Uh, same. Yo, Vishwanath Anand. Vishwanath Anand. Okay. Yeah. Of course, Vishi. Vishi. Okay. Of course, uh, I think Nihal Sarin. Nihal Sarin. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Should be Nihal Sarin. Nihal Sarin. Sir, you, I already answered. Already answered. Who's Mama your favorite Dera. chess player? Mama Dera. Mama Dera. Yeah. Okay. Who's? What about people who are playing today? I don't know. My, my father and I have been watching my son. Oh. Okay. Awesome. That's a very unique answer. सर आपने दे दिया चेस प्लेयर प्रज्ञानंदा प्रज्ञानंदा यस प्रज्ञानंदा यस प्रज्ञानंदा सर फेवरेट चेस प्लेयर प्रज्ञानंदा एंड वैशाली 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 वाओ चेस प्लेयर आनंद सर आनंद आनंद सर विश्वनाथ आनंद आनंद इट्स ऑसम आनंद सर व्हाट इज योर फेवरेट चेस प्लेयर इज प्लेइंग टुडे थैंक यू 
अरे हेलो एंड वी आर बैक बट सागर शाह एंड हर्षित जी आर स्टिल नॉट बैक आई होप यू एंजॉय द वीडियो वी आर जस्ट आस्किंग पीपल एंड ऐसे हमने और भी दो तीन वीडियो बनाए हैं मे बी टुमारो डे आफ्टर जब भी हमको थोड़ा टाइम मिलता है वेनर देर आउट वी कैन प्ले दिस वीडियोज हु इज फॉर यू या द फेवरेट प्लेयर यू कैन ऑल्सो लेट अस नो इन द चैट एंड व्हाट आर टाइमिंग सागर शाह टू बी बैक द वीडियो जस्ट एंडेड अरे बढ़िया आई रैन बैक एंड मजा आया क्या लोगों को मजा आया मजा आया लोगों को मजा आया ग्रेट वीडियो अरे क्या बात है समय आपके लिए अजी अभिजीत वाजपेयी समय भाई लो मौज करो ये मैं आपको दूंगा तो पक्का थैंक यू सो मच सागर भाई सो so, समय की एंट्री हो चुकी है दोस्तों और हम वीडियो समय के पीछे ही लगा देंगे ओके लेट्स गो टू द गेम्स वी हैवेंट सीन येट व्हिच इज इंडिया थ्री टीम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंडिया थ्री टीम में वी हैव सूर्य शेखर गांगुली एंड दे आर टेकिंग ऑन लिथुएनिया सो so, <laughs> क्या हुआ एक भाई अंकल को मैंने पूछा हुज अ फेयर प्लेयर कहता है थैंक यू थैंक यू कहां गया सूर्य अंगुली सो आर वी विनिंग ऑन ऑल बोर्ड्स और इज नो नो बोर्ड इन व्हिच वी आर इन ट्रबल वी आर इन ट्रबल इन सेवरल प्लेसेस सो आई विल जस्ट विल गो बैक देयर बट फर्स्ट समय दिस मैच Surya Ganguly seems to be looking at his first win in this Olympia. I think he hasn't won. Maybe he's won a game, but uh, he drew a few. And now this one, he's looking very good. He has his queen here. Knight must placed. Rook is also looking here. Maybe he'll move the bishop. Long castle, looking interesting. Then we have Setu Raman, who's playing with the black pieces against Juxta. and huge rating advantage it's surprising that they have put a 2400 player on board 2 when they have more stronger players stronger players on board 3 and 4 so setu looking great here i think if we count the pawn setu is a pawn up maybe we can go knight e3 and give a fork threat on g4 absolutely It's absolutely place to keep the knight how do you keep the knight from knight e3 you cannot this is a great move samai and this can be very powerful and with eight pawns so setu looks really really strongly placed darshan singhvi ji thank you so much for super chat going to abhijit gupta my god what's up with india c team winning here as well and by the way paulus pultini vicious uh, i i can't pronounce it well but i know him he's a very talented youngster he's just 21 years old or 20 to 21 years old very talented and abhijit gupta has simply seem to have blown him off the board with a king side attack here and i think abhijit coming back to form is great you need minimum 3 pieces to deliver like a good checkmating attack right but here after bishop takes pawn takes queen takes only one queen how is it mating the king <laughs> then fg5 samay and rook opens up along with oh. the pawn and it looks good main question is why is knight takes f4 not good and samay here the winning move is there's only one winning move i'll also ask the chat ah g3 and queen f7 exactly g3 push the knight away and take this pawn now with the bishop rook and queen it looks like a very solid attack that is brewing up okay let's go to abhimanyu puranik he is also better bhai so 4 0 <laughs> here maybe yeah bhai ye log to c team bol rahe hai ki dekho we lost one match but we are coming back with complete vengeance complete vengeance so surya better सेतु बेटर अभिजीत बेटर एंड अभिमन्यु बेटर क्या ही मैच चल रहा है क्या ही मैच एंड विमेन थ्री कैसे चल रहा है सागर शाह लेट्स क्विकली लुक एट विमेन टू वी हैवेंट सीन विमेन टू येट सो विमेन टू में वी हैव दिस इज विमेन वन या गोइंग टू विमेन टू बोर्ड वंतिका अग्रवाल समय अपन फटाफट इवेल्युएट करते हैं फिर इंजन शुरू करते हैं क्या लगता है लगता है इंजन शुरू ही कर देते हैं <laughs> तो भाई अगर देखा जाए यहाँ पे तो इक्वल चल रहा है पोजीशन में पद्मिनी जी गेम में क्या हो रहा है पद्मिनी जी इज नॉट विनिंग इनफैक्ट शी इज लूजिंग वो ही हुआ फिर से बट सो क्वीन एफ टू दिस वुड है गलती हो गया उनका क्वीन एफ टू रुक एफ टू and i think this is around uh, equal theek hai mary ann gomes ji here in a slightly inferior worse. position in fact it's minus 2 for her so on board 
फोर वॉट्स हैपनिंग दिव्या देश में कौन सा स्लाइडली वर्स तो भाई विमेन टू में थोड़ा सा स्ट्रेस है विमेन टू का वही हाल हो रहा है जो लिथुएनिया का हाल है विद मेन थ्री ऑन ऑल बोर्ड दे आर वर्स एक्सेप्ट वंतिका Who's been super solid, and we have Amruta Mokal joining in for a bit. Amruta, how's your feeling today? Uh, no, I am very excited for today's. Firstly, today, बहुत कुछ चल रहा है. I want to know a roundup. First of all, I want to know a very quick roundup from you for Team A. What is happening? Secondly, let me tell you, I had a very good change because I had some time. I went out and took a lot of amazing videos. He made. He has what a creativity he has. And quick, yeah, I mean, fast, fast. Very fast, man. He is very fast. And he is like this. 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 उसके जैसा है वो शक्कर का दाना देखते ही सब चीटिया कैसे आ जाते हैं ऐसा क्या मुझे लगा ये क्या बोल रहे हो मेरे को यार I thought she was saying कि शक्कर का दाना है किसी में भी डालोगे तो sweet हो जाएगी चीज नहीं नहीं वो एक दाना रहेगा तो सारी चीटी बराबर ढूंढ के बढ़िया 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 analysis कर रहे हैं हम बढ़िया round up हो रहा है by the way वो video थोड़ा hang हो गया I think अपने ऊपर शशि किरण और उनका तो can we just check that And uh, finally, uh, finally we have a lot of people here. Also we have a Bermuda party. बहुत कुछ चल रहा है अलग atmosphere. Bermuda party इधर किधर है आपने तो? Bermuda party किधर है वो तो पता नहीं but now I found out how to buy passes and everything. So yeah. So, okay. But I want round up because I need to really check out the games. Try huh. to get some best moments. And Anish versus Zoba. Zoba won the game. I heard was very interesting. Hmm. Uh, Karuana's game was very interesting. But I want an update for India A team. तो इंडिया 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 बी बी आई मीन बोथ तो इंडिया जो टीम जो है उसमें अगर आप देखें तो गुकेश जी भाई भाई एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट वी शॉट इन रुक जी फाइव बिशप ए सिक्स देन उसने ये रुक को इधर लाया फिर ओनली मूव जी सिक्स तो रुक जी सेवन और क्वीन एच सेवन मेट आ रहा है लाइक जस्ट टेक दिस एंड टेक दिस मेट तो उन्होंने खेला जी सिक्स नाउ टेक टेक एफ फाइव एंड हियर The only defensive move for our uh, Sargisian was Rook C6, but he thought for 13 minutes and played Bishop A7, and now Gukesh. Is there F6 and Rook G6 winning by any chance? No. Oh, no, could really. be right. This F6 is a draw, Queen D7. It's a draw. You know, I think. Queen D7. Chike, round up. Okay, so here F6. Gukesh has to find the move. Oh my God. Um. And then Rook C6 is a threat. Ah, Rook C6 is in the middle. Uh, and either mate bhi nahi ho raha hai amrita because if you take 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 perpetual take, at the most yeah there is only a perpetual okay got it so what move he has to find here i think he has to find the move king b1 and then gukesh is winning which is a possible move but some when you say a you want to say b and so e6 looks most likely that gukesh might do that No, but he must be aware of the threat that's incoming, but right? But Rook C6 is not enough because it's un- it's a hanging. Hai. So, for this, maybe he may not even do it. Do you think H4 is a good move here? Just like Slow, that, right? Acha, you have to open it like this. Ah, maybe this is a good idea. Just you have to take care of this. Let's say now you do this, King B1, and then Rook C6. Suddenly, Black is starting to attack because he is dying. He is checking. ठीक है। so, have to be careful. तो क्या लगता है यहाँ पे अभी इन चारों बोर्ड्स को देख के सागर भाई आई थिंक वी आर स्टिल विनिंग राइट या गुकेश हैज टू प्ले एंड विन दैट्स वेयर आई एम सेइंग दैट एवरीथिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन गुकेश एंड हरी इन टीम बी ऑन गुकेश एंड ऑन टीम ए ऑन हरी ठीक है सो लेट्स गो टू दैट एंड लुक एट हरीज गेम फिफ्थ बोर्ड हां ये हरी कृष्णा ये चालू है और मैं बोल गया कि टीम ए जो है वो अभी टीम बी के नीचे आ गई है करेक्ट तो ठीक है हरे कृष्णा जी की पोजीशन यहाँ पे है हरे कृष्णा जी इज कम्प्लीटली स्टिल विनिंग इज नॉट लेट गो ऑफ द अटैक बट अगेन सागर द मटेरियल इज इक्वल इफ एनीथिंग इन फैक्ट अब्दुल सदर जी हैज वन पॉन अप तो इफ हरी जी इज नॉट एक्यूरेट दिस माइट फ्लिप एनी मोमेंट बाय द वे अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज पीपल आर सेइंग इज दैट रौनक साधवानी हैज बीन थिंकिंग फॉर 45 मिनट्स इन दिस पोजीशन ही हैड वन आवर 2 मिनट्स नाउ ही इज ओनली 14 मिनट्स नहीं नहीं हां एग्जैक्टली 
and he's thought for huge amount of time before playing rookie four. That is already a sign of slight danger. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, going back to Hari. Hare Krishna, but how is he winning? winning uh, Samai, just to show our viewers, Bishop takes g4, attacks the rook. Okay. But now let's assume that I play my knight to h2. Looking here and here, I will not be so sure, Samai, that this is totally winning. Because here, Hari Krishna has to find many only moves. Just say, I say, Kela, so he has to find a move like Queen e1 and stuff like that. I don't know if that is easy for a human to play giving up this bishop. So, yeah. while we might be... At Maybe the, even f5 is okay there, right? Yes, f5. But then after e takes f5, rook takes, rook takes f5. Again, this bishop has to be given up. And then you must play king f6 no, only. No, no, no. So, you know, there is too many only moves to play. And what happens to bishop f3? Here. Yeah, like preventing the f7 and f2 capture this move and somehow this is not and queen c2 yeah that's good Bro, uh, itna, you cannot calculate so much yaar. somehow yeah 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 i agree with you and this guys it seems that there is plus 4 advantage for Krishna ke liye, but he has to play like one accurate move after another and one and if he does it if he walks that tightrope and wins it only then India have good chances so it's very very dicey what about with it actually with it I feel has a great chance today of winning because look at the time. He's nine minutes ahead. His position also is very solid. It's not like better or something. But yeah, kuch itna kuch uske position mein hua nahi hai. Like he can play on. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So we can say that equal. Hari Krishna ko bhi hum chalo equal mante hain kyunki position mein bahut mushkil hai runna. Theek hai. Arjun ji ke game mein kya hua? Arjun is slightly worse. Arjun with black is actually worse because. His double pawns are here, while white has an extra pawn on the queen side. So, clearly Arjun in trouble. Okay, okay. I mean, I wouldn't say huge, but at least small trouble. And Shashikiran? And Shashikiran ka game to aage bada hai nahi hai. Also, he is slightly worse, but I would say it's just out of the opening. So, we can say here, Vidit Gujarati has to strike today, right? Yeah. Very important. Or Hari. Or Hari. Vidit but or Hari, Hari is very difficult today in that position. Man, I I am a bit nervous because her ek bar jab king expose ho jata hai na, to kuch bhi ho sakte. Can we just zoom in on the board, uh, on on Hari's uh, camera? Because samay look here, we know that it's better for Hari. But if you look at this scene, imagine yourself in the hall where Abdul Satarov is thinking like this, and Hari's king is exposed. I don't think that players there is any body language which shows that Hari feels he's completely winning. Take it, take it, take it. Let's quickly have a look. I think at women now. Ha, let's go to women. We saw board. men one and men two. Ha, yeah. So women mein jo hai bhai. Again, let's see from the top. Humpy ji here. Oh, Humpy ji is completely winning, bhai. Humpy. Oh, that is great. That is great, bhai. Because Vaishali ji is also here winning. So two points. Aise mil gaye. Ek aur draw ho gaya to hum log jeet rahe women board pe. So that puts very less pressure on Tanya and Harika ji today. But uh, you know, Hampi ka game mein, Samai, just very quickly to show our viewers ki when she went knight c6, as you had said, this happened. Yeah. And then her opponent played bishop e5, Hampi took knight takes, knight takes f4, knight went back was the error. She had to take this pawn, but I think Hampi did not like, uh, I think Batsya Shwili didn't like. Knight b5? Knight b5 because of queen c4 check and losing this knight. Ah. So Batsya really, but still she had to play it. She played. Amita ji, chai agar hai to Sagan Shah ji ke liye ek super chat hai. Nahi chai nahi pina. Knight f7, bishop f3, queen e7. Ye kya ho gaya pata hai samay? That you basically thought ki bhai ye pawn marungi mein. So I will get into a bad position, but by going to f7, you have gone into a worse, worse position. position. Yeah. And now everything is so passive. Kuch bhi nahi hil rai. Knights have now caged. Have so we... now Hampiji has a strike. You know, we have seen this pattern in a couple of days where Hampiji has a great position, but yeah. ends up drawing. Yeah. She's not losing, but she's holding it. But today it's very important for her to strike. Very yeah. important. Very. Because Harika ji over here is having some trouble. She's taking a lot of time, Sagar Bhai. Uh, let's look at. Please, please, please. And we have uh, 
an expert joining in our panel. We have Deepan Chakravarti, Grandmaster Deepan. We are in full Hi. speed mode. We need your expert analysis here. Sir, I'm chatting. Sir, I'm chatting. Sir, I'm chatting. No, I'm not. So, what is the position? So, right now, Harika, by the way, Hampi is totally winning against yeah, yeah, Nana yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Very good. Very Do you good. think that Hampi, who has been a little shaky in this event in converting advantages, will have trouble here? No, no. no. Actually, what happens, in gen this is my general assumption, strong players plays very well against strong players. I have seen this. Ah. Is it like an ego thing? Not like that, but it's general. You will find, you see, for example, of 2700 guys, you find them playing to their strength against 2600 guys. Mm -hmm. And the game will be, a, it will be classic. You can learn a lot. But uh, when they are playing with 24, 2500, sometimes, you know, same happens with girls so like Humpy. Today, uh, Nana is one of a very strong players. Correct, yeah? correct. You are seeing a real strength now. It's right. very clean game, I guess. Yeah, very so nice far, so, so far has been good and very good insights by Deepan here that when a strong player faces a strong player, they usually play well. That's why Samai usually plays well against me. <laughs> okay, uh, Nino Batsya, Shwili and Harika. I think that this position is around equal. B4 played here, maybe just take it and that's what has happened. There, Harika takes, takes. I think Harika, even if she holds with black, that's Good. great news for India. And I think she will. Yeah, she will. No, no. I don't think any issues. Because white knight is on C5, then some issues. But still, black should be a little bit careful. Yeah, the knight, very difficult to reach there. Yeah, so, it's very yeah. difficult to reach there. And uh, the thing, see, first what uh, we have to see is that the pawns are fixed in the white color. A6, B5. Hmm. So, we have to be... Okay, you know, slight that slight uh, that thing, end game can be yeah. very bad for black because, because his bishop yeah, is on the exactly, same color. Exactly. So these are small nuances. You have to just check. But I think all yeah, under now, control. Now, now, so everything is under control. Bashar is also completely winning here, but is it that much winning? It's a queen end game. Very complicated. It's actually Vaishali has two pieces, and black has a rook for it. Generally, two pieces are more powerful than a rook. But here we are going into an end game yes. and where the rook starts getting more and more powerful, right? Also, so, opponent has an extra pawn, no? Yes, exactly. No, with, when queens are there, it's, it's it's still okay. But without queens, especially, let's say, the three pawn, three pawn, let's say, yay and rook. This is bishop and knight. It's almost like winning. Mm. Rook and pawn is winning. Correct. Achha, so, rook and pawn is winning. Like, if... Uh, uh, if we can't block it, the pawn. Let, let's say uh, yeah, in game we are starting from three pawns, three pawns this side. Just forget about the C and D pawn. And black is up. Let's say rook on B8 and pawn on A7 and same position. So, okay. so, so let's without say queen. What uh, Deepan says, remove this, 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 and this. Correct? Yes. And then in this position, it's almost like black is clearly better. Uh -huh. Because the A pawn yeah, and, pass and rook, uh, rook against bishop knight, knight very is difficult. Very difficult, yes. So, but Vaishali cannot lose this. No, no. With Queen, I, I'm sure she won't exchange the Queens on that. So, uh, with Queens always, be with you know, uh, the comp, like we, we have seen Queen and Knight. They will launch an yeah, attack. Okay, let's go to Tanya's game. Tanya is solid. I think this is long term could be dangerous for Black because of the D5 weakness. But I'm sure Tanya will create play with B4 in the position. And she will have enough play. To hold, yeah, I think it will be a draw. Draw because uh, I hope this is uh, okay. This is not nudge drop, huh? No, no, no. It came from e4, e5. But it's nudge drop structure, right? Sort of. So it's it's okay, no? Like uh, okay, some, like you said, slight. Uh, I mean, is there for if, white? If she doesn't play accurately, she might get into some bind yeah, with a good knight, knight versus yeah, bad yeah, bishop. Yeah. But I think but, Tanya but again, is in the same that I'm, I'm not uh, seeing the how this knight on f3 is going to reach. Exactly. And it's D5, you know. It's very, very long far, route. Very route to and I have a lot of counterplay on the queens also. B4. At the right moment, I will trade B4. Because normally what happens, if you are able to get this B3 and C4, even then B3 is weak, but some chances. But now I will play B4 when I am uh, ready to play B3. You know, mm. Sometimes I will trip this B2 pawn. When I play oh. B4, C4, I will play B3. You know, It's not so easy. So not going... now, I am just saying this is a right, plans. Right. 
सो इंडिया वुमेन्स टीम समय इज लुकिंग वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग या बिकॉज हम्पी विनिंग वैशाली बेटर एंड हरिका एंड तानिया इक्वल या लेट्स गो टू हरीज गेम हरी कृष्णा बाय द वे इज इन अ वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड पोजिशन सर If what we, do you think about this question do you think hari will be able to find all the best moves we might even just not look at hari's piece up by the way right now no but that's it's very really tricky no you know when when you start the engine and it says plus minus 9 that's when we say like okay hari will win this but hari will win i guess no huh? but it's very really tricky but he should win no his threat is by the way to, to take and, and yeah. put the rook here See, let's say if I move the king, oh, you'll take queen into b7. You you, you mean where? Move okay, that. I That's think seven. I can play. Uh, okay, if I play rook here, eight, we'll take rook into g4. No, it, I, oh, rook d1 is not there, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's not there. And suddenly white is winning. Yeah, because I thought of rook d1, but queen into d1 is coming. Right. Yes. This is controlled. Yes, yes, yes. So guys, you can see when a human starts to think, it's, it's not, not clear. Easy, yeah. It's not hundred percent clear. And there we see on the uh, screen, uh, if we just zoom in to Hari's camera uh, and see, he is thinking very hard there. What his next move should be? I think no, this maybe is knight h five simple. Huh? Just we'll play. We'll just uh, control this g three square. What you're going to do? Ah, knight h five. That looks good. Is Because there f f three? So take, take. No, 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 no. And now what? Yeah, that seems like the most human way to play. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just. I can be completely wrong because I'm not seeing the engine. I'm just thinking, and I'm saying. But this is the best. I mean, it's yeah. winning. To me, I, 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 I think knight h3 is good. No, no. Yeah. Because I'm. You're threatening rook g4. I'm just defending it. Hari has 13 minutes to figure this out. And as Deepan said, knight h5 is possible. Also, very good move is king f6, king h7. There are many ways. No, I was thinking of king f6, but I'm a little worried about queen into b7. You know, but you know, right? While analyzing, we can play king f6. Mm. But over, over the board, you know, you 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 feel, कुछ हो गया तो because king is exposed, right? Yeah, yeah. queen c6 yeah. checks. So many dangerous checks here. But uh, Deepan, आपका जो queen था was protecting this square, no? So now we can go and. Try for this. We will meet, huh? Meet, huh? <laughs> yes. So, yes, yeah. I mean, in hindsight, with the engine, everything looks easy, guys. In life, but okay. And guys, like, why is Sagar calling Mr. Rahman Deepan? <laughs> What now? After we called him Rajnikant for several years, we have a new name for him, Mr. A R Rahman. <laughs> I think Deepan, you, oh, come you, on, you resemble <laughs> with so many superstars, <laughs> Sagar. That's why I don't enter this room, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the camera of Mr. Rahman? No, no, <laughs> deepen, deepen. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Kiss it. They go. People are saying. I, I didn't say. Did, did anyone tell you? Yeah, before? many people have said. Yeah. Then it's not a surprise for you. Did anybody ever ask you for autograph, thinking you're Rah- Rahman ji? No. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, so going on to the next game, Vidit's position. This is like you know Vidit very well. You've played with him several yeah. times. Do you think because the engine has been saying zero point zero zero for a long time? Do you feel that Vidit has chances here as white? Double pawns are bad. I think. I think it will be a draw. You Vidit, think? I think so. Yes, yeah, because white pawn structures. Completely misplaced, right? A two C three, but but he is having a very good bishop. Ah, no. Which bishop and knight also is, is nice. It also is nice, but this is typical uh, things in the end for setup. You know, like you take, you give that bishop to C three, and you hold. Yeah, and by the way, people are saying Gukesh something has happened. Gukesh was better, I guess. No? no. Yeah, yeah, but oh, by the way, big result incoming. Nihal Sarin has Drew. drawn. Yeah. Okay, which is a good news for Team India because he was. Black and he has drawn it. Meanwhile, oh my God, what happened? What happened? Do we here? have to even ever? Oh, he found King B1. No, 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 no. He played E6 first. Some you remember here he had to play King B1, but he played E6. Then his opponent played King H8. When actually he had to take the the defense was to take take and H6, which looks super scary, super scary. But somehow this was the defensive idea. But he went King H8. Okay. 
Gs now played king b1 and now gf5. This looks better actually. And now how is winning saga? Oh man, that is a beautiful variation. There is a beautiful. We we'll let Deepan think and figure out Deepan. Can you find it white to play? Sama, it's unbelievable. It's a clear and smooth. मतलब clear करना है बात को. Oh, bishop c3 check and queen g2. Ah, huh? <laughs> but a little different because if you go check and take and then this, then in this position there is queen e8. Okay, then bishop into b4. Ah. Uh, and so yeah. take yeah, yeah take and now this and if now queen e8 in this position you have rook h5 and somehow it seems to me that no, no, you can even play e7 i thought no human still it should be winning no winning right yeah okay somehow. now okay but this is a long term but still it's winning it's winning it's winning yeah. it's winning correct no but what is the idea of rook h5 how oh, are we know. meeting oh, rook h7 mate. and queen mate I mean, this is made first of all. Okay, okay. Ah. Oh, and he will find. Yeah, see, he will. He will find bishop before. He will find. Oh bishop man, sure. guys, will Gukesh find bishop takes sure. b4? Can we zoom into his camera, please? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and he's going to make a move. Oh, bye, he bye, bye. Uh, he will. He will for sure. Let's look at it. He will find. Let's zoom in on Gukesh. Yes. And his opponent has. I don't think he has I think an idea. Sagi's also. No, no. Sagi's not also much of that. He looks very relaxed. His position is. Oh, oh, oh. See, oh right. Right. Four star move. Six was six, huh? Oh my god. Oh my Gukesh. god. Guys, Gukesh, 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 Move karo bishop before get up. I saw suit ka button kolo like bhai, you know. Gukesh is in god mode, rightly said, bhai. Gukesh is unstoppable. And his opponent has like no moves. What to do? Yeah, Gukesh is completely winning this game, and I think, guys, nice. the main point nice, after nice. Bishop takes b4 is a takes b4, and then just queen to g2, threatening rook g8 mate. Have to go queen d8. Uh, he, he's going to take it. He's going to let's. Oh no, he's taking with the queen. He's taken with oh, the queen. Oh 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 oh. But what is what queen g2? Same stuff. Queen e4 check maybe. And, and then, then e7. No, no, you take, 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 take e7. E, e f7 or rook g6 is coming. Hi, go case. Yeah, e7 and rook g6. Six yeah? out of six. Yes, yeah, six out of six and two seven two zero. Hi, he two seven two zero. E7 and rook g8. Huh? Yeah, e7 yes, rook g8 yes. takes and then queen one. Queen, yeah, so queen. the variation is here. He must give a check. Then we take. Then we take e7. Rook e8. Rook, rook g8. g8. Take, <laughs> take. Make a nice, queen nice, here. Nice. And then you are winning with that queen. Oof. Bhai, Gukesh OP ho jai chat mein, dosto. This what is incredible. Incredible chess, Sagar. Bishop B4. How can you even fight Bhai, the move over the board, man? Man, and also, we know that that move exists. Like, when I tell you guys that this is happening, Gukesh doesn't even know yeah, yeah, he, that there is a tactic. Yes, exactly. Dimanji, what is, like, the highest score in Olympiad according to, like, uh, well, individual performance? I think there's a very famous oh, performance, no? Of of Olga. Also, Kramnik, right? Some, huh. uh, he has, he scored some eight of and a half of nine. And he played a lot of black pieces also. Eight and a half of, out of nine in 92 Olympiad when Kramnik was 16, 18 Not even years GM. Old. Not even GM. Yes, he yes. was, he was, right. he was yeah. 25, 50. And uh, by the way, look at, look at uh, Sargisian now. He's like, bhai, gaya mein, gaya. This position is gone. No, no, he, uh, he played Queen G2, right? Yeah, 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 he yeah. played it. He played it and Gukesh is... Making his moves, getting up from the chair, which is like, you know, a statement. Swag, huh? Huh, statement that I have seen everything. Actually, in the team uh, two, uh, this, we need Gugesh to win because I saw Sadhuan was struggling. Slightly worse, yeah. Sh mm -hmm. Shall we go to that other game or should we end this? I think it's almost coming to an end. Should Let's see the shake hand. Okay. No, I think he won't resign, no? He mm -hmm. won't resign because, but because uh, team it, tournament. Team tournament. Otherwise, yeah. he would have. Okay. But the, you know what? One very important thing Harshit mentioned was if on the scorecard 1 0 comes, it means it's done. But even if you are a queen down and you keep on making moves, your other teammates know that writing is not on the wall. But they can see the board, right? <laughs> they can. But psychology. Okay. Adiban looks in trouble for, yes, for sure. Yes, yes. For sure, because if we count the number of pawns, Adiban is a pawn down for now. 
Judith no, Polgar. No, good position. What Judith happened Polgar. actually? What happened here? A nice position actually. This position I thought was normal. Okay. Yeah, this was good. This was good. No, but I think wrong. it's an opening, right? So it's, it's he, where he went wrong. He went wrong, I think, by uh, getting his queen back to c2. Oh, yeah. But also, uh, Stair Sahakyan, kudos to him for finding d4. No, oh, he's a no. He's a strong, strong player. player. Very yeah. strong player. Yes. And bishop back and bg4, rook e1, rook c8, queen d3, and now take, no, take, take queen b2. This has oh. happened. And by the way, Adiban, if we zoom into his camera, we can see he's clearly not looking good, uh, yeah, yeah, a bit sorry. nervous there. Also, and he's upset, not happy. Upset, I guess. Yeah. He's not, ha- not, really happy. not at all happy with his position there. He is, no, uh, he missed something for sure. Mm. So that means Gukesh wins, Adiban might lose, and then everything goes to Sad- Ronak Sadhwani. Sadhwani's so, position, you know, okay, computer doesn't give, but practically you speak. What, 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 please explain, Deepan. Like, why do you think even the fact that Sadhwani is a pawn up? Yeah, but but uh, see, this passer doesn't count. This Means, inside yeah, passers yeah. don't count. Yeah, because and also this mating attack, right? Mating, mating attack is there, and di- you know what happens? You feel uh, somewhat. Uh, what we can say, like white can always play some two three moves without even thinking. Mm. White's position is so he can play relaxed chess, but uh, every move. Black should find the best move. Also, he has to it's find always it. a problem. Like it's like a putting pressure. How a guy will break? Like you keep on putting the pressure, he will he can't withstand it. At one stage, he will that's how we win. Vipanji, right. seven yeah. minutes, seven moves he has to make in two and a half minutes. Oh, that's a big point, Samai. That's yeah, a big point. True. Time become hai, position be slightly. I was thinking minus whether it. he can give this exchange set and all, but it's still not working. Do you see Ronak? He is so fidgety right now. He's yeah. he's in under pressure. No, that's what because, I'm saying. Because you know, this is the pressure of Olympiad talking. Because he knows he's not fighting for just himself, for the entire yes, team. Yes, yes. And if by chance Ronak loses and Adiban loses, we lose the match in spite of Gukesh winning. That that means this match is really on. Let's keep let's keep uh, on this board only while. No, I was just thinking see. how he can save. I just want to. Find some, there should be some hope. No, how we should, can see at right time. I think we should sack that rook for the bishop, but it's not working no? because this pawn is too strong. Yes, yeah. yeah. See, problem is whenever you play a3, I will take that pawn, but then you can win this d6 pawn and maybe suffice for a draw. But I'm still, sure, I'm sure Ronak will sack at some point, but he's first nervous. he has to make a move and he's really nervous, guys. Yes, yes. he has just one minute 30 seconds. Oh. And he's thinking on this move. What? What you both are? <laughs> it's an inside joke. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Let's let's keep it on the full screen view. Let's let's go and keep uh, Ronak in focus. There we have, man, guys. I can just feel the pressure sitting in the commentary room. Seven more moves one, if you can make, guys. One minute guys. left. Then he can survive, I guess. But it's very difficult to make seven moves in 53 seconds. No, play H5. What do you do for if I play D7 and threaten Rook E8? That's what I'm saying. He's, he's going G5, I think, sir, Deepan. The G5 makes sense because D7, you can. But then Rook. Man, he's down to 30 seconds, 38, 37. How about Rook D7 and prevent? No, basically, he's not able to find the best move. That's, ah. That is the reason. He's, but he's confused, basically. He's confused, but. He needs to move. Sagar, rook d7? You mean here? Yeah, rook d7. No, losing. Oh my god, Samay, that was like g4, huh? g4 yes. trapping the bishop. That's what these little variations oh, oh, he has oh, seen. He's, he's playing something, he's playing something, Sagar. But he's down to 10 seconds. Come on, Ronak, come on. Move. Play, play, play. Move, play. Rook e4. He plays rook e4, which may not be the best move. May not be the best move, and now Hohan Isian has 25 minutes. But if he plays quickly, he can put some more pressure on Ronak. But I think Hoan Ishian is a very experienced no, guy. This, this is very difficult for yeah. let's be honest, but we just hope. Yeah. Somehow, hope, yeah we hope somehow. that he'll be able to hold, but I think it will be difficult. Very difficult. So qu- can you quickly check the game of Gukesh? Yeah, he will win for sure. Oh, that queening happened. By the way, let's go to Gukesh's board. 
it all happened as we saw queen g2 queen e4 h6, he took, e7. took e7 rook e8 check 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 queens king g7 check here rook f6 and now i think he will take on c7 so normally I, I i think he would have resigned but still it's a team tournament suggestion is playing but uh, yeah. but no but i think he should play on yeah that's what because Armenia. you know other guys you, you see it's it's a uh, but what about adiban do you think adiban has any chance here i think there is practical chance for him to hold i think uh, if 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 you tell me i think adiban because still there are some pieces left mm -hmm. right so maybe he can do something i i uh, even though computer is saying uh, adiban is difficult but maybe he has, he has got some still but some chances because a lot of pieces are there my feeling is the following mm -hmm. adiban has to hold this somehow and raunak has to go into that clutch mode where he must find out because his position is not so bad yes yes, yes. he can hold yes. and then with bukesh's win team india wins if india wins this i think if it will uh, be huge if we get result first it will give some boost mm. which is not if, going to happen ah, that, that, so is that is the thing that is the very thing. experienced that is guy. The, uh, he will he yes. will he will yes. bleed on time yeah. How much time he is having? He will use all his eight yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sergisian has won Six many minutes. Olympiads, guys, for Armenia. I think yeah. he has won three gold medals already. So I think his guy has won some boat prizes also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, rookie four. And now uh, Hovhannisian must keep the rook with rook f7. Keep the rook on the board. It's not so easy. But... Can we go to our India A team? And let's look at what is up with Hari Krishna. Has he managed to convert that game or not? So Hari, yes, I think Hari has Hari now winning. solidified. Yes. So mm -hmm. I think Hari, we can be hundred percent sure he will win. Mm -hmm. Yes. No doubt because his knight has come back. Ghar aa gaya knight. King ko bacha liya hai. Peace up. All good. With it going to with its game equal. Clarified. Some things have clarified. With its double pawns have gone. And Arjun. So it will be draw. Draw, draw, yeah. draw. And Arjun. Slightly oh my God. Arjun, Arjun in big trouble. But you know, I have great faith in Arjun's defensive skills here. But uh, but he has again only one minute fifty nine seconds. Has to make ten moves. Yeah, ten moves. And also, it's a one sided position like anything because White has. Extra pawn it's same, plus it's just the same thing. Like we can be relaxed. Like like Rauna. Yeah, yeah. Black Who's struggling? Be, black should be weak. And also B is weak. Is it hope for the best? Yes. Tough, tough, tough here. Tough, tough. And what about Shashi? Man, Shashi Kiran's game is so is moving so slowly in a way. Like very, it's still no, it's very complicated. Heavy it's, middle game. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's very complicated. Still not. I think it's clear. Yeah. But do you think that Blacks plays easier with the bishop pair? But but I I have known Sasi Anna for a very long time. He likes to play very complicated game. So mm. so I'm sure he will find something. You know because it's not so clear. Because I am also having this. Uh, my trump card is there. No, like at the right moment I can take knight into not now, but the right moment I can take and I can play b5 f4, or f4 or e5 and break this. You know something. And today things are not clear. Yeah. All the players today are low on time, Sagar Bhai. Samay Sabka. Samay Sabka Bhai. Sagar Bhai, ah. I'm in a little problem. Yes. And I need solution. Maybe your, your chat can help me. Yes. Judith Polgar Ji ne bola hai. Ah. She told me that she will come to Hindi Chess Press India. Okay. Day after, tomorrow. Ah. But there is only one condition. Ah. Uh, channel should be 100k. Oh. oh. Guys, Hi. please, there are 10,000 people here. Please go and subscribe to Samir uh, to uh, Hindi, <laughs> Hindi Chess Base India. India. So, that, are, so that we, we can only 3,000. We can hear Judith Polgar speaking in Hindi. Yes. She will speak in Hindi, right? Guys, we will teach. 3,000 huh? subscribers away, Hindi Chess Base India. You will say Wanakkam in Hindi. Oh, Wanakkam in Hindi. <laughs> Namaste, basically, right? <laughs> so, guys, maybe some of the mod can put the link here. And we but can win it. Today is rest day. So I'm in trouble. Nikhilesh, what is the tactic? Where are you going? Where are you going? 
अभिजीत बेटर अभिमन्यु बेटर ऑल विनिंग गुड so they see team is showing some amazing yeah, hampi is still clearly better next right uh, so hampi better harika draw come on nice nice, nice. easy yeah, draw yeah. vaishali winning oh my god see i told with queen no the queen knight combo yes exactly what was, what was the point if you went king h8 queen d6 threatening knight oh d6. threatening this bhai knight is a respectable animal yeah uh, and here tanya I think Tanya should hold. Hold should hold this. But even if she goes wrong somewhere, because Humpy and Vaishali both are winning, it should be fine. I think A team out of trouble. I think so. Yes. That's a great result against Georgia, who have been like. Ha na yar. Yeah. Georgia yeah, have been, and Georgia beat India A, India uh, sorry India B, India C, and now India A team taking some sort of a revenge there. Uh, going to the match between India B women's team. Who's Divya's position? Ah, first let's start with Avantika. Oh, no, how is the Divya's position in A? Ah. Oh, she no, oh, she's in uh, B team. Okay. So Avantika has been one of the best finds of this event, yes, according yes. to me. She's playing amazingly well, and I think even in this equalish position, she's putting pressure. Yes. On uh, Julia Mosesian, this. We have news coming in. Ronak is unable to hold that position apparently. And by the way, here the game is not updating. So we don't know what is happening with Padmini, but Mary is minus, worse. and Divya is also worse. So I think Team B in big trouble, and uh, going to Team C, uh, which was the women's board uh, with Isha Karawade and other players. We have some result. Isha has drawn her game already. Nandida, who is playing with the white pieces, is better. Against maybe she might be able to convert this end game. Yes, yes. she is Some clearly clearly doing well. Sahiti Varshini is slightly better with black, so here also good Some chances. chances yes. And Vishwa Vasnavala clearly better. So here it oh, seems yeah. like we are winning. No? Good chances to the C team. Yes, and uh, men's C team was anyway winning. So let's go to Raunak's board. Shall we go there? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm searching. Bye bye. Raunak is in A, and here, yeah. Let's go here. Can we have Raunak on the screen, on the big screen, and so that we can follow him? What went wrong here? Oh, he played Rook F7. That was a good move by White. Oh, no. He found it. But here, Raunak played the most logical move. I think I was also thinking Rook E6 only. But the suddenly the engine says. Oh, Bishop C5. Yeah, no, but then we will play B4. No, no Bishop C5. Yeah. Bishop C5 threatening mate in one. See rook D7 is not there exactly. Oh, this was the he, move. He missed it. Did he play it? You have played. Oh, he played it and Raunak there. Hey, this 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 what? Uh, oh man, this is uh, this is exactly what happens. You know, like in pressure, mm. you all you sometimes you miss it. Yeah. Like you in your mind you will always think that okay, whenever you play Bishop C5, I have rook D7. Yeah, yeah. But you make some kind of such moves that suddenly you realize that. You know, this is what happens in Prussia. So, so I think the junior team. See now, what happens? No, we'll take bishop into b4. Now there is an extra threat. We'll no, take a b. No, a b or oh, rook a2 and. Yeah, get get another piece b path maybe. But you know, Deepan, I have a feeling that if Robert goes low on time, but he has too much time. No, no, no. This is very difficult. See in chess, no, sir. You can even have a minus position, but you need hope. Mm. That is very important uh, in life. In, li I, I in life, that. like you chess, should, but there is hope. There is no hope for black. That is the thing. Check given on a seven by Hovanesian. Oh, he wants to give checkmate. Huh? What's his plan? Yeah. Now. It's a free pawn on b four, right? Yeah. But how how would you take with the bishop with the See, pawn? For example, if I take bishop into b four, I will win the a four pawn. Rook a five check. Yeah. So you take here. 
then give a check and then pick this up in fact i can take a b form in that form is the, up, up to me mm. how i should take bishop into b4 he took with the bishop ah, okay rook a5 and rook into a4 we are losing two points i think it was very rightly pointed out by deepan that in life you need hope and on the chessboard also you need hope and in bermuda party also you need, <laughs> you need hope exactly <laughs> Are you coming tonight? Yes. Of course. Oh, what the hell? Let's go. Let's go, Sam. Congratulations. And no, oh, congratulations. <laughs> He's married, ah? Huh? Yeah. So, uh-huh. Married person. What happens in Bhagwan party <laughs> stays in Chess Base India clips. <laughs> so, by the way, uh, by the way, you have to run, ah? Huh? Why? In Bhagwan party, if you see Chess Base India guys, you have to run. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here Adiban. So now it means that Gukesh wins, Raunak loses. Then Adiban has to hold at the very least. But it, yeah, if I don't think the B team today can win. Yes. So if they, even after that masterful play by Gukesh, that's mm, what. Mm. Yeah, I think Armenia is really a strong team. Really huh? strong. On all boards, they have very solid players. Without Aronian, they without are... Aronian. that is true they are able to yeah. keep up their i think the team spirit is very good yes, yes. excellent team spirit but uh, okay but adi one boards just a pawn down yeah so, but i think adi one will hold see if you if you are able to exchange this white color bishop no put knight on d3 exchange this with this and put, put knight on knight d block d3. and you know the hope right it's difficult but still something you know correct okay let's can we go to uh, our team 8 and just see if everything going as per plan hari krishna no, hari is winning he will not miss this for sure see probably guy exactly the same reason why he is not uh, haven't resigned yeah let's go to hari krishna's game abu sataro Abdul Satarov, and just to see the cams on the screen of Hari Krishna and Abdul Satarov. Uh, if you can get cam thirteen, no cam. Yeah, this is the one. All good here. I think all good. What do you think? Yes. So going to Vidit's game. Do you think Vidit is in any danger in this end game? because that will change the narrative entirely if with it starts getting worse with that c4 weakness the no, king coming to if let's say you take here king coming here see uh, this end game is actually slightly pleasant more pleasant for black because of the c4, c4 weakness but 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 i i think should be draw because uh, gukesh won everyone saying gukesh won maybe we can have his camera yeah let's him. go on gukesh board quickly gukesh has won what wow. a big result guys oh he's left the screen but that's a that's what you we were talking about if yeah. gukesh wins and puts that one point on the score card everyone gets motivated will that help i don't think it will help yeah, ronak no, no, no. anymore because ronak's position looks no, it's, quite it's, bad see there are a lot of mating attacks also hmm. just not a for winning a for pawn Also, d6 passer is there. Yeah, material is still equal. Maybe if one mistake from the opponent, it can become a draw. Pawn down. I, I think what Black requires is that blunder, not mistake. <laughs> yeah. Avoid. Yeah, huge blunder. Yes. But hey, actually, material is equal. True. Yeah. Wait, Somewhere because f4 pawn pass a गलती हो जाता है यार कभी कभी. And you can see Ravnak there. He is looking at the next board of Adiban. Hmm. trying to see ki bhai adiban any hopes <laughs> from your game or not yeah, exactly yeah exactly if adiban is uh, holding it that will give ronak extra motivation to fight hard three more moves and he'll get 30 extra minutes guys yeah okay what is the most logical move for white here he played rook e5 so i think rook a5 maybe okay go ahead my point was if bas aisa hi khel lena wo agar bhai maza aa jaye नहीं बट इधर अच्छा ट्रैप हो रहा है कि क्या रुक नो आई थिंक ही विल प्ले रुक सी टू नो ट्रैप हो गया नो आई एम टेलिंग यू रोनक विल ड्रॉ दिस रोनक विल होल्ड इट आई एम टेलिंग यू 
No, he won't give this check. He won't give this. I think oh, Rook C2 means straight away Bishop is there. Sorry, sir. Yeah. So what Rook C7 again? Mm. Yeah, Rook E5 was the most natural idea. So Rook E5 was a good move by Ron. No, no, maybe. Maybe play Rook C7, then play Rook B2. I, I said no, like it's. You want to mate? Yeah. Okay, I try to exchange. But no, G4 is coming or not? Maybe. Oh, I then you can take, take this yeah, and play. Take, no, not G4. And play what? Bishop C8. Then there's Rook D8. If I play Rook C8, or we will take Rook into D6. No, Bishop D6 is coming. Rook C8. When when? Here, take Rook stays. No, no, without taking. No, no. Rook. I'm saying, acha, you're playing. Rook C8 is possible, no? Yeah, Rook C8 possible. But it's not that easy to win for white here. Yes, yes, yes. No, but that's what I'm saying. Mm. There is hope, sir. There is hope. Mm. But uh, white will keep playing. Yeah? Sagar, that engine is saying Rook F7 in that position. Which one here? Rook yeah. F7. Huh. No, no, no. Concept position. Sorry, sorry. I thought Rook uh, E7. No, but no, most like Rook F7, no? With the engine, it's maybe easier. But on the board, it's difficult to find. Hmm. So, so okay, Ronak, I think we shouldn't give up hope, especially yeah, because of the opposite colored bishop. By the way, he finds rook b2. Hare Krishna has won the game. Oh, Hare Krishna, OP guys, good, good. Hare Krishna wins. And that means that uh, India is 1-0 up. So, if we see 1-0 up in uh, A team, 1 and half half up in B team, 1-0 up in C team, so in the are... women's board, we are one and half half up. Who won in women's board? I think uh, Vaishali won already. Good. And Harika drew already. Oh, one which and means half. which means Humpy, Humpy is winning. Humpy, no? how much winning? She's, Let's go to Humpy quickly. She's winning, winning. Wow, you are crushing them. Huge, huge, huge. So I think India does beat Georgia this so time. Indian women team is also unstoppable so far, undefeated. Bye. Indian women team six out, and Tanya already. Tanya is like, other point aega, dosto. From me, <laughs> half point is coming. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, wow, Humpy today really showing her class, leading from the front. And also, Vaishali, let's take a minute to talk about her. She's always so sharp. You know, Deepan, did you see that move she played today? Yeah, she's very sharp. Look at this. I think, uh, Sama, you missed it. It was like this was the position, C4, and everything looked normal. Okay? And here in this position, she goes B4, B4 yeah, yeah, yeah. giving up the rook. And telling her opponent there's no, no way, way to that stop. You Two can pieces stop for a rook. What sharpness tactical. Very nice. Amazing. Amruta had pointed out another move here, uh, which was instead of this, go knight b5. A knight b5. Yeah. That's also interesting. Because if you take, then it traps. Yeah. Yes. Amruta is smart. And we have the one and only Biswa Kalyan Rath joining us all the way from Airbnb apartment. Hello, Biswa. Hello, hello, hello. Biswa, are you feeling the excitement today? Uh, Bahar, yeah. Ek dam full chal raha hai na? So, Swagat, yeah. very tough question I'm going to ask you. Yeah. Who is stronger? Samai or Biswa? Yeah. Uh, Samai is stronger. Samai, I Samai think. Clearly stronger. Because Biswa. Oh was getting stronger at some point and then uh, old age happened <laughs> <laughs> then he stopped uh, then he got a lot of work he got busy with his work no no just uh, <laughs> why why really because, you got no, busy with your work old age man it's just old age i don't work <laughs> okay uh, should we oh look at adiba huh Oh, Adiban is. Yes. So, by the way, we have uh, Adiban here who looks really in a bad state. Yeah, because yeah. see, for example, if I put my knight on e5. Uh, and guys, guess who is joining us right now? We have the top board of the India one team, Hari Krishna, joining us. Hari, a huge congratulations for beating Abdu Sataro, and that too with the black pieces. It was a great game. Um, before we go to your your game, 
just getting your thoughts on the match what what is your feeling like um i think uh, we did uh, probably roughly uh, roughly equal uh, mm-hmm. okay uh, and uh, arjun probably is uh, yeah it's close to draw i think Oh, Arjun has recovered. Yeah, we thought at some point yeah, he was it, it seemed, uh, in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But H5 and uh, it's just fine. wow. So that looks good. Yeah, this one I don't like it so much. Uh, um, yeah, this this doesn't seem. This looks good. complex. Also, time wise, yeah, uh, she's yeah, a little low yeah, because. Uh, okay, I mean it's. Uh, opposite color bishop end game so there are some chances but the main problem i think is some kind of rook c2 uh, maybe like uh, i don't know how do you proceed here he's played c5 yeah okay it's uh, practically maybe because because if you take f5 and uh, he probably, he'll activate this yeah, bishop this so is I, good. it's practical chances yeah, yeah, for yeah, shashi yeah absolutely yeah yeah okay so going to your game uh, hari did you think that uh, by the way queen b3 by him was an inaccuracy yeah, yeah absolutely uh, i think uh, queen b3 is wrong uh, for many reasons uh, firstly i get knight h5 uh, knight g6 pretty fast I, I mean that's what happened in the game um and uh, i think a4 is already slightly inaccurate i mean it's not a mistake but uh, the point is uh, when I go g5, knight e7, knight g6, uh, white needs to be ready with uh, d4. Hmm. Um, but uh, uh, so therefore, rook e1 or knight bd2, he would be just winning here with d4. If, if he, he, had he had defended rook, yeah, the yeah, e4. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that knight d2 here and then trying for d4 makes sense? Uh, it's already it's a little bit slow because my knight uh, has been rerouted from c6 to g6. So I think uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm fine here. Mm. And uh, Queen B3, uh, it was uh, it was really shocking to me mm. uh, because anyway I would go short castle. I wasn't going for long castle or something like that. Uh, he should have tried uh, Rook E1, B4, or uh, to close my bishop. I think. Mm. Yeah. So he went here. You castled yeah. Knight B2, Knight G6, D4, yeah. and you played Knight H5. Great move he took. Did you consider G4? How tempted were you? Yeah, I did uh, consider uh, g4. Uh, basically, uh, I would have um, a similar position. I, I mean, I, of course, it allows e6, which I, uh, I actually calculated, but I think it, it cannot work because I simply take gf3, knight g3, and knight h8. Actually, I saw it. Hmm. Um, but then, uh, I, 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 just to, for yeah. our viewers, take uh, EF7, EF7, king g7. King g7. Uh, knight f3, knight f3, uh, knight g3, I think, and uh, I thought knight h, oh, knight nice. h8, knight f7, nice. but uh, <laughs> that's just very artistic. <laughs> but I mean, the bishop is uh, so powerful on mm. a7, so, so that was an amazing yeah. bishop. <laughs> Actually, thanks to that uh, bishop, I won this game. I must say, uh, yeah, g4 and uh, knight g3, both the moves were uh, pretty attractive to me. And uh, I decided to go for this uh, because I, I just go g4, h5, h4. My plan is super simple here. Right. Um, so yeah, you here, did go. Yeah. And uh, maybe maybe queen f6 was uh, slightly more accurate after mm-hmm. uh, this thing. Uh, because then... I You're mean, not revealing. Yeah, your exactly. And knight h2 makes no sense uh, mm-hmm. uh, without g4. And I would just play h5 and I see, okay, he can't move rook f3 one because uh, f2 pawn is hanging. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, here there were so many ways to get and uh, keep the advantage. I, of course, it got confusing. That's always the case when you have just one way. It's pretty easy. But uh, when you have five five uh, moves and then you spend time and then it changes everything. So queen g five and here he got slight chance because of rook e one. I think king g seven was a very nice idea here. Uh, I'm not actually giving uh, away what I want to do because if he goes knight df1, I play f5. So (laughs) that's why I'm like, you know, anyway, rook h8 is always good. So I'm kind of uh, making him, okay, think about it, uh, how you want to play. Nice. So he went rook e2. Yeah. And you went h5. He went knight f1. You went h4. Yeah. And here, 
it was very difficult for him to find the next move but we were just discussing that if in case he takes this way yes. and puts his knight here somehow the h2 h1 squares are both yes, controlled course, yes no the, I, I would not uh, allow this because uh, i i was seeing something i mean i have to probably uh, get this rook out mm, <laughs> this one right. i need to get you need rook. him now yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's the only piece which is uh, not participating uh, mm. the attack and uh, I was thinking uh, to play slowly here because if he gets knight g3, knight f1, uh, right. it's uh, it, it is not easy to to break uh, that position. Um, so yeah, rook d3, I was really happy because I saw the force uh, winning sequence here, knight f4, and he was playing pretty confident. And uh, I was like, okay, he was what am I the, missing yeah. here? You were seeing in the camera. Yeah, Abdul Satara always looks. Like the same, yes, yes, you yes, know, yes, intensity yes. with yeah, winning yeah. or losing. Yeah. So, uh, and I was like rechecking, and I didn't see anything here because basically after knight g6 and uh, queen f4, uh, he can't get uh, the e5 pawn. I think this is what he missed. Ah, bishop e6. After queen b, no, maybe he saw bishop e6, but uh, after queen b5, he probably didn't see queen f4, rook f3, queen e4. So queen b5, yeah, as happened in the game, and. Queen e4 simply. Ah, he missed this. Yeah, it? probably mm -hmm. because queen e5, uh, he thought he will get back this pawn. But once I saw this, I I just I was uh, rechecking my variations to um, to figure like if I miss something. And Can I, you do this? Yeah, then queen h4, queen h4. because the pin ah, is the pin no is longer, gone and yeah, now yeah, this is not yeah, hanging. Yeah, this is not a threat. Got it. So, so this was the important point. You went here and then oh, this is lost, I think. You just yeah, this is uh, basically I played rook c8 so that I have bishop c4 and rook f1, rook f2, and that's it. Yeah. Such a huge victory with the black pieces, and I think that's going to be a very important one today. Uh, Hari, we hope that the remaining players uh, are able to get those one and a half points. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Sagar. I hope we win this match. Yes, we thank will. You. And by the way, we now have Vidit, who is here. Also, slight tension, uh, Deepan. Thoda to dar lag raha hai. Yes. No? Yes, yes. Night pawn and games are very tricky. And, and let's always have... Always very tricky. You can see Vidit. He, by but the I way, think he, they, well, he will get half an hour. No, no. But generally, Vidit is very good at end games. Ah, yeah. So... Yeah, I think with it will, will manage. It's yeah. only this Olympiad pressure, yeah, no? exactly, which exactly. can really make you go wrong. Yes. Okay, let's go to Arjun. I think great news for India here. Arjun holding. Yeah. So, shall we focus on Shashi's game? Because that looks like a critical one. And also time pressure coming in. Let's go and uh, yeah, let, we have only this cam uh, for Shashi's game. But this looks really, I think somehow uh, Samshid in Wokido has managed to keep yes. it all together. But maybe not. Well, so hopes are there. But, uh, you know, general assumption, your E4 is weak. Ah. His pawns chains are much better. Mm. And uh, probably, you know, I have ways, like, I can enter through A2, Rook, A before, A before, Rook, Rook A2, you know, when I want, like, things. Ah, you mean this Rook yeah. can enter from here. It... Actually, you know, uh, today uh, in the India 2 team, mm -hmm. Pragnananda did not play because yes. of his loss yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but it seems like, oh, by the way, Shashi yeah. has taken. It seems like even if Gukesh has won, it might create a lot of, even though Gukesh is win, they might lose the match. Unfortunately, but still, let's see, let's see. Oh, but this is, uh, uh, Shashi is playing in A team, right? Shashi is A team, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So, what's happening in B team? Let's go to B team and let's see, uh, first of all, the game of Adiban. Oh, Adiban, knight f2 is coming in. Knight c3 is coming. So, I think resignable yeah, position. Probably. He might resign here. Probably. Let's look at Adiban's cam. Maybe we'll get a better idea there. Or he has resigned already. Ooh. He has resigned. He has resigned. So, let's go to Raunak. Everything now depends on Raunak's game. He's got his king all the way to e3. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That now there are, there are a lot of mating nets are there. You have to be. Yeah. Okay. Like, like if I. Oh, you played rook c1. Probably if I'm white, I'm, I would play king g3, no? Threatening rook e1 mate. If, if way to play. Right. 
That's what he's he aiming for. Yeah. But where was his rook? What was his last move? Previous move? Oh, he's aiming that only exactly. He's he's hunting the king down. Yes, exactly. From I, rook b two. You know, no, I said somewhat like yeah. There's a mating net. You can sense it. You can see the beauty of opposite colored bishops yes, here. Yes. Yes. That somehow. This bishop's activity on dark squares is not being countered by this bishop because it's not light squares. No, no, an opposite color bishop, the guy, uh, the person who is having advantage actually has more advantage because just he's basically it's like in dark square he's a piece of if right. you're having right and also he's uh, having advantage. Right. So the one so, who is attacking, yeah, always has advantage. Uh, yes, exactly. So rook c1 and now this is the position on the board. Uh, and I think Raunak will yeah. find it very difficult. You know, this is the thing which I hate in this time control that you get 30 he, minutes. He, he made it, right? Yeah, but, he but, made it. You have time, but, but you have nothing to play for. It's like it's like that phase of life where you have money but no health. <laughs> you know, what to do? You spend a lot of time making money, but now there's no health to enjoy. Some you have to... Uh, no, no, life. Ka, what, what, what do you say in Hindi? Gyan. Pandas. Yeah. 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 Bhai, women team has won. One finish? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Khatam. So, can someone come to Hampi ji? Maybe. Bhai, I don't know if someone is here. Okay. They left. But I have one guest for you. Please. Harshit Raja ji. I'm doing Hindi chess basically never form. Okay. What are you doing? I'm doing English full form. Are you going to be 100? Come on. 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 Come Dosto, Jaye, please. What, what, Saga, did you touch 100k? Me? Huh? I have uh, more, no? 1 million. Just asking. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> we are aiming for. <laughs> we, are, we are hoping to reach 1 million in this tournament. Just say it, but I know how big you are. I'm just... No, 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 no. It's not big. Us. But you know, Deepan, you are so off social media and all. I thought maybe you are not aware no, what no. is happening. I, I know this game finished. Yeah. Adiman lost, yes. So we are now in uh, Raunak's uh, game. So the score is what right now? The score is uh, right now <clears throat> of India A team is 1-0 because three games are going on and India B team is uh, one and half half. So actually we are still leading but India B team is no actually it should be one and half one and half because Adiban lost. So it is now one and a half, one and a half in B. And Ronak is still is the last. Ronak is losing. Oof. There's no there's no hope yeah here. Maybe do you remember we were looking at this position mm. when it looked very. You equal. you you did say that there are some dangers yeah, because if you still look yeah I think we looked somewhere around here uh, actually yeah. here, and we thought uh, Deepan that it's. Uh, I also told yeah, the same yeah, yeah, thing. Same, yeah. yeah, because mm. practically speaking, it's it's never it's easy. easy. Yeah. Basically, we generally in our grandmaster circle, we circle we say that oh, white will keep playing keep, for ten yeah, hours, yeah. like that. We will just say because until be, kings, yeah, yeah, left on the board, yeah. right. So. But uh, the you know till this point, in fact, till even yeah till this point, Raunak had one hour thirty one minutes. Oh, till move twenty three, so Ooh. he was well prepared. Very well prepared. But oh. it's very deceiving actually yeah. because sometimes we look at the engine, they say it's 0 0, we leave it, we think that okay. No, no, I, I think we have to be more practical. But, yeah, but the engines you know? can make the exact best moves for 100 moves, but for we, a few yeah. months, there are a lot of other uh, things like we, we we lose our energy and uh, uh, many things. No, So we can't find the best moves sure, always. Yeah. But this is such a great learning experience, right? Because Raunak is just 16. Right of now, of course, of course. And yeah. when you get such lessons, yes. you will be more careful. Yes, yes, true. In the, true. And I think this is exactly what Olympiad is doing to our youngsters. Even if they lose, they are learning a lot out of this entire thing. True. And and you can't give them these experiences by talking. You can't say go deep and stuff. It's only when it hurt you lose yes. and it hurts that you are careful next time. Yes. And also uh, Hari won, so yeah, that's. Uh, but, but so I think the A match. The A team match is more exciting now because the B team is lost while the A team, we are actually in some trouble. Actually, Irigasi managed to uh, change yeah, things the, around yeah. actually, which was huge because yeah. at some point it seemed like he is can, like... Can we just quickly see how he changed it because he was getting really worse. Yes. Just be back. 
Sure, sure, Deepan. Thank you yeah. for so much for joining me. Yeah. And guys, uh, Deepan, you are training here. You are working with some teams. No, no, no. Oh. I'm just coming here to just have fun <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, cheer for India. Okay, okay. Every day, almost, I'm driving for 70, 80 kilometers. Wow. <laughs> and wow. looking very fresh. See, you know, you know, what is the thing? I generally I say that okay, tomorrow I won't come because it's it's, it's, it's like so almost one, one and a half hours driving. But then I thought, then I will say, okay, kya kar, kya what you are doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, go, we'll go and see. Yeah. yeah. So Deepan, thank you and please do it's join a, us whenever you get. Time. Always a pleasure. And okay. today you have a new name for our chat. <laughs> you know, you know the name. So I we do. used to call him uh, Mr. Rajnikan. Yeah, then yeah. he said that no, please don't call me. So he stopped that. But now he has a new name, A.R. Rahman. A.R. Rahman. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, 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 now I have to again say, please. <laughs> Why? Deepan is quite, you know. Guys, come on. <laughs> thank you, Deepan. Okay, welcome, man. Welcome. See you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. And so, uh, as we see here, Bishop E4, Rook C8, Rook A1, Bishop C6, he changed the bishops. As you had also mentioned, uh, King F8, Rook H A1, Knight C7, Rook B7, Rook D2. It was getting a bit nasty here. It was here. getting very dangerous actually. Then, look for example, Rook D8, Rook C8 should have been decisive almost. Ah, you mean here he could have gone check and then going here, yeah. but he went King F2. Also, yeah, keeping the edge, yeah. Rook D8, logical. And Knight E6, but there was a winning. Yeah, yeah. Rook e7, knight d8. Oof. Oh, and he blundered. Rook d7, rook b7. Actually, what, what did he miss? Like rook here, knight e6. Rook b7. And then you just lose a pawn or what? You don't lose because you have knight c7, right? Like you're not losing it. But, but you're stuck. No, rook there's rook c3. But you're completely stuck. So you come here, King here and then play yeah. this. King d3. Yeah, exactly. Gone. Gone. He was just Comple one I, move away from. He was one move away from losing. No, one move away. Yeah, because Literally. and look, even look, if you look carefully here, yeah. knight can't go here. Knight can't go here. Knight has to go here. You can defend by rook here, but knight d4, and now you cannot move anything again. And then hanging because if you take this pawn, this rook is hanging. And knight e6 is pinned. So. so that's why he has to go here, and then here you have to save the pawn. And then king e3, king d3, knight d4, take this pawn, two pawns. Take two pawns, no over. chance. Yeah. Once you get two pass pawns, it's over. So actually, Sindaro missed a huge chance here by playing knight d4, and it allowed Arjun to just, I think he missed rook c8. He thought knight is trapped. Or he thought he has knight into b5 and like getting some edge. But look, still. Check and now Arjun found all the all the accurate moves, all the yeah. accurate moves to hold. Check. Sindaro yeah. must be livid. Very very with himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And by the way, here ninety yeah, seven and bad. Arjun will hold this. So actually, good luck for very India right. here. Because if Arjun lost, it was game match over. Yes. Basically. But but do you think Shashi has chances? This again, yeah. Opposite, opposite colored bishop colored. and you know if Shashi holds, Vidit holds and Arjun will hold most likely, India wins. India wins. So the, in this position as we can see this point, this pawn structure is very very dangerous. It's like a knife in uh, this white one, yeah. Heart, yeah. yeah. And also the bishop is on the opposite color of these pawns which means the bishop is beautiful. More, yeah, yeah. So this is actually even though if you see again the material is equal and still the evaluation is so much. Right. Then and did Prague win in the meanwhile? Oh, he's not playing. So no, Prague didn't win. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we have some uh, results that are being updated here. Um, firstly, we have men one, which is still one zero because three games are going on. And by the way, I think Arjun has drawn. Already. Wow. No, no, no. They're still playing, but I think more very likely. Yeah. Uh, Men 2 is one and a half, one and a half, so it's updated. One point one, round next game is going. Men 3 team, 3 nil already. Wow. Why men 3 team? Superb. I just amazing. saw Abhimanyu also completely crush, crushing yeah. victory. Sethu Raman was going on. I saw Abhijit Gupta won. And Surya won. And Surya won. I that think is, Surya is, uh, uh, coming into form is great news. And then that's we go to... actually we didn't. Uh, 
look at a lot of their games but the indian c team is also coming back yeah and then we move to uh, women one team and i think only tanya's game is left if i'm not mistaken or oh, i think we are leading hey but how is it 2 one. one yeah we are leading tanya drew or what tanya drew she drew already oh man that's a huge thing which means hampi has to win this I, no why i mean draw is fine but hampi oh, should she, we were not sure what is going to happen here. No, no, no. We we saw Humpy winning for uh, like almost two one hour now. Okay. So she played very well. After that moment, no, yeah, that where little, it was yeah. slightly worse. Then she got control and she converted it. Like wow. here, knight c six, take take. Yeah, and... taking. Yeah, as I'm, I was, like I thought it. If you give that bishop, it's the white play becomes very easy. So queen f six was a actually it can even be asked somewhere because this queen of six and to give the exchange mm. was better is better and also not easy to judge but it, if you think about it more you realize that black has very good compensation yeah so uh yeah after taking i think she seems like she played a beautiful game yeah that, she was in control and i think she never let it slip and yeah. deepan made this very nice point that when top players play top players they usually don't let the advantage go. That's a nice statement. Yeah. yeah, because but the thing is also what has to be mentioned is the defending capabilities goes very high. Mm. So sometimes even if some big strong player has an advantage, sometimes it fizzles out because they defend like a machine. Mm. True. Yeah, now I think I think we can safely say that India. I think she can go rookie three and take this. Yeah. So India one definitely yeah, winning. It's, oh, it's three one. I'm very keen on Shashi Kiran's game, that, but we'll come to it the... because there's a lot of time over there. If we look at the time here, Shashi Kiran has. Oh, now... by the way, Eric Arjun drew. Arjun drew in the meanwhile. Ah, Arjun drew his game. That is great. So if we go to Shashi Kiran's game, he has 21 minutes. Wait, what is is Ronak by uh, having the same position? You know, Ronak's position I don't think has changed anything. Let's just quickly look at it. Because if Raunak, yeah, 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 okay, it's, it could never actually turn around, yeah, because it's so easy for, I mean, white just, it's very easy right now to play with white. I think what's the easiest way to do this? Check, king has to go to d4. Also to go to d4. Rook d1, yeah. now winning this, so he has to play this. And is there any... Killer blow here, okay. like king here, Actually, king here. Okay, I'm not sure, but like, does bishop a5 work? Rook d6, bishop c7. What are you planning to bishop do? Bishop like? f4. Oh. There is some very big caveat. Oh, that black probably has to sacrifice an exchange. Yeah, and sacrifice an exchange. But, this way. Yeah, and, and nice. there are good chances there. Yeah, I think this is very good chances to hold. I don't think uh, yeah, no, no, Oha Nisian yeah. will. Yeah, but it was some nice way to yeah. try to collect. I don't think black white has to win directly. Hmm. Ah, Ram Singh, hello. What is it? Again, uh, very nice uh, quote by Deepan. In life and on the chessboard, you need hope. And something somehow black is lacking the hope. Yeah. Here. yeah. Actually, this as uh, more that I look at it, this bishop c3 move mm. kills it because now rook e1 is a mating idea. So basically, you're covering the d4 square. So it king yeah. pe ja sakta hai aur mate hi ho hai. he played it and yeah. then Raunak went bishop e2. But doesn't this win a piece now? Rook e1, king f2 is still trying to hold, fight. Yeah. Ah. So if rook e1, king f2. Wow. And we have Biswa coming back. Biswa. Hello. What is Ronak's position? It Karab looks hai. very tough. Oh, but what can he do? It looks very difficult. Kabhi kabhi, I mean, it's I, I, upon, I mean, you, it's better to not sit at the board because mm -hmm. if you sit at the board, psychologically you get destroyed. So just moving around and hoping that opponent blunders something. But uh, it's Honestly, this is too too big of an advantage yeah. for such a strong so, player. Yeah. So we can say the B team, India India two team is going to lose, but India one team can win or draw. 
it all it all hinges Depends. on Shashi Kiran's game and also with it. With it. Actually, let's we didn't not, look at this game. Let's we'll not see. forget with we'll its draw. end game is not as trivial as it looks. Hmm. That's very trivial. <laughs> <laughs> Whom would you choose? White. White. Q. Kyu. <laughs> Hmm, I can't move But Do you think E5? E5 will be a very bad move. That would be horrible, yeah? Because mm. it makes F4 no, it weak. Yeah, because E5 actually should be very... Yeah. Let's say E5. King E7, I think is good. King E7, knight, knight F2. No, knight E6, if it comes. Then yeah, knight E6, knight D3. I was just trying to hold, but then this is also weak. Mm. And I don't think there's any hope no, here. Also C5, knight D4. So, ye nahi kar sakte. E5 push to nahi karenge. I think with it will take, take and go knight f6. But I have to say it's not so easy for white. Hmm. Knight g8. It's a weird move. Can give you have to be afraid of king e6. Hmm. If you take, you, the knight can be trapped. Yaar, ye I don't think actually white can ever go for this variation. But trap kare wo karoge kaise? I mean, agar maine sirf uh, knight d6 pe la liya. So knight B7? Is, knight B7, let's say. So knight G4, oh, very difficult. Achha. Ye nahi 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 nahi. difficult. Hai. Hey, but only move is knight G4? No, but at some point, I mean, that, let's say ye. So knight B6. Either. King F7. And guys, we are joined here by the top board of the India A team, women's team, Humpy. Hello, Humpy. Congratulations. Thank you. What a fantastic game. Uh, well, I think uh, I play a bit dubious after the opening. Like, I'm not happy with my queen b3 and rook here d1. Yes, uh, just uh, for, first of all, were you surprised by her Benoni? Yeah, true. Uh, even yesterday, she played Benoni, so I oh, thought really? she will not repeat it. <laughs> Uh, yes, of course, I'm surprised. So it was so the board practical decision to go for this line. And you went uh, here, Queen B3. Yeah, I'm not happy with this Queen B3 move. Because, what was your uh, plan uh, behind it? Or? I didn't have a clear cut plan. Basically, I wanted to go Bishop H2, F4, and E4 at some point. Mm. So I thought before that, I'll make some preparation moves. That's what I intended to. Probably it's better to go direct bishop h2. Anyway, uh, at some point of time, I have to play this uh, bishop move. Right. Uh, up, and also, look at even is very dubious. I completely overlooked b5 mm. at first set. I thought I'll go for this bishop e5 and knight c4. So this rook on d1 would be useful at some point later on. I was expecting f5 and take on e5 and knight c4. Right. Once I played rook d1, I realized that black would simply go b5. So I was like, kind of, you know, this is a position which black aims for and I should not allow it. <laughs> exactly. And I mean, uh, white, black had all the trumps. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, a warm welcome to the coach of India A women's team, Grandmaster Abhijit Kunte here. Uh, Hi. I'm very good. And Abhijit, congratulations. Uh, I have some questions for you uh, after the analysis. So f5. Here. Yeah, I think from here I played a bit precise <laughs> not to commit f4 and e4. It was important to uh, get the pieces back to the right squares. Also, I like b4 this b4 was move, yeah. a good move. Uh, and after this, I'm getting a lot of tricks. Like in some positions, uh, like she should always check for these sacrifices on knight b5 and c4. Uh, knight f7 is definitely a bad move. Right. I expected her to play knight f3, bishop f3. Bishop d7, knight e. Oh, sorry, not bishop d7. Queen f6, uh, knight e2. Ah, you're getting your knight uh, here. I'll get my knight to d4, and I feel this is quite playable for both sides. Yeah. Uh, after knight f7, I, I'm very happy to play this knight d4 and. Uh, knight From here, you just took over. No, but actually, I felt she should give her exchange sacrifice. Ah. Queen f6 is very strong move here. Amazing. We were just uh, talking no, about was, it. Like, I was a bit worried whether she'll go for it or not. But once she took the knight on c6, my position is very pleasant. 
you know harshit uh, who is here he he said that this can be a good uh, exercise in some yeah, book true. because giving because up because here there is lot of piece play for black and this diagon is mm. very strong see now the d5 pawn is weak once i go there might be uh it's not easy for white to right. find a piece play here it's kind of stuck so yeah. knight c6 when she took yeah this is pleasant and i think bishop e5 is also a bad move because this hit, i can't go for f4 in many positions because of this h2 bishop i doesn't yeah. want to lock this and you, she allowed you to uh, take it. She allowed it. me, so I'm free. She cannot take knight c6 because of knight b5. So I was looking for this trick from long time. Knight like, b5. Yeah, right? yeah, this hmm. was my plan from long time. But but I guess what she did just landed her in an even more passive position. Yeah, true. Position, so it, no? There is no point in exchanging this h2 bishop. Yeah. Now this is a clearly a better position for her. You just need to be precise to finish it. I think uh, you were you didn't put any uh, you were you didn't go wrong anywhere here. You converted it quite yeah perfectly. Okay, after the opening, uh, I was like lack of plans, mm -hmm. but uh, then I came back again after she left. Yeah, that was a very dominating game, and Abhijit uh, three one victory here, and also uh, six wins in a row. Uh, I think uh, Georgia today was one of the biggest opponents and to beat them in such convincing style is amazing. I think credit goes to all the players and coaches you know, who are working day and night. And uh, I'm very happy with today's performance and let's see like five more games to go. Yeah, absolutely. There are still uh, many strong teams to yes. face. But the nice thing about this entire team is that everyone's putting their hand up at the right time. You know, Tanya delivered. Today, Humpy was in back in form. Also, Vaishali uh, yes. is playing amazing. Yeah, her game was also very nice. B4? Yeah, B4 was, yeah. <laughs> amazing move. Both, both games we got B4, which was very good. <laughs> <laughs> right, and Humpy, how does this game uh, sort of put you in this tournament? Like, because there were some games yeah, you were winning. I was very shaky from the starting of the tournament. Uh, I think from last two, three games, I'm uh, becoming better with my usual play. Uh, so I'm happy with the victory and especially before the rest day, having a win yes. is always pleasant. <laughs> Amazing. And Abhijit, uh, would you allow any of the players to go to the Bermuda party? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Would you be there? <laughs> I have to decide it. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Uh, this was very nice. Uh, thank you for joining in and thank wishing you. you good luck for the second half of the event. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Abhijit. Guys, that was the coach of the Indian team, GM Abhijit Kunte, and the board number one of India A team, Koneru Hampi leading from the front giving india a 3-1 victory and now the indian team leads 12 points out of 12 which is really a big big uh, thing because you know they are very big favorites to win the win a medal i mean the gold medal uh, we have to see what happened with the romanian team i think romania was also leading fully uh, i mean with five out of five wins but We'll just quickly check if the Romanian team had any chances. Uh, so, Maria Muzichuk, oh my god, what a position this is. She has, Irina Bulmaga has three pawns and two bishops versus a rook and bishop. And I think uh, as Arshid joins us, this is good chances for Irina. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think this is a dream position for... Uh... Yeah, this is great. And uh, Anna Muzichuk won, Kos uh, Kosma drew, and what about the last board? It's a draw. So actually, yeah, this black player is actually, uh, I think her rating can be a little uh, deceiving because I think I've seen her play in some tournaments and she's pretty strong. Okay. So, so this game, very likely drawn. Yeah. So I don't think Romania can win this match. They can draw though. They can draw. If so, India is definitely the sole leader. Surely, After that this is week, huge, huge. Before the rest day, to be in the to be on the top of the top of the table definitely is a big moral boost. Oh man, big news coming in. Hindi chess base India hits hundred k. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. That is huge. 
uh, it's a big big thing and a big congratulations to Nicholas Jain who has been toiling day in and out kind of a one man army there making videos day after day and reaching 100k i think guys you can if you do get a chance please do, do go to hindi chess base india and just wish him uh, and maybe subscribe to it if you haven't that is big because you know he made a very nice plan today huh? he asked judith polgar will you come to hindi chess base india she said only if you hit 100k oh and then wow. he so says that the, please guys that, is, that would be i mean amazing please subscribe to hindi chess base india <laughs> so that we can hear judith polgar speaking hindi <laughs> so that's like one of the stories you know that you go and tell uh, microsoft daughter if uh, <laughs> you know the story right <laughs> you tell uh, what bill gates bill daughter gates said. daughter said i want to marry you and then he asks who are you then they say that you are Ap- i am the president of apple then you go to apple's owner and tell him that i am going to be the future husband of bill gates daughter yeah so that's how you <laughs> <laughs> man nikle i never knew nikle was so smart and joining us nuber last week after the join i did one 500 बच्चे हैं अच्छा मुझे लगा हो गया मैंने तो कांग्रेचुलेट वगैरह कर दिया हमने स्पीच दे दिया टीम डांस के लिए आपको ज्वाइन होना है अच्छा डांस है अभी भाई क्या ही चल रहा है पर अपना गेम तो होने दो शशि किरण का फिर डांस डांस करेंगे समय उधर है क्या अभी समय का हां उधर है <clears throat> this happen yeah this is the live position in the game of vidit gujarati right now mm-hmm. so vidit actually took on f5 good decision yeah and then he went knight e3 mm-hmm. king e6 and knight c2 and uh, yeah maybe you can join us yeah okay udhar bhi samay abhi तो निकलेज अकेले है हां फिलहाल तो हां देन यू कैन गो विद इट व्हाटएवर यू गो ओपन क्या लेके आना है लोगों को अच्छा मैं आऊं क्या उधर हां कैन आई कैन आई कम इन लाइक या जस्ट आप एंटर हां जो कोई आ जाए तो श्योर एंड जस्ट शशि किरण का गेम हम्म हम्म आई थिंक द द फैक्ट दैट शशि किरण्स बिशप इज लाइक अ ह्यूज पॉन इज द रीजन व्हाई ही इज लूजिंग also if you look at it this pawn is completely isolated if you look at this pawn structure compared to like this there is no way white can defend this pawn and once this pawn is exchanged for this pawn these pawns are just going to be unstoppable right so so it seems like rauna closing so the india b team loses uh, and, and uh, shashi kiran losing and with it drawing would mean a draw draw but with it still has to like that game is still going on we cannot right take anything for granted by the way usa uh, karuana won and three draws so they won they won finally so, uh, they they have had a me. kind of convincing because iran is a very strong team yeah. even without uh, firuja yeah. Yeah. but just imagine uh, sagar if they had firuja that team was we very imagine scary imagine if france had firuja like everyone yeah. imagine yeah, if yeah, you have yeah, firuja <laughs> Firuja is nowhere though he is I mean he can be a good addition to any team in the world absolutely so uh, harshit can i go there yeah. and would you like to uh, go on here or how would sure. you sure it's sure. a uh, i can please please so you have these two few games here this is in uh, you can also go on the other games in mm-hmm. india a b c men a b c women okay so i'll be back uh, yeah. just uh, to reach 100k on yeah. the chess base india <laughs> big big day yeah, it's a us. big moment for you too yeah. yeah so guys uh i think i'll just quickly go over the scores right now so in the indian b team we've had uh, gukesh winning nihal uh, gukesh winning in the india b team nihal drawing adiban losing and Ronak's game is still going on but that looks losing so India B most likely going to be go down 3-1 today uh, sorry 2 and half 1 and half <laughs> hi guys dance op <laughs> maybe even i should start dancing here if those guys are dancing there i shouldn't <laughs> be uh, left alone <laughs> 
and in the indian a team we see hari krishna winning so that's one irigesi drawing so one and half and sashi is losing so right now it's we are assuming one and half one and half or vidit ka last game is going to be uh, deciding what the score is going to be of this match 94 96 <laughs> so still little white ko thoda careful rehna padega thank you guys for all the wishes what happened in adiban game adiban had a tough game uh, i he i think it was around it was pretty much difficult for him the entire game but let's stick to these two boards uh, because those are going to decide what will happen and in the women's team we just saw hampi delivering an emphatic victory kya hi maza aa gaya koneru hampi beautiful game vaishali also we saw this b4 move and as abhijit dada was saying that in both the games there was this beautiful move of b4 b4 so b4 move number 17 and this gave white a very nice victory and also in humpy's game which move was it was it move 17 it was b4 move number 19 so guys this b4 move gave the indian a team the victory today beautiful game um if we can quickly see what does the women's b team do padmini drew mary and gomes drew vantika is still playing and she's better so this is beautiful vantika is better guys so if she manages to win with the black pieces so vantika to bahut hi it will be amazing um and divya is playing with the white pieces how is divya doing oof kya hi complicated position hai guys rook on on b2 pawn on c5 versus white is attacking on the king by the way guys just out of the box what do you think will sagar go to baroda party today or, or no i hope he goes but i don't know if he will it will be fun to have sagar and amruta in the barboda party <laughs> samay i'm sure is going to go <laughs> so guys vantika is playing like an just coming back to this ki what's my plan i don't know <laughs> yet <laughs> yeah but definitely guys uh, just to say that i have i mean i am i am a chess player but i have been watching sagar do this uh, commentary and analysis and it's really very difficult or bahut hi energy jata hai isme so shout out to sagar again guys amazing uh, amazing guy and works very hard bahut hi maza aa gaya aaj 100 ke chess base india hindi ko bhi ho gaya so they've come a long way <laughs> so divya is complicated and what about somya guys what about somya somnathan she is not playing today isha drew isha karode made a solid draw with the black pieces uh nandida is completely better the king pura weak hai rook will also come and attack so this looks very good for the indian women's uh, c team i think what about the other board also looks very promising ye knight kya hi knight hai c4 pe it's beautifully placed um The, the king is also going to be or queens ek bar board pe se aa gaye 
so the game is going to be uh, game is going to be decided for the black favor and guys i hope ki chess base india also crosses 1 million mark as soon as it can um so let's see coming back to our men's board uh, with it ne knight f5 knight f4 mara hai thoda sa you have to be careful because uh, white has a lot of pawn islands and ronak as we saw is still not changed anything i mean the point is that uh, rook e1 check for example rook if aapko lagega ki rook bacha kyun nahi lete so then the problem is rook e1 king f4 rook f2 check and bishop at king g5 bishop into f6 and after king h5 guys g4 is checkmate that is uh that's going to be uh a difficult difficult day for uh, the indian b team let's see if vidit has made any moves they are both still thinking engine you guys want the engine analysis <laughs> it's around equal guys or but just, just like, like i said these pawns are a little weak so slightly careful rehna padega but we know vd vd are he is going to hold this for sure vd will never lose very solid ronak i actually so ronak is going that's the last game i think in the b board and we are joined with by samay भाई हो चुका है हिंदी इंडिया के क्या है है न्यूज़ हमने नागिन डांस के अंदर नागिन डांस हाँ निकलेश भाई ने बीन बजाया मेरे आगे लेकिन मेरे को छुआ नहीं क्योंकि पर क्या ही बड़ी बात है जस्ट देख रहा था इंडियन बी टीम का आज थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट हो गया बिकॉज रॉन Adiban lost and even though Gukesh won, Ronak also seems uh, over. Yeah, pe. Harshil, boy, me. 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 <laughs> मुझे लगता है आप पिंक शर्ट पहन के जाओ या व्हाइट आप ही की शर्ट में पिंक ये ले जाऊंगा आपसे पर फिट नहीं आएगी मुझे नहीं लगता मुझे लगता है दो तीन शर्ट मिला के आपको <laughs> यार यार अभी तो हम दोस्त बने थे यार <laughs> <laughs> तो भाई ओवरऑल अ ग्रेट डे फॉर इंडिया अगेन यार नॉट सो गुड क्योंकि इंडिया बी टीम हु वाज लीडिंग और जो हमको लगा था कि सबको हरा देंगे चारों यंगस्टर्स दे हैड अ डिफिकल्ट डे और विद इट और द थिंग आप देखोगे यहां पे शशि किरण इज लूजिंग ओ एंड तो अब अगर विदित जी जीतते हैं तो भी हम नहीं जीतेंगे विदित जी जीते तो वी विल विन ओ तो लेकिन क्या यहां पर जीता जा सकता है बहुत ही कम पीसेस बचे हैं लेकिन घोड़ा कहीं से भी हिल जाता है यार <laughs> पर वाइट को भी थोड़ा कका मतलब केयरफुल रहना पड़ेगा क्योंकि चारों पान तुम देखोगे सेपरेटेड है कुछ डिजाइन जैसा हो गया क्या एफ बी सी फोर एफ थ्री पर हाँ आई मीन ब्लैक के पॉन्स कनेक्टेड है तो ब्लैक को इक्वली है आई थिंक मोस्ट लाइकली ड्रॉ होगा तो आप देखोगे इंडिया ए का शाम वी आर होपिंग दैट इट विल बी अ ड्रॉ या इंडिया बी लुक्स थ्री वन टुडे बट इंडिया सी टीम आई थिंक वन थ्री वन और आई थिंक इवन मोर मैंने जब देखा था तब थ्री जीरो था और वेमेन थ्री का क्या चल रहा है women 3 if we quickly see isha karavde drew harshad bhai you should start streaming ek banda keh raha hai yeah maine socha tha kai baar par uh, mujhe sirf ye fun ke liye aise kabhi kabhi guest join karna pasand hai uh, kyunki main already bahut kuch kar rahe ho aap 
और मतलब आई थिंक कि ऑलरेडी मैंने थोड़े कुछ जगह पे स्कूल में भी कमिट करके रखा और उधर भी सिंस आई एम लाइक स्टूडेंट ऑफ फ्रॉम द चेस्ट टीम मुझे आई आल्सो हैव टू परफॉर्म फॉर द थोड़े रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज हैं बहुत सही बहुत सही भाई नो हर्षित डोंट स्टार्ट लाइक आई वांट ये बड़ी सो ही शेड रू नंदिता विनिंग है मतलब काफी बेटर किंग वीक है साहिति का जो नाइट है ये बहुत ही पसंद आ गया मुझे भाई एंजॉय ऑन करो ना यार अरे आप देखो तो इन ओ ये मिस्टेक कर दिया क्वीन मैंने जस्ट चैट को बोला था कि क्वीन हटा देने चाहिए बोर्ड पर से फिर ये नाइट को कौन ही रोकेगा और आपको मतलब आई थिंक लॉजिकल भी लग रहा है वैसे आप सोचो हां और वो नाइट बहुत ही मॉन्स्टर हो जाएगा यार और सिंपल सी बात है कि व्हेन यू आई मीन क्वींस एक्सचेंज होने के बाद जो भी वीकनेसेस है वाइट के वो तो इवन अभी भी रुके वन के बाद बेटर तो है पर थोड़ा काउंटर प्ले आने के चांसेस जी फोर जैसे मूव वाई समय सो क्यूटी है ऐसे क्या है <laughs> ऐसे मत बोल रहे वो आज पता ही चलेगा पार्टी में <laughs> अब आओगे ना आई डोंट नो पता नहीं भाई <laughs> चलो ना यार स्पॉन्सर करो मैं <laughs> वहां भाई मैंने तो देखा कि लोग चेस प्लेयर पार्टी में भी चेस ही खेलते हैं राइट अलग-अलग फॉर्मेट से हैंड एंड ब्रेन ये वो ये वो सप्लाई मुझे उसमें उतना इंटरेस्ट नहीं प्रायोरिटीज एकदम राइट है हर्षित भाई की यार तो ये और ये फोर्स बोर्ड में क्या हो रहा है विष्णु और ओ वाओ ब्यूटीफुल तो एटलीस्ट इंडिया सी टीम में तो भी दुवादार अटैक कर रहे हैं यस दिस लुक्स वेरी गुड आई थिंक इंडिया सी टीम का बहुत क्रशिंग विक्ट्री हो सकता है मेन तो यही गेम है अभी और रिपीट हो रहा है क्या मूव चेक 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 ओह ड्रॉ रहा है आई थिंक सो अगर ड्रॉ करेंगे ब्लैक रिपीट तो आई थिंक वाइट के लिए काफी डिसेंट कैन वी हैव विद इट्स कैमरा ऑन द स्क्रीन प्लीज चलो सागर भाई आई थिंक आई विल टेक योर लीड नाउ अच्छा जा रहे हो थोड़ा नहाऊंगा फ्रेश हो जाऊंगा थोड़ा बाय भाई जा रहे हो आप भाई कितने बजे 2 मिनट तो रुको यार कितने बजे था मैं भाई भाई जल्दी से पहुंच जाएंगे भाई 2 मिनट रुको 2 मिनट बात तो कर लो कैसा लग रहा है बहुत एक्साइटेड हूं मैं तो क्या मतलब बताओ हमें भी जरा क्या मतलब अरे मैंने बहुत कुछ सुना है इनके बरुणा पार्टी के बारे में तो क्या करो टिकट लिया तुमने टिकट क्यों चाहिए हमको वो ढाई हजार रुपए का अरे हो गया अपना एंट्री फ्री कैसे मैंने लिपस्टिक लाके जा रहा हूँ <laughs> और पर किसी को लाए तो भी फ्री एंट्री नहीं ना उनका फ्री है <laughs> फिर क्या ही मतलब है यार भाई ये थोड़ा अनफेयर तो है लाइफ इज अनफेयर लाइफ इज अनफेयर एनी but that's okay i mean <laughs> harshit yeah, uh, it's uh, i think it's worth yeah. it you should you oh should i you should definitely come harshit kya itna dur se aaye ho iske commentary karne aaye ho ki kya barmuda party mein to jana hi chahiye aur samay what is your aim matlab at the end of the barmuda party what should you be like i should forget that i was there <laughs> <laughs> next morning you should not wake up it yes. should be unique जो रात बीती सुबह तो आई ना आया अच्छा एंड एंड वेरी एक्साइटेड वेरी एक्साइटेड इट्स माय होटल ओनली सो आई विल मीट यू देयर ओके ऑल राइट सी यू सी यू भाई सी यू सी यू भाई आर यू आर यू गोइंग अलोन और आई विल गो अलोन बट आई डोंट नो इफ आई विल कम बैक अलोन चलो सी यू चैट बाय बाय एंड समय थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हिंदी का 100k आई थिंक द लास्ट पुश वाज गिवन बाय समय so many people went there and it has reached 100k acha main baat bataye ka niklesh bhai ne humne nagin dance kiya unhone mere samne bean bajaya lekin mere ko kuch hua nahi kyun kyunki bhains ke aage bean bajana se kuch nahi hota hai oh self bad those are rare see you sir bhai see you bye see you day after tomorrow for the commentary yes kyunki samay ka ek din to aise hi chala jayega ki na अरे नैना जी भाई मुझे कोविड नहीं हुआ है कहो आप पैसा दे रहे हो मुझे कोविड टेस्ट कराने के लिए दिव्यश जी कह रहे समय यू शुड डेफिनेटली गेट हर्षित ऑन स्ट्रीम ही हैज अ नेचुरल नेचुरल फ्लेयर ऑन स्ट्रीम ही कैन श्योरली बी पार्ट ऑफ डेथ मैच इन नियर फ्यूचर पक्का 
दिव्येश जी थैंक यू सो मच हर्षित बहुत मजा आया बट यू नो दिस एंड ऑफ दिस डे has been a little bit of a, a little of a sour taste in our mouth mm. or abhi just to quickly mate threat vidit is not leaving any opportunity to mate ho jaye board pe vidit is like bhai thoda <laughs> thoda kar lo yaar a4 yaar. fix kar lo i'll mate you here but i don't think that's going to happen uh, draw this i think vidit will hold it yeah yeah, yeah. this should be a draw so but yeah any, what we were expecting for ki, so that so yeah i'm telling you that i have a feeling <clears throat> that shashi kiran might just prove provide that half point and help that india that would be lovely that then that sets up india versus usa i feel then india us or india armenia ah but because armenia is on 12 Yeah, correct. So maybe Armenia USA will happen. So depends on the color and everything, but right. one of those two teams. Okay, let's go into like full uh, depth mode here. According to you, let's say if you are analyzing this very deeply, do you feel like Black's advantage is so clear, or um, uh, it's clear that he has it because mm-hmm. I was I just quickly was thinking if White has some ideas of Rook F1 or some sacrifice, because you know. so one thing very important to point out is whenever you are on the defending side you should try to change the dynamic of the position so here if white can somehow you know get two three pawns like if for example white can find a way to get these three pawns for a piece mm-hmm. then i think he will have very good chances to you know uh, change uh, the character of the even though black will still be better fir thoda interesting hoga right but time factor sagar bhai will again come into the yeah. play because yeah. this is the second time control and do you see uh, shashi looking very carefully at with its position yeah. because, because i think he is making his final judgment there but anyway shashi is right now not someone who can choose a lot of things look look i think sagar bhai we are going to get yeah. a very yeah. big very big guy stay tuned because it is very possible He, that here uh, samshidin wakido might not be able to convert this and if that happens guys india a team will win right because they, half they, because they are leading right now with one and half half we are hoping that vidit holds the draw which i think most likely he will yeah and then shashi needs to draw and shashi kiran by the way is worse because this central pawns and the impending f5 break with this unleashing of the bishop and queen is what gives black the advantage but the timing has to be accurate for example let's say if i plan to do f5 now then it doesn't <coughs> help because it's a f6 free pawn can also come in the future so let's say i try to double back and try for f5 oops sorry and then he goes bd2 which was his position anyway and now i try for f5 then already after take take bishop at take, six, yes there is some dynamic change and there is this sack and if you take i think if you are in a winning position you don't want to get into such a mess king g7 and now this is what might happen somewhere that shashikiran will give this sack shamshidin wakido is objectively better but practically not easy yeah so that's what we are hoping for that he is uh, like so obviously i was also mentioned this before that we know that black is significantly better but maybe maybe shamsuddin feels that this pawn can be an asset for mm. white in the future and that his king is a little weak so he might might be happy with the draw right because he is also playing with the black pieces we should not forget and guys the result has come in that raunak has resigned and he's lost which means that uh which means that right now the score is 2 and half 1 and half live yeah mm-hmm. this is the live position right now uh, you, you see his time is yeah. running if we could maybe get uh, close up on sashi's game it's uh, there's only one cam one cam because it's one line mm-hmm. so there only one cam while on the b team b team come. there was like four individual cams but we might be able to get some clean feed later if there is any time any indian team that comes in the clean feed then uh, director sir please do switch hmm. to it uh, so i think 
it's a very important by the way in, did you see the games of india women's b team yeah, yeah. c team right b a because b, uh, because they were fighting very hard i saw divya and vantika it was very interesting because both are very young both are very talented while padmini and uh, mary who are worse have drawn oh, no vantika was much better from my analysis yes she's also drawn and now if so divya comes back to divya draws this then actually the team just draw. gets a draw which was, and they were i think in a worse position in the entire match i was i thought vantika has some advantage maybe i did not see it uh, properly but uh, now at uh... you mean somewhere here yeah yeah, yeah, yeah we were looking at this like... we thought that she was pressing mm-hmm. right if it is if, if, if it there's anyone who can be better it's uh, black there is no doubt about it white has no breaks so you know what i feel black should have tried it just uh, would be to somehow in some positions to Jesus. give an exchange sacrifice somehow but how you can't reach the bishop also on c3 and then try to create some counter it has to be connected with that i have a feeling ah she didn't uh, go for it yeah or rook h at yeah but or queen c5 queen d but even if you sack an exchange like you get your rook here and then sack it you don't have a very clear plan next yeah not so easy of course but i'm i think that and then put your knight on f5 yeah something try to play yeah, that yeah, yeah. but padmini was super uh, padmini actually her game had hung up so yeah, we were yeah, not we getting that yeah uh, so divya what's happening finally that's the last game right yeah mary drew and divya now <clears throat> I think she has good chances to hold this. Yeah. Cuz if you count the pawns, I, I, what I see is ki ye sab pawns will get exchanged. Mm. Rook b2, rook b I'll just make the move. So yeah. take take take. And now if I manage to change all these pawn, like just white three pawns for this one pawn of black mm. and knight for this bishop, it's still a draw. So we have a very big drawing margin correct although what has to be said is fnh pawn practically is extremely difficult to defend but i'm just saying that even if these three pawns get traded for this knight and bishop uh white will still yeah. uh, have a draw but of course we don't want that to happen but so i think uh, the, this game will be important of course but divya didn't take on b2 very surprising she went knight d6 and rook d7 Look, maybe she has, she will now go 90 by the way if divya wins Start we win for a winner we win again man divya and ceo she is ceo <laughs> yeah she can do anything who knows she might be right now coming back and by the way women 3 team what was up with them because their match was also very very close vishwa vasna wala no she was playing beautiful chess actually really so uh, she's winning she's winning vd if we just what is happening there and uh, just yeah, yeah. going there so and uh, vishwa was vishwa better. will win nandita was uh, i think sahi has great chances also good, very position. good position the knight is just dominating and yeah i saw this that nandita is completely completely killing it man that means that this team wins quite comfortably although here i will say sagar bhai taking on f6 won't be such an easy decision why not because, because a5 a5 so you will have to calculate ki rook e6 a4 rook e2 yeah a3 rook a2 yeah king g7 c5 mm c5 or maybe get our king up so you have to make you have to realize this ki we can play g4 king f2 king g3 h4 mm. and by the time black's king come there a do pawn will be yeah, decided yeah, it's yeah uh, I, i think that's straight forward that's right pretty straight forward yeah so we are expecting her to of course play this so this looks very good and uh, isha drew on the yeah. top board so i think this game so if we see the colors on the right side you know <clears throat> right now it's looking pretty good for uh, all the women team uh, women a1 yeah. women 2 maybe a draw incoming women 3 also winning men 3 1 3 and 1/2 half dominating wow, performance that is huge yeah i, I, I think the only guy uh, who drew was surya surya but so setu oh, se, abhijit and uh, abhimanyu one wow. and setu has scored 5 out of 6 here 
He's Beautiful, been playing yeah. amazing chess. Uh, and uh, well, let's go back to Shashi's game. What happened? Yeah. So after Rook D8 was played, Shashi went Bishop A5. Yeah, I think just, this is uh, what's happening actually. He's Sagar, just hassling the. He's very afraid to make a pawn break. Hmm. And uh, because he knows, no, everything depends on everything him. depends. And oh, one minute. This will one be... minute for Shashi. Yeah. On the far end there. I would have loved to take the camera out from there and just put it closer to Shashi's board. Yeah, because, oh my god, 50 seconds. Actually, you know, even if it is a good pull, this time can be very, very dangerous, you know. Yeah. I know it from my experience, but I, I hope that Shashi's experience come comes in handy here and he's able to keep his calm. Hmm. So, he made a move. He played Rook G6. Rook G6. Yeah, Shashi is just hanging in there. Yep. Making all those moves. Uh, and what about Vidit? Uh, any change there? I think they were checking actually. I think it is going to be a draw. Knight f5, king c5. If you see, so one, so one. Okay. Go back. Two. Oh, and Vidit is very sharp in this. You know, in the death match also, he claimed with like less than a few seconds. Yeah. He claimed it correctly. So and even he, he was better than the arbiter also and us. So Vidit can decide that. Uh, he can at least secure a draw for the Indian team, making a draw. How? But it's not 3-4 yet. No. Is it? No, I'm saying if he draws, he has the option to repeat him. Do you think that his opponent will I do think it? he will, yeah. Because, it, yeah, I think he will repeat. Hugh Agarwal, thank you for becoming backer of Indian chess. It's actually a tough decision now for the India B team, mm -hmm. uh, Harshit, in the next round, whom to play because both Adiban and Raunak lost. So it's very clear that Prague will come back, but who will rest? Will it be Raunak or will it be Adiban? Yeah, and the thing is, I, I'm very close with both of them, so I cannot say what I would like. For, yeah. yeah, but I think that either way whoever plays i mean we just had one bad day we just have to brush it off mm. they are still on the top on one of the top of i mean top uh, spots so yeah they have just they are still on one, 10 out of 12 yeah so i think we have i mean we should still keep our head high and uh, for sure for sure and of course the very experienced rb ramesh is the coach of the team so I think he will repeat. Oh, uh, people are saying it will very well be USA versus Armenia next, possible, and then on top board uh, and on one of the boards, Aronian will face his uh, oh, Armenian compatriot. That will know? be uh, that, that, that will be interesting to see if they will rest Ar uh, Aronian or. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah. Because they still have very good top boards. Right. Right. I guess uh, Aronian might not want to play. Yeah. But it's I, such an important match. That's true. That because I know that uh, even uh, I think Begim, one of my teammates, she's from Uzbekistan, but now playing for US. She played yeah, Uzbekistan, yeah, playing, but yeah. she did not play that she didn't specific play that. day. Yeah. Because it's very difficult. You know, you still have emotions. Maybe maybe family. when they sign this contract of transfer, they say that in any team tournaments, I, I won't play with so. Armenia. I don't think so. That they will go in such details of the contract. Sure, <laughs> I'm sure it's such a huge life. It's a life decision. That's true. Yeah. Shubham Shekhar, thank you for becoming backer of Indian Chess. All those who are asking whether we'll shoot videos um, at the uh, Bermuda party, guys, I, I think, think I should have. I should uh, request you all to say that instead of recording post-match interview or uh, uh, recordings today, Sagar should visit uh, Bermuda party, guys. What do you guys think? No, no. I would love to go there and I will uh, manage both. Uh, but definitely not give up the event for uh, uh, for this one. And uh, oh, by the way, something has happened. I, I think the engine it's, is just yeah. moving up and down. But if he plays bishop before, it's surely some reputation of some sort. No, but the queen has moved. The queen was on c7, now on d7. Mm -hmm. पहली बार बर्मुडा पार्टी का इतना हाइप है ये <laughs> करो कैसा रहता है कभी-कभी हाइप इतना बढ़ जाता है कि उधर जाके एक्सपेक्टेशन ही खत्म हो जाते हैं तो उससे अच्छे जीरो एक्सपेक्टेशन से जाने का आई आई हैव बीन देयर लास्ट टाइम एंड आई कैन टेल यू दैट इट वाज नॉट एज इंटरेस्टिंग एज पीपल मेक इट टू बी बट इट ऑल डिपेंड्स इट्स इट्स ऑल अबाउट पीपल द पार्टी इज नथिंग 
इट्स वॉट पीपल डू गोरमाली दर गाय and so all these things happen in bermuda drama. party yeah dramas yeah so <laughs> <clears throat> by the way um anish giri today played with uh, badur jobawa how did he do he won oh, and wow. i think anish is in tremendous form somehow we have been But unable to this, that... spend time with anish yeah. so much here jobawa has been of course playing a little little offbeat opening and as we know that anish is someone you cannot really uh, mess around in the openings with mm. so yeah, i think still jobawa got a decent position yeah here yeah. yeah. i mean maybe I mean, maybe, oh, maybe look at this he, move maybe what he went wrong yeah he'll go there but f4 maybe just keeping this bishop it was an important piece yeah if you if it, i think it's all chess is sometimes so easy yeah like if you think about it this yeah, bishop right. yeah if you play f4 this bishop looks much better than this one of course i'm not like calculating any variations just on the surface level but uh, it makes sense to keep this and as soon as he traded actually i'm just so excited to see this i'm sorry oh beautiful move because That's if you mean. take then the pawn takes and the knight That jumps in huge. but i'm surprised that actually he took it this reminds me of this I game mean, between don't take uh, <laughs> then it's like uh, yeah, i'll bring the other rook it reminds me of the game of anand versus kasparov 1995 world, world championship, championship yeah. where anand put his rook on d5 and kasparov took it uh, and here also the same happens the knight jumps in because if you were to play rook e7 then g5 Wait, pawn was yeah. hanging so here knight d5 rook e1 rook g6 queen f4 Yeah, this is crushing. Takes oh, he even exchanged the queen and the <laughs> god is f pawn to do the, the job. The knight on d five, you <laughs> oh, so abhi dekho na rook kahin se nahi nikal raha hai. Yeah, <laughs> and if he takes, I think he'll take GF, with the pawn. GF, that is for sure. And then everything, just take the king, yeah. walk it up. Um, uh, but I think this Jordan win. Also won. So win over. no, a uh, marble dam lost. Ah, so so actually this is a key game. And it's equal. Ooh, it's complicated. It's yeah, it's very complicated, and I think Benjamin Bock has to draw with one minute. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, and I think uh, Anish's efforts and also Jordan's efforts might not bear them a victory if Benjamin cannot hold this. Uh, oh, both. Oh, oh, even Jordan uh, sacrifice in exchange. That's what Shahid mentions here. uh and just very quickly to check it jordan was black jordan mentioned that even army army everyone Ooh. in the team lost to him wow nice one. this is beautiful this reminds me again of this botwinic game yeah, yeah. This so many is beautiful yeah total domination but you guys having fun before the bermuda party yeah <laughs> and he said he will definitely go to bermuda oh <laughs> and what about anish Not, yeah, Anish, I think people who have uh, sort of uh, stabilized in life. <laughs> That's a very nice way to put it. Are not going. To, are not going to the Bermuda party. Uh, ah, we have. What about Vidit? Oh, by the way, Vidit is still equal. Yeah, he didn't repeat, yeah. He didn't give do you chance. think? Do you think by any chance Vidit has some chance here to win? Mm -hmm. With the F passer. And actually, in this king pawn and the knight pawn and game, I'm to be very honest. I think that there will most if they keep on not like repeating moves. I think most likely there will be ah, but king d three four. No? King d three four. Then he has to go out because otherwise mate. Yeah, sure. So draw maybe here. What about uh, Shashi? Let's go to Shashi Kiran's board. We are just shuffling. Oh. Twenty three seconds for Shashi Kiran, and guys, there's no increment for Shashi on the on minutes end. Every move he makes, he gets thirty seconds increment. 
but he won't get a time increment after any number of moves now he has to play with this time he's down to 10 and by the way Ooh. a nice angle of yeah. Vidit's game there oh he's running for b5 oh man b5 nodir beck has just pushed his pawn to b5 which means that he wants the game to keep going or end quickly yeah but i think with it is under control even there uh let's go to uh, shashi's game because he had 10 seconds for oh, four seconds he made a move with four he, seconds he, on the floor. yeah he played queen d3 and now rook b8 they are both just shuffling people and i have a very strong feeling that india a will win yeah uh but but you know uh i think shamshidin samsidin knows that he has to win it's not it's not that he That's will true he will uh, go he for will, a draw in any not, way. Definitely not uh, hand it over to. He will have to fight for it. Mm. Asim Khan, welcome Asim in the chat. He says, "What's the score, Asim? All eyes on the India A match right now because we are leading right now with the score of one and half half with with it drawing. It will take us to two one, but then Shashikiran is in a worse position and needs to hold this for India to beat." Uzbekistan. Sagar bhai, I'll also take a small break. Sure, sure, sure. Tired. Please Thanks do. a lot for having me. Small and, break, uh, nahi. today is your yeah, yeah. end of the day. End and of... guys, please, let's have Harshit Opi in the chat. Totally unplanned with him. And he's proving to be an amazing commentator. I'm sure, Harshit, you will be uh, doing many more such commentary things. Uh, I would love to have you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, thanks a lot. Yeah, and I really hope that uh, Sashi manages to hold. Are you going to Bermuda party? That oh. remains to be seen. <laughs> you see, guys, I will take a small break. Is basically I'm going to the Bermuda party. <laughs> All right, Sagar. See you. See you. Okay. Rook G3. The rook comes back. We'll, we'll keep switching between Vidit and here because, okay. Knight e4 check, king b6, take, take has happened. And right now Vidit, as you can see there, thinking hard. He's fought very well and Amruta joins me. Oh, Karan finally. Oberoi says Sagar left alone, but you know, never alone. Exactly. Amruta is always with me. Amruta, do you have any, uh, huh, do you have any, uh, like, you mm -hmm. want to go to Bermuda party? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh -huh. For Bermuda for enjoying or for content? Content. Because we don't drink. And I'm not, uh, I don't know the food and all how it's going to be. But of course content, guys. Of course content. Mm. I'll use my secret camera. Which is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vidit goes and attacks this pawn at six played, and Shashikiran. Do you think Shashikiran will be able to fight back? Yeah, I think he's doing a great job, but what what everyone has been waiting for is F five move because that's the only way to make progress, and I think Samshidin has got his pieces in the perfect position to go fy now because with that he has e5 oh but he doesn't go so this is the reason why i am feeling and also harshit agreed that it seems a little bit difficult right now for uh <clears throat> shamshidin to go for that fy break because so much hinges on that break it's like the entire match mm -hmm. result mm -hmm. is dependent on this move but the point is, the good part is, it's not like if black delays it, uh, you know, white has something. No, no, it's like white has black's to win. control. I know. By the way, Divya has just blundered. That's what everyone is saying. Because she was holding it. Oh, she gave a check, which was a bad move. But guys, this position is very complicated mm. and really. Uh, Yes. So, f e6, she wants to go d6. But I think the best move here is bishop f5 somehow. And I don't know what Divya's plan was to that move. Maybe it was e4. 
but it's it's a very complicated line Amruta. Amruta. no i don't think it's easy guys it's this not this position easy. if you just look at it with from the fresh perspective it looks like pehle to to get into it what's happening it feels like that so it's hmm. highly complicated otherwise even in few seconds some positions you just look at it and you understand what's happening so for sure with 46 seconds oh my god very tough but you know sagar divya is tactically very strong yeah. and because her opponent is lower rated maybe we should still be hopeful yeah that's true but actually it's a very important game because score is 1 and 1 1 and 1/2 and if oh. divya holds this it will be 2 2 and by the way the move happened bishop e6 so she made a mistake yes exactly and divya is now back this is what i was talking about let's go back to the so divya should be able to hold maybe there are more uh, twists and turns there but with it here has played h5 and fix this structure <laughs> do, do do you think that uh, with it will have some chance here because i have been F hoping i have been hoping starts rolling but there is a b pawn to create because if you go knight g8 there is knight f4 knight h5 and if you go king e4 to stop this yeah. already b4 and there is a passer created from that end so actually nothing because it is pretty simple i think so mm. so this is going to end in a draw oh, oh shashi kiran he got f5 f5 happened he got f5 They have a very nice angle on with its game now, which is very cool. Yeah. But Amruta, I think Samshidin is going to be a hero in his country and also for his team because the way he is slowly and steadily making progress here is oh. making me feel that Shashi may not have chance. But a four played by Shashi Kiran, very smart. Yeah, what if you take? I think he wants to give up another pawn just to activate his bishop. Oh, wow! Another pawn again, like rook c seven. You can't take, by the no. way. This is yes. hanging. But if I go rook c seven, you can't even save it. So and how now, do you? A very cool move. Let's ask the chat, guys. What would you play here? Very cool move. या दक्षिल कजरोलकर प्रज्वल भट्ट श्रीराम चक्रदेव विश्वा वेरी गुड गाइस टेक हियर टेक हियर एंड टेक हियर एंड शशि इज बैक इन द गेम सो ए फोर नॉट टू बी टेम्प्टेड बाय दिस पॉन वकीदोव गोस क्वीन एफ सिक्स वेरी कूल मूव अगेन सो ही डिफेंड्स दैट क्वीन डी फोर पिन आइडिया एंड शशि गोस ए फाइव आई थिंक इन द सपोजिट कलर बिशप that e4 and d4 is protected mm. so now e4 is okay. coming and in this opposite colored bishop it is very difficult for white because it's almost like a he's piece down but piece down but Correct. you know amruta what it will happen is mm -hmm. that he will push the pawn for sure e4 then this pawns will rush down the board and somewhere this bishop will sacrifice itself for both the pawns that's what i'm hoping for and then by that time if you are able to push your pawn to a7 some hope ah but time shashi also has 30 seconds yeah e4 is of course the most natural move i think shashi kiran needs really a big luck stroke of luck here to save this because uh, wakidov is really not going wrong and the uzbek team have already drawn with usa mm -hmm. and now looks like they are also going to hold india By the way, the big news of the day for all those who are tuning in right now is that India B team lost today. The youngsters were put to a halt by Armenians. In spite of Gukesh winning the board one game, Adiban and Raunak both lost their games. Nihal drew, so it was a two and half, one and half loss. But uh, Amruta Gukesh, yeah, two seven two zero. Unbelievable! That guy is. <laughs> Unstoppable right now. He's just something. Queen a six. Um, queen a six. Agar one more thing. If this pawn start pushing, like 
if you are able to get this bishop on this diagonal some moves have happened e7 pe pressure hota hai e3 yeah then there can check be the area so agar yeah. i'm just trying to find whatever counterplay is possible hmm No, this bishop is completely out of the game. There's just no way. Even if you play this to get the bishop here, but D three is not possible because E three is hanging, I guess. Right. So if so, D three is not possible, then maybe E two. First E two. Then bishop A five. Does it make any sense? Rook F two. Acha, he has a different idea itself. Even the idea of maybe Rook G two, Rook G two, King G two, and then there is Queen F two check. Hmm. No, but E one is protected still. Or you can go Queen F four next and put pin this guy so that Rook G two ch check is a threat. Ah, right. Oh, Queen F four. Is that? Uh, I think Vidit drew. Vidit has drawn the game, so that's a good result for India because Vidit was under some pressure, and they have drawn. So now all eyes on Shashi, but I don't think, guys, any miracle is possible here. So the score is two one in the favor of India today. Hari Krishna played a very nice game. Yeah, I know. No, uh, even the even Hampi played amazing, right? Yeah, even Hampi. Maybe got her here in this commentary room. That was so nice. You you could get. I think you. Brought them Hampi, Abhijit, and Hari Krishna. Yeah, those were the highlights. And today we also had many uh, people joining in. We had Biswa, we had Samai, we had Harshit, we had Deepan. Uh, it was a fun commentary. Also reaching hundred k on Hindi Chess Base India. Yeah, guys, uh, do subscribe there and also do subscribe here so that we reach one million during this event. Uh, <laughs> yeah, would be very memorable to take it from here. And outside environments, Agar is so interesting. When you go step out, so many players from different countries, and you know it's all so casual and light over there. Right. Someone said, "Yeah, absolutely. It's a very nice." Uh, I think that video also people loved it. Which video? The one of the outside atmosphere. You are questioning with Samay some questions. Yeah. Ah, Samay edited it. Yeah. So queen f4 wouldn't work because of queen c6. That was, of course, I mean just an idea that was suggested. So that's why it's thinking. Uh, you are thinking here. E2 may be a good idea. Bishop e1. Let's say I want to kick the rook away. Mm -hmm. Rook f1. Uh, now your threat is takes takes and queen f1. Mm -hmm. I can't stop it. I don't see any defense. Maybe something like this. But still, Rook J one. Ah, towards the end. But G seven is also protected. Sorry, I don't get it. Yeah, I was just trying to get C six bishop. Sorry, but Queen G three and E one queen. <laughs> It's for the same. Oh my God! So, so India A is actually losing, yeah. So now, if India A reaches ten points, and then India B is also on ten points. And India C is also on ten points because they also won. So then all three teams on same points. Wow, it's going to be so tough, right? And especially there is a rest day, so this is this high stressed uh, situation a rest day. Yeah. Sometimes you want the rounds to happen quickly. You don't want. Well, not that. here, Amrita. I think everyone wants a break because it's been very stressful. Overall, six back to back rounds for mm -hmm. many of the players. They would welcome a break any day. Ah. With it, by the way, uh, is discussing his game or now it's stuff. Also in the chat, what what according to the chat would be some of the uh, important moments in today's commentary stream? Because I have missed it, so you know, generally I ask for a roundup of games. Today maybe I'll ask for the roundup of highlights <laughs> during commentary. How how was India three today, Sagar? Oh, brilliant! 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 Both India three, I think, men and women. Wow. 
you can look at women's board as well uh, because nandita was winning oh somehow nandita has game is now drawn well sahiti is scoring a win wow Sahiti is winning, yeah. Sahiti this time, but once again, Knight Bishop versus... Oh, this is interesting. B3, B2. She won. Can't stop it. And Vishwa Vasnawala winning. She is also winning. The two youngsters today but, winning. But though this is winning, I would st- say that it's still complicated. complicated. Yeah. And look at her time. Oh my God, five seconds. No, no, for five seconds it's complicated or what? Or is it a wrong time? No, it will get updated. Okay. So if Vishwa wins and also Sahiti wins, they will be, India will win this. Because none, uh, yeah, I mean, anyone has to win. Nandita will draw. So that was a very powerful performance by the C team. We'll come back. Amruta, Rook E1 played. After E2. <coughs> In Sashi's game. Uh, yeah, it's just shock. <coughs> Bishop G2, yeah? Ha, takes, takes, king takes. What? What is your idea? Sorry. Bishop, Bishop G2, 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 Queen F4 check. Yeah? In between? Yeah. King H1, Queen F3. Ah, okay, got it. You pin the rook. So takes. But Eight. then there's queen g4. Check. King h1, queen f3, queen g4. Then rook f4. No, no, no. queen f4, f4, queen f4, king h1, rook f1. Over, no? Ah. King, h2, king h2. No, queen is on f4. How much is g2? Correct. Highlights may Ayush Sharma says 100k for Hindi CBI was highlight for me. Uh, then Samai going for Bermuda party was highlight. Hey, Sagar, I've got a very nice <laughs> video. When Sama, how Samai went for Bermuda party? Oh my god, he was running and that clip I have to upload after some time. Yeah. <laughs> No, this is really tough. It's not tough, it's over. I mean, it's over. No, it's tough that it's over. That's what I mean. They have to deal with this. No, it's a, it's a result which will definitely impact and uh, they won't be happy. And But it's not that they lost. Draw. Better than losing, right? Oh, it's a draw? Yeah. Because Hari won. Beating Nodirbeg is such an amazing thing because firstly he was in a super form. With the way he has played against Karwana also, amazing form. Hmm. And then you beat Nodirbeg. I think wonderful result for us. You can see how Shashi on the far end is still fighting hard. It's amazing. Uh, but I don't see it. Ah, Sarwan enjoyed today. I missed his name. Oh, Sarwan that's of course. Ah, anonymous chess is. BG2 came. That's nice. And you know what happens when you join commentary? You forget everything. Mm. <laughs> so he joined the commentary and his family is waiting there and he forgot about it. His wife and his son were here? Uh, no, his cousin was here. And a few people. Sussies are fought very hard today. Yeah. That's what he says. But how did the game go for a like a, as a Sussies round up? Like was it equal? Because when mm. I saw it was equal. So where exactly? What exactly happened? Was it a time pressure error? Yeah, I think Sashi made some blunt. We'll check it. But right now it's over. He takes on G2, Rook G3 check and resigns there. India versus Uzbekistan, 2-2 draw. 
this happened i think after this check he resigned would it, would in the next round india a versus india b pairing possible india possible? c might also be in the mix oh so but I, that would be very weird no because there is a one rest day and india a versus india yeah. b oh, yeah so guys that's the end of the day just amruta asking an important question where did shashikiran go wrong because his position looked okay but hats off to wakido samshidin who managed to win with the black pieces that's never easy so it always looked slightly worse amruta out of the opening but then he managed to get a decent position i think this taking he, this bishop was 34th not right. move so maybe he didn't have enough oh look he was in time pressure so it was an error of time pressure in some way and then he pushed but this is from this point onwards amuda he never gave up his advantage samshidin no he but played. this is agar uh, technically for technically black is better no but black bishop. was so patient see here he went here he could have played f5 sooner lost his advantage Achha, he waited I... waited 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 and then played yeah i do they yeah. are so long so smart so long he waited I and i think he deserves this win from shedin this was so good so that one move yeah 94 Yeah. Hard, hard to. It was not like an obvious error of the show, though. Yeah. Uh, in the time pressure, so yes, his opponent played really well, <clears throat> definitely. And uh, by the way, being brilliant at chess says Armenia is in sole lead now. Yes. Okay. By the way, Divya, I don't think this is going to even go to knight rook versus rook because the h3 pawn will net the net a piece. <clears throat> so it's so, going to be a draw. This one. Yeah. Um. You can take some rest, Sagar, if you tire. Yeah, and uh, just to finish. Oh, Sahiti won. Sahiti won. First win for Sahiti, the 15-year-old girl at the Olympiad. So uh, kudos to her and a big ups to her. I think uh, on the day she lost in 12 moves, her father uh, did. I meet met him outside the venue, and I mean near the hotel, and he's he said. Uh, is something going wrong you know something like that and you always get these moments of doubts when mm. you just blunder but i mean the girl is all classy and she's a great player so all that was needed was just to brush off that defeat forget about it and get back and she did that in style today amazing sagar ah day one she won okay so maybe she won already So, sir, even this, I think it's uh, now pretty clear. Vishwa is winning this, which yeah. is a great news. And uh, guys, uh, to be uh, one more thing to mention here, it is amazing that for six to seven hours, these guys are doing continuous commentary. It's not easy. So many games keep shifting, keep you know, like it's change of mind, change of positions, managing so much. Sagar comes here in the morning. Everybody is working um, in different ways. But kudos to you, Sagar, yeah, and all the fine. team. No, well. I mean the main thing is that people turn up every day to watch, and it's great fun. I'm hoping that more people will come and listen to the commentary on the final days, mm-hmm. uh, and we'll have good number of people watching. I'm already very happy with how much, how many people we have, and I'm hoping for more. uh and let's see i mean the exciting part starts now today was actually a blow to both the teams in terms of their medal hopes but uh, the but c team c say. team came back and both all three teams have dropped two points so i'm sure they'll come back by the way i also want to mention uh, the photographer i think many of you have heard his interview steve bonhaga he is fides official photographer here and uh, he came to me uh, yesterday and said would love to do a photo shoot of your of chess base india uh, team which is here and it was a very kind gesture by him 
and today we did it was such an amazing experience like oh my god he was so patient and he's really amazing photographer uh, his flash was not working in between for a few moments but he was sure he, i want this photo with this flash <laughs> so it was amazing and, i have a clip i will put it oh. and he's already posted the picture on flickr so i'm going to share it in the link to all of you in the chat so guys please do check it out and you can this is our team and it's a very nice picture for all of us because yeah it means a lot wow स्टैंडिंग बताते हैं दोस्तों स्टैंडिंग बताते हैं अभी चेस रिजल्ट का लिंक भी आई पोटेड इन दैट सो दैट यू कैन चेक इट आउट ब्यूटिफुल पिक ब्यूटिफुल पिक एवरीबडी पिक Harin top 20 men wow i think hari krishna we have been uh, looking following gukesh's uh, rise uh, on the rating list but is also hari krishna has uh, reached a rating of 2729 he is now world number 20 gukesh wow. is 2720 2719 he is world number 26 so that's great for for india and uh, he's up by five places that's who? what harit that arrow and yeah, yeah he's up by five that's so huge thing mm-hmm. gukesh is up by 12 places that's they made it very nice i think vishwa is the only one left let's follow her game she's been to our commentary uh, and maybe after that we end today yes mm-hmm. why is gukesh not in team a sagar bhai because when the teams uh, they had certain r- rules <coughs> as to when the teams would be selected it was on the average of the months of their rating of march april and may 22 and at that point gukesh's rating was lower than that of shashikiran uh, arjun and uh, sl narayanan and that's the reason why he was in bt <coughs> gukesh has gained all this rating very recently by the way did irina bulmaga win or did maria muzicho <coughs> manage to draw <coughs> because that was a very <laughs> important game <laughs> Arunav Tyagi says Gukesh's rating performance is three thousand three hundred. Sir Drew, wow, Maria Muzichuk <coughs> managed to draw this game. No, guys, that performance rating is three thousand three hundred is given, but actually it's not so high. Uh, the moment he draws or loses a game, it will come down. So his performance rating should be somewhere around three thousand or three thousand one hundred, something like that. Vishwa, I think for Vishwa this might be a first win. Sahiti has already won. Acha, right? That's what you must have meant. <clears throat> okay. ठीक है. Okay, seven. Abhi she has one minute. So if we are trying to, all of us, including the chat, are trying to think quickly. क्या खेलोगे? So. तो Yeah, 94 at 6. Venkat Again. Raman says not playing Pragnananda was a big mistake. I think in hindsight it's very easy to say. 
but uh, because Prag had lost the last round and Adiban had won, I think the momentum was clearly on Adiban's side. Otherwise, we would say if Gukesh doesn't lose any game, his performance rating would be minimum 3,000. And if he wins every game, he might actually get 3,500 performance, which will be higher than highest ever. Okay. Highest ever, I don't know. Let's see. Huh? <clears throat> Nandida is also in on 5 out of 5. No, Nandida is on 5 out of 5. Is Nandida on 5 out of 5? Nandida, is huh. she on 5 out of 5? Yeah, yeah, she is on 5 out of 5. Wow. Highest among all, uh, yeah. Vocation Nandida, only 2 Indians. That's amazing. Five. But Nandida might draw this game, I think. Nandida has one walk over. She has one walk over, correct. And this is a draw, so she will be on. Uh, um. Abhirat says it's funny how all the cops support Prague. <laughs> Interesting info. Uh, I think Prague uh, is very popular. Very well. Very. All across India, but especially in Tamil Nadu. And since he beat Magnus Carlsen, a lot of people who are not following chess mm. and who knew about Vishy Anand only got to know about a new player. <laughs> that is Prague. Absolutely. <clears throat> Okay. Rookie three forced. He wanted People were saying that is is rookie four a good move? Rookie uh, four. Ah, Bishop F five. You want to play? Yeah, I think it's a very interesting idea. <laughs> oh, it's nice. And are Bish... they repeating Sagar by any chance? Oh my god. Ninety four. Rookie three. Knight C two. No, no she goes rook C three. No, but it's repeated already. Uh, one second. So is it a prophylactic draw we are gonna have? Not, not what is prophylactic drawing? Sorry, uh, not pro photographic, photographic. Yeah. Prophylactic cancer. Is it a photographic draw? 94. So this was first time that this position was reached. The next time the rook was here. And this is the, so I think this is second time. Now Vishwa shouldn't play rook e3. Yeah. Or she could play it one more time, I think. She had played it once. Twice. Oh, if she plays rookie 3, it's a draw. Her opponent can claim a draw. So, knight d4 is played. Yeah, yeah. Now she has to change has to the be move. Avoided. What she can she play? Anything. Just don't fall for this fork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. move, so your move, king. move your king to h4 also, I think, is should be okay mm -hmm. or what? Or is there some problem? Yeah, yeah. she was king f3. Wow, but this allowed. allows the rook to But only to two activate. seconds she had, yeah, when she made the move. Mm -hmm. Only two seconds. She's definitely facing some, uh, some issues here, yeah, some technical. Karthik Ramasamy, thank you for becoming backer of Indian chess. Amazing. Pranav Singh says that he's a gifted photographer. What a collection. Steve Bonhaga. Yeah. Now the only move, Amruta, is King G2. Oh, King E1 mistake. All of a sudden, you see, guys, it's turning around. But I think match is already won. So, so why is this move a mistake? Like, because, of, because of E3. And if rookie 3, knight c2 check. The knight is tricky in time pressure. It is happening again. Will she again. find e3? Uh, yes. If that's the only move she will find. No, there's also knight f3. There's also... Ah, then she will get confused. So right now we can expect her to think for at least a minute or more. <clears throat> uh, 
Abhirat says Amruta sitting makes me sign relief throughout the day. She ran around like crazy in hallways. We saw her in the player camps. <laughs> like crazy. Or maybe because I'm crazy, I'm running. <laughs> it could be the other way. <laughs> Vinayak says, what do you think went wrong for India 2 in the open section? I think what went wrong was uh, Raunak and Adiban's games where I think Raunak chose an opening which he had prepared well. But in the ensuing position, uh, the engine says 0.00, but humanly it proved to be difficult to play. And I think this is uh, what... Raunak's biggest takeaway from today would be that in spite of preparing so well, he actually got a position which was difficult. Wow, that is so that that's is a very amazing. that's a very bad feeling because you have put in a lot mm-hmm. of time and energy, you have made your moves quickly, and yet you lose the game. Uh, so that could be one reason. The other one was Adiban uh, somehow going for this faulty plan. With Queen F3, Queen H3. I don't know if it was the best plan there. Um, And yeah, I mean, Adiban losing with White, I think uh, was a little bit difficult for the team to recover from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some hard days, but uh, sometimes these rest days are actually important to change things. By the way, she's gone Knight F3 and King E2. She'll give the check again. I think what Vishwa has to do is go king f2 and when another check comes, move the king to g2. Yeah, because there is no dangerous... Uh... Uh, will Vishwa say to herself that look, the game match has ended in a draw. I mean, I'm we are winning. Mm-hmm. Why should I try and you know, let me take a draw? No, but she's fighting on. King that's, d1 is... You good. know, that's a good, good spirit. Yeah. That's yeah. great spirit shown by her. But now king comes in. By the way, even Nandita's game is going on. No, it's not ended. It's no. I think it's she's a pawn up, so she won't lose that. Ah, this is a this is a draw. Yeah, this she will. Yeah. And India men's all ended. Yeah, three India three. Yeah. <clears throat> so they won. You said. Yeah, men's three and half half. Wow, crushing result. King D4 has come. It looks scary for white because all the pieces are not coordinated majorly. Whatever the engine says now, it's coming to the king, yeah? And when there is a knight, a pawn, four, and rook, rook, I'm a little worried. Rook C4, King D3. We should have we should. That's a good thing and you can block this file. Also pin the pawn. Then knight D2. I support. I attack. At 6 maybe. No, I'll take your rook. Ah. Rook c5. Ah, so Sagar is saying rook c4 right now. King d3 is a blunder because Bishop rook f5 c5 is. Bishop f5, rook knight d2. And Bishop then f5, f5, knight d2, and rook c5 is from good. All yeah. men teams are on 10 points, correct? So if you, you will have to go rook. Uh, king d5 here and then try to she played king d5 ah, she played king no she played rook c4 and now it's black smooth just thinking they're showing some cam from some other game is it us is uh, no usa finished it. guys we don't have vishwa's camera Are you not going for Bermuda party? Bermuda party starts at 8 and ends at 3 o'clock. So no, 11.30 they said. Achha, 11.30. Then hmm. I think it's time to get a lot of time. Because he said that it's 8 o'clock. He said that it's 8 o'clock. He said that it's 11 o'clock and then it's over. Can be fine. Hmm. How much? What's the time right now? They are in King D5 is played, na? Yeah. Rook C4, King D5. 
ंग I would say. So maybe uh, accepting a draw would be a practical result, right? Mm-hmm. If you get a yeah, three-one victory for the team. Hmm. No, not three. Two and half. Oh, Amrita, if she loses, then it's two-two. If she loses, it's two-two. Yeah. Oh, so, so actually, even draw is important. Hmm. It's not three-one. Oh, some moves have happened actually. Look, C two, and she is going for the win. Uh, maybe, maybe now it seems wise. You have to take a draw because it's getting close, Amruta. Hmm. This is a nice move, by the way. Bishop A six because it controls F one. If you take on C two, there is Bishop C four check and taking on F seven. But hard for fifteen seconds. All of the, all of sudden, that bishop is going to e six. <laughs> that too is defensive and attacking ideas. Hard, very hard move. Rook c three. Yeah, maybe she is going to repeat now. It's forced repetition because check on f one, f two, f three. You can't stop it. Ah, but I don't have e three option. Correct. Rook f one check. King d. Ah, but for Guan Thiu Thu Giang, whose team has uh, <laughs> lost, like is on two one. Huh? She cannot draw. She will not take a draw now. Black. Right. So black. But but if she doesn't take a draw, like even for her to try, she needs a plan. Whenever she's trying to get the king here, that is not working because of. Bishop F five. No. Is it good? Yeah, I can do it. Amrita will just go and put a cam on Vishwas game, so that maybe we won't be able to see it in this stream, but we can see it later on uh, as a recorded video because I think this game is at an exciting uh, stage. Because firstly. Uh, black might want to continue playing and white is no longer so much better check samay raina says party is lit bhai missing you guys hai ye sach wala samay raina hai ya fake samay raina अरे वही है रियल समय रहा है ना अरे समय अभी तक तो शुरू भी नहीं हुआ है पार्टी समय आई सेंड यू अ लिंक आई लास्ट डायरेक्टर साहब टू सेंड अ लिंक एंड देन यू कैन शो अस डायरेक्टर साहब कैन वी सेंड अ लिंक फॉर अ वीडियो कैम टू समय एंड देन ही कैन शो अस व्हाट्स हैपनिंग देयर हां उसके मोबाइल से भेजो ना मैं उनको भेजता हूँ थैंक यू चेक गाइस यहाँ पे जो चीजें हो रही है वो दिखा नहीं सकते भाई समय से समय अभी आप इधर आए हो तो आपको मैं लिंक भेजूंगा आपको दो मिनट तक तो ऑन करना ही होगा
इतना बड़े लोग जो साढ़े तीन हजार लोग रुके हैं दस हजार में से उनको सब्र का फल मिलेगा check i think she must go here okay samay bhai i'm sending you a link let's see if samay is able to give us the bermuda party entry without oh she is winning again one second king d1 e3 blunder rook d3 wow vishwa finds the best move here amazing she found the best move the threat is now to take here and take here and if the rook moves away then you take on e3 wow great move by vishwa vasna wala which means that the team is going to win 3-1 now amazing amazing play by the young girl under pressure clutch situation finds the win you could and there is a rasmus game which is uh, queen and rasmus so the not as many this one फो, अरे भाई मार दो मार दो ये क्या है मारा मारा एंड आई थिंक यू कैन मेक एन इंटरमीडिएट चेक बिकॉज इफ किंग डी थ्री दैट इज बिशप चेक आई थिंक दैट्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बिकॉज इफ यू टेक टेक एंड प्ले किंग टेक सी टू दैट शुड ऑल्सो विन विथ किंग यू वन और मूव बट इट जस्ट वेरी क्लीन टू टेक फर्स्ट गिव दिस चेक बिकॉज आई दर इट विल पुश द किंग अवे फ्रॉम डी थ्री or you bring him here and then win this with the bishop Chess Baba says Sagar Bhai, you are a big critic of Bukesh. You never seem to enjoy his success. Hey Chess Baba, what are you saying? Hey, go to Chess Biz India and check the most latest article that we have written on Bukesh. It has pictures of him right from the start of his chess career to him reaching twenty seven hundred and comments by all the top grandmasters of India. I have literally seen Gukesh move from nineteen hundred to twenty seven hundred, and covered everything on the way. You know, just just basically have covered every little uh, progress of his. So it gives us nothing but immense joy that he's reached where he is.
oh what an end game here in uh, rasmus queen and seven uh, pawn on seventh rank I think just take check and take this and she's winning. Take this pawn. <clears throat> Any other move is lost. Yeah, D2 mate. So, of course, Vishwa will take it. Yeah. Vishwa wins this and next king takes. This pawn is going nowhere. Start pushing your pawn to the queen. Queen in square. And she has won. Well done. Samai going live soon. Bring up camera for Vishwa's game. Somehow they have not set up cameras there. Yeah, we could have put live cam. Vish. Yeah, we can ask Vishwa to join us. Yeah, that's a good idea. If we can... I can see if we can uh, ask her. chat giving great ideas and so we are inviting her and wow that's a very nice view that we have of this game between Rasmus Swan Swana let's let's have that view it's a very nice one uh, where people can watch this game till Vishwa maybe joins us who knows we have we are trying to invite her and if she joins us then we can end with her interview because she played Really well. Just trying to get the board of this game. Uh, ah, here. Rasmus Swana versus unable to find the game of Rasmus Swana. Ah, yeah. No, this is some other game. Ah, last. Ah, it's going live. Queen f4. Did they draw or what? No. They're still playing. What was the best game of the day, Sagarwai? I think the best game of the day today was Gukesh. Hi, kya hi khela? Yeah, they were day. I I think a Gukesh per book we lick sakte uske games pe. Kya hi khelta hai, yar wo? Malab, somehow he's just amazing. He's able to play brilliant chess. By the way, also he has his uh, certain rules that he doesn't give interviews in between the event, which, well, for me personally is like, he should, maybe if he can give, it's great. I mean, official interviews he gives, like if the press conference is there, but let's say, if, and I respect that, that he cannot uh, do interviews. I think it helps him to stay focused. It would be nice to get his thoughts, you know, just like how Hari came in or Hampi came in to, for five minutes to talk about the game. It would be nice. But I think Gukesh has certain things that he doesn't want to do it that way. And as long as he's 
winning his games i mean that's great check and yeah this is a draw i think this is a draw Sahil Gulati says, "Thank you, Shagar Bhai, for bringing these games to us and working so long hours for us, especially the summary videos. Since don't get to watch the event live, right? Thank you, Sahil. Uh, I think uh, there's a big team that works together. Here, all of us really putting in the long hours to ensure that we can cover this event well." Uh, now it's great fun to be together and also in the commentary we have very nice uh, group of people joining in that makes it fun and we have vishwa joining us after her first is this your first ever win vishwa yeah at the olympiad congratulations thank you that's a huge huge uh, effort congratulations how are you feeling great it was such a long game um it was very long we were watching it till the end and it was filled with lot of ups and downs were you stressed yeah. at some point because if you didn't win I, i mean if you didn't win it was okay a draw but if you lost then your team would end in a 2-2 draw yes so were you worried i was worried yeah definitely mostly when um i played rook d6 and rook d6 played- Yeah, she played knight e four. Was it in the end game? Yeah, very last. So you got a very big advantage, yeah, out of the opening. Yeah. And it looked very uh, good for you because you were pawn up and everything was going pretty well. And here, I think even Nandita was winning, so it was looking like Team C would. Uh, crash yeah, through. Yeah, actually, the thing is, I was playing under second, so I didn't get a chance to see her position. Mm-hmm. So even. And so here you are saying rook d six, right? Yeah. No, not here. After some time. Ah, uh, after some time. Yeah. Yeah. Now I knew care. I'm completely winning. But like I had thirty to thirty three seconds here, so and my king is super weak. So queen f seven, king f six, and I I I kind of knew that rook b six, my uh-huh. rook b six was not the best. Like I would have to put a lot of effort to win this game after rook g six. But I thought that I'm playing under seconds and my king is weak, so it would practically be the best to exchange queens. Yeah, you did it. Takes, 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 and I think it was a quite a good choice, right? Because after take knight c five, was was there another way except rook g six? I could have one quicker. It looked like otherwise your rook is hanging, no? On uh, and yeah, also there even, are threats yeah, of rook, yeah all this. Yeah, that's why I took it. So that's a I think great decision because in this end game you are already two points up. And you took. Uh, no, I'm one pawn up. Yeah, but c6 is kind of. E- yeah. Maybe here bishop takes h3. Uh, you rejected it for any reason. Or? Yeah, bishop h3, knight f3, king g2, knight d. King, ah, okay, king. Knight d4 back. Here you take here or here. Um. No, Because no, no. if you go here, I think no, this we, is the. No, he move. cannot take him. No, and then I think you are with this. But uh, I understand that it's a little uh, difficult to take these decisions, right? Yeah, with less time. I, yeah, I thought the knight on d four. I just didn't. So you played rook e three, and then it started to get a bit tough because yeah. she started coordinating, putting your bishop got passive. And here I was like, "What? Did the thought cross your mind that let's draw the game?" No. 
no <laughs> i mean i wanted to win like at I knew if I drew the team would win, but I didn't want to draw this game. But what if uh, the thought didn't cross your mind at all? What if I lose or something? It did, but uh, you took I the trusted risk. myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you trusted yourself. That's very nice. Because here, there was a threefold repetition that could have happened if you would have yeah. played rookie three again. But yeah. you played king yeah, f2. Yeah, I was just gaining some time. And then check, king here, check. King here, check. Oh, this was getting very nerve wracking here at this point. Yeah. I think somewhere she also felt that she had to win because if she draws, her team loses. So she started playing for a win, right? No, at some she point. was playing for a draw and she kept repeating. But I... now, at this point, she could have gone like knight f3, but she went like check. Uh. I don't know, maybe not. Check. King here, check. And the final error e3. You spotted yeah. this very quickly, rook d3. No, I saw it from before only. That's why I went king d1. Mm. And then takes, takes, take, and yeah, very nice. Uh, yeah, so, endgame was not precise, but but how does it feel to win your first game at the Olympiad? Because that's a big achievement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like determined that I I have to win this game. I want to win this game. I will not take a draw. So, yeah, it <laughs> it feels so good. And you and Sahiti, both the youngsters of the team, led from the front. Both of you scored wins, which yeah. helped your team to win. So yeah. I guess tonight you guys are going to have a good time, uh, you know, celebrating it yeah. because tomorrow is a rest day as well. Yeah. Fantastic, Vishwa. Uh, Vishwa, thank you so much for joining us. And for winning the game and also India C is back on track after this win. So good luck for the Thank you next so rounds after the rest day. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. Guys, that was Vishwa Vasnawala making her debut at the Olympiad and winning her first game at the Olympiad. So that's a big day for her and a very special day. And let's now, I think we are not going to get any footage from the Bermuda party. Uh, so, no no footage from there. So, I think that then means that we have to go there, guys. It's been a long day. Uh, but just to make a roundup for all of those who have missed the action, Team A of the men's section, open section, were actually... Uh, very, very uh, close to victory, perhaps. I wouldn't say victory, but they, they did very well when Hari Krishna got a great position and he converted it against Nodirbek Abdu Satarov. Uh, with it, very solid on board to Drew. He was never really in huge trouble, nor was he ever winning. Uh, on board number three, we had, uh, I think, uh, a kind of an interesting battle. On, on board three between Arjun Erigasi and Sindarov where Arjun was in trouble right out of the opening was worse for majority of the game but held his own at the end with some tactics actually he was very close to losing so in a way I would say that the Indian team is a bit lucky as well because on the last board Shashikiran lost and that was a great game by Wokido so while some do feel a little bit sad that Team India drew 2-2, especially after Hari's win, I would say it's a good result because what if Arjun had lost? And it was not like Arjun was far away from losing. He was just a couple of moves away if uh, Sindaro would have found the right way to continue. So, a lucky break there for Team India A. So, good result, 2-2. Uh, team India B, uh, the second team in the open section, Lost their first match of this tournament. Gukesh leading from the front. Won his game. Beat Gabriel Sargisyan. Uh, moved to 2719 rating. Great game. I think we'll do something on it later. Um, Nihal very solid with the black pieces. Drew against Ranth Melkumian. Uh, but Adiban lost 
on board number three um and also against samuel stair sakyan and also on the last board raunak sadhwani lost to Rob, robert hohanisian so that is where the match tilted in armenia's favor and armenia is now the sole leader with 12 out of 12. Uh, india c team was ruthless uh, the third team they actually beat lithuania with a massive three and half one a uh, three and half half margin surya drawing on the top board but sethu raman abhijit gupta and abhimanyu puranik winning their games smoothly in the women's section we had india a team once again coming out with all the goods and beating georgia 3-1 massive result because georgia is a one of the favorites to win a medal here and leading from the front humpy beat nana zagnitze with the white pieces and then it was um vaishali who also scored a win beautiful game by vaishali uh harika drew her game excellent draw with black tanya very solid with her black game as well so a clinical performance by the women's team beating georgia 3-1 uh, the women's second team uh, also did a great job. I thought they were very close to getting beaten. Uh, but Vantika, Padmini, um, Marianne Gomes and Divya Deshmukh, all of them drew their games uh, with 2-2 draw. Uh, all, all of them drew and they were, they were able to draw their match against Czech Republic. Finally, India C team was playing against Australia and uh, Isha drew her game. Nandida also drew, but the two youngsters, Sahiti Varshini and Vishwa Vasnavala won and gave us a lot to cheer about. So today, in Team India uh, drew two games, won two games, won two matches uh, and lost two matches. Yeah. Isn't that how it went? I'm a bit tired now. But I think you can make your working out. I think we won India C1, India A1, and India C uh, three wins. Three wins, uh, one draw, and two losses. What is happening? I just uh, I'll figure out. Lost one only. Okay. So three wins, lost one, two draws. Uh, take care guys and I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, I mean tomorrow there will be a lot of videos but day after tomorrow with the live stream uh, and also a big thanks to Samai who is part of this stream right from the very beginning. Nordwin who have been you know taking care of the entire production and all the bars on the left and right and also the director here of the show who's you know sw smoothly switching between scenes all the time which is amazing. And uh, also a big, big thanks to all the viewers who are watching this live. Uh, this stream went on for almost seven hours. So thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh,